It's the time to celebrate a love that's true. To treasure this day prepared for me and you. Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire. When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired. We're getting married. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. It's the time to celebrate a love that's true. To treasure this day prepared for me and you. Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire. When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired. We're getting married. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. It's the time to celebrate a love that's true. To treasure this day prepared for me and you. Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire. When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired. We're getting married. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. It's the time to celebrate a love that's true. 
to treasure this day prepared for me and you. Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire. When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired. We're getting married. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, down the we join in our hearts. I'll sing this song with you. Cause we're getting married. We're getting married. It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired We're getting married, this is where our journey begins Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired We're getting married, this is where our journey begins Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire 
When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired. We're getting married. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, we join in our hearts. I'll sing this song with you. Cause we're getting married. We're getting married. It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired We're getting married, this is where our journey begins Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you we walk down the aisle, we join in our hearts. I'll sing this song with you, cause we're getting married. We're getting married. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, we join in our hearts. I'll sing. Song with you, cause we're getting married. We're getting married. I'll sing the song with you, cause we're getting married. It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired We're getting married, this is where our journey begins Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you Sing this song with you Cause we're getting married We're getting married This is where our journey begins Now and forever My life and love belongs to you As we walk down the aisle With joy in the hearts I'll sing this song with you It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into your heart's desire When it all comes together, surely we'll be inspired We're getting married, this is where our journey begins Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you as we walk down the aisle, we join in our hearts. I'll 
sing this song with you Cause we're getting married We're getting married This is where our journey begins Love it forever My life and love belongs to you As we walk down the aisle With joy in our hearts I'll sing this song with you It's the time to celebrate a love that's true To treasure this day prepared for me and you Feel the joy and give into to your heart's desire When it all comes together surely we'll be inspired We're getting married, this is where our journey begins Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you Mike, 
mic test. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Getting Married Bridal Fair online dito po sa Hilton, Manila. My name is RJ Lagas. I'm here with my beautiful and dashing co-host. Test, test, sound check. Mic test. Welcome to the Getting Married Bridal Fair live online bridal show right here at the Hilton Manila. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. My name is RJ Ledesma. I'm Z Soldo. We're so happy to have the second leg of the Getting Married Bridal Fair online for all of our newlyweds or soon-to-be-weds this 2021. 
And to round everything out, I am your third host for today, Kevin La Pena here, and I really am happy not only to be with you guys once again, but to be with two of my lovely and dashing partners for this afternoon, RJZ. Happy New Year to the both happy, of you. Happy New Year. See, you look so dashing here today. Thank really you. great. And I'll one more thing, pala, by the way, Kevin, and to Z. Uh, for those watching here right now, because you're watching with us here right now, Kuchi and the rest of the team here, the sponsors and suppliers, have a special gift for all of you. We are raffling off prizes here today, aren't we right? So many prizes, like you can't even understand. If the first time we had amazing prizes, these are superb. You're not going to want to miss out. So what's important is that you listen very carefully to all of our interviews. And on top of the raffle prizes that we're going to be giving out later on in the program, you're also going to get a chance to get to meet up close and personal the different suppliers who you might want to get for your special day as well. And who knows, they might throw in another special special promo on top of the raffle prizes that, you're, that we're going to be giving out later this afternoon. That's right. So please make sure to share right now our Getting Married Bridal Online Fair on Facebook and of course on YouTube at the same time. And guys, on a personal note, I'm very happy to be here because I've been actually part of the Getting Married Bridal Fair Online for uh, Getting Married Bridal Fair Offline for the past several years. And it's nice to be part of them right now online with you guys as well. So do please do stick around as we welcome the big boss of the Getting Married Bridal Fair, who will discuss in the spirit of the new normal how they've retweaked, revamped, and improved their Getting Married Bridal Fair online website. Yes, make sure if you have any questions for her or if you have any comments as well, you can use the hashtag, hashtag GM Bridal Fair online, hashtag GM Bridal Fair live show, and hashtag Hilton Manila. All right, so not to make you guys wait any longer, RJ, we're going to see some more of you later on, later on in the program. But then for now, I am privileged to introduce to you our very first special guest for this afternoon. Everybody, please join me in welcoming the big boss and the brains behind Getting Married Bridal Fair Philippines. A big virtual round of applause for Miss Kuchi Zaldariaga. Kuchi, welcome, Kuchi. Hello. This is where our journey <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Miss Gucci looking absolutely fabulous this afternoon. Thank you guys and good afternoon to our viewers. Good afternoon everyone and thank you for taking the time for joining us for this afternoon. I'm so excited to be interviewing you because last time it was RJ and uh, Kevin and I are like, my gosh, he's getting some face face to face time with the big boss babe and now here we are <laughs> I'm actually big boss part I'm like the pinaka dito smallest iilalim mo yung pinaka yeah. small yata ko dito sa group na to no tatangkad nila <laughs> but I'm just really happy uh, we have the second live online bridal show and I'm I'd, I'm very thankful that we have again the support of you guys and the rest of the suppliers who are joining for the two-day fair. So it's really something that, that's always exciting for me every time. And I hope our viewers out there are getting excited as well for the rest of the afternoon and also for tomorrow. Yeah, which is why I really wanted to congratulate you, Miss Kuchi. Because nung una palang very groundbreaking na yung ginawa natin, the very first ever online bridal fair. Pero ngayon, bumalik tayo for the second time around, but... In a much bigger venue. Congratulations, yes. Miss Cucci. We would like to thank Hilton Manila for giving us uh, the whole ballroom of uh, the Hilton to have our event. And we're very thankful. Uh, heads up to Miss Winnie Alhambra for facilitating everything for us. Thank you so much, Miss Winnie. And I just wanted to ask how many or what was the reaction of, let's say, first the suppliers? Because, you know, this type of bridal fair, making it online, it's a very, very big help to all of the suppliers who have been struggling during the pandemic and are slowly trying to get back and also help other couples have their dream wedding, kahit papano, di ba? Yes. So what was the reaction of the suppliers who were joining? And um, was it one of the reasons why you wanted to push for a second one or paano po ba? Well, um, basically, the first bridal fair live online show happened last November, and it was like really a uh, medyo the pandemic is like still raging on and still things are uncertain. Um, but then, kasi I thought of doing a repeat for January, kasi yung physical fair ko talaga na malaki is really every January. That's my biggest uh, bridal fair, the physical one we do at the SMX convention. And so I said, Parang for upcoming 2021, bagong taon, I'd like to do it na virtual again. Kasi I still can't do the physical fair. 
So, at least the suppliers are very happy na yung mga kasali talaga sa original na January Fair are able to showcase their things and their offerings in our, um, our uh, bridal show and also in our online website. Yeah, so before we talk about your website, yeah. Ms. Gooch, I just wanted to take away from the question of uh, Z uh, mm -hmm. that she just asked right now. So, being that we are still in the... Uh, Wading through the circumstances of uncertainty, Ms. Gooch, uh, where do you see the bridal fair in the foreseeable future? Do you plan on having this online format endure? And what do you think will be benefits ba if we continue this or just wait for having another physical bridal fair? Well, actually, the physical bridal fair has always been there in the pipeline. Naman. It's not something that we're taking out. Um, it will be happening in the future. It's just that we're waiting for regulations to ease up since we're still on GCQ. Um, once we have MGCQ and most likely the vaccine is here in Manila or in the Philippines, um, I feel like we can go that route or on planning on a physical fair because we have more confidence to do it, to do it safely. For the meantime, uh, we're doing the virtual online fair um, because this is the avenue that uh, parang for now, it's the safer way to do it. But what Kevin is asking is, pwede bang i-combine yun in the future? Of course, we can do that, no? It's what we call the hybrid events, wherein we have physical fair going on and an online fair also happening at the same time. So that is something that we plan. Kaya lang, I, I don't want to get too excited, Kev. <laughs> Wag mo muna ako stress pag iisipin ko yun, ha? how I'm going to do it. Parang iniisip ko pa lang sa website, how do I do it? But you know, there, there are plans, pero... Uh, it's it's a foreseeable future. Sorry, makadagdag lang siya. So we were talking about this earlier, see si Miss Kuchi and I. And uh, for those that feel that uh, you know they, they enjoy walking through a physical bridal fair, pero sa ngayon we really just have to make do with watching it online. But the benefit of it is, di ba Miss Kuchi, sa mga hindi nakakapagpunta sa physical bridal fair, anywhere you are in the world, you can participate. Uh, in the bridal fair and avail of the promos of all the suppliers involved. Well, actually, Kev, see, no, um, what Kevin said, yung mga brides natin, soon to wed couples, who are not experiencing the physical fair right now, will get a feel here in the virtual ballroom of uh, Hilton. Because if, if I may ask the cameraman, if you can just pan around, um, you know, when you have a physical fair, it looks like this, no, in camera, if it's like moving around, may mga exhibits kami, we have tables, we have booths display. So dito, uh, later, ang gagaling ng mga live streamers natin, they will be focusing on each of the suppliers on exhibit here. So makita talaga nila, and even in the videos that we will share. So para na rin silang nag Punta sa fair. Actually, so, yeah, that's one of the best things about going virtual is just that before you go to a wedding fair, minsan iniisip nila, ano pa kaya yung mga tanong ko na pwede sa mga suppliers? But we, we as hosts, we're doing it for you. We can actually give you some ideas on what to ask your suppliers. And also, you have an idea of what it should look like. Because we, like you said, we have physical styling here. If you want something that's more starlight, we have a, a starlight setup. If you want something more floral, we have a floral setup. So there are so many things that you can see virtually. And pwede mo siyang balik-balikan. Yeah. Yes. At yung advantage ko pa nga, itong dalawang to kasi, ano pa to, binata pa, dalago pa. So, you know, these are both available. So, parang, you know, parang, oh, minarket ko ba kayo? Sorry, ah. <laughs> Go lang. <laughs> minarketing ko daw yung dalawa. Kasama Pero, pala sa bridal fair yan. Sa push yan. But, you know, seriously, uh, what's the advantage of you guys? Uh, you get to be excited to be a part of it. So, you're feeling soon to wed rin kayo kahit wala pa naman. Pero, at least you get to know the questions in their mind, right? So, yun yung maganda dito kasi nahi-heads up yun na yung mga things to ask. So, that's a really good thing. And, yun na nga pa, I want to mention the website that we have right now. It's currently new. Uh, there is uh, our page, www.gettingmarriedbridalfairfields.com. And if you open that website right now, masyado siyang maliwanag na nakalatag lahat yung suppliers natin. It's so easy to look at each one. Just, you know, click on it and it goes to the page of the supplier that you're looking at. So, super easy.
Actually, I've seen the website. In the beginning, nung nakita ko yung website, before, before nyo gumawa ng modification, it was very simple naman and it was there. But now, you have more of an in-depth look about the bridal fair itself, all of the suppliers who are a part of it. It's more interactive. And uh, you can also get a direct information or direct reply from the suppliers. Because some of them, you have to wait for the others to reply. Ang tagal-tagal pa. Pero ito direct na. And you know, na. watch out for it kasi in the future, Sure, it will be more like you guys can actually access it in the future as a supplier uh, you'll be given a dashboard and you're able to input your own promos and discounts oh, diba? anytime you want it any time of the day parang Facebook for weddings yes. <laughs> tech company na rin yung getting married bride of Philippines all right yes. so now that we have all the business out of the way Miss Gucci on to the fun part I want to ask you Bilang second time around natin, on a bigger scale, what do we expect to see today and tomorrow for the online bridal fair show? Well, for today and tomorrow, marami tayong pasabog. No? Sa mga stylists na lang, we have the top names in the country today. Uh, we have Gideon, we have Michael Ruiz, we have Teddy Manuel, and Dave Sandoval and Miss Amelia uh, Marinel. Um, Amelia Blossoms, and they are here to showcase their events. I mean, their styling. Plus, we have mga performers and mga guests talaga na mamimit nila dito. And I'm sure excited yung mga couples natin to see them. I'm definitely sure that they're excited because not every day that you get to meet also the heads of uh, these companies or these suppliers. Kasi pag pumunta ka doon sa bridal fair mismo, you get to meet with uh, the people behind the scenes. Yes, but sometimes, uh, hindi mo matichempohan. Halimbawa, um, from Nice Print, hindi mo, makikita, hindi mo agad makikita si Miss, Miss Cherise, di ba? Minsan yes, lang correct. na, face oh, to face. Minsan si Cherise Tino, hindi mo yan makagilap pasta, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pero dito, you know, they can leave Later, comment and ask question to Char for Nice Print, which is, by the way, doing our live stream for today. Uh, nice Print is doing our live stream. And then tomorrow, we have Mayad naman. I thank you so much, Nice Print and Mayad. Oh, now, to, to take away from that, Miss Cooch, before we let you go, any final words, Miss Cooch? Well, okay, guys, just um, please stay tuned for the rest of the day. And until tomorrow... We promise to give you a good show. Um, I want you to get to know more of our suppliers. And we have a lot of raffles uh, to draw. And then, marami tayong mga papremyo pa na matutuwa sila they get that uh, towards the end of the show pa. Yeah, right. perfect. Maraming pa premio. And hopefully, you guys can help us out because at the very first virtual bridal fair, naka ilang views tayo, 10,000 plus yeah, organic lahi. views, di ba? Yeah, oo. And this is aired all over the world in Dubai, United Kingdom, US. You know, this is New Zealand. Kumbaga, this is really like <laughs> a worldwide event, actually, as I may call it. All right, thank you very much, Ms. Cooch. So to everybody watching us now from the comfort of your own homes, as well as all of our guests here, palakpakan po natin si Ms. Cucci Zaldariaga, the big you. boss and the ever so lovely mother and barkada <laughs> of everyone in the wedding industry. So thank now we move on to introducing our uh, next supplier. So everybody, in the form of a, bit, a video, get to know this next supplier. Everybody, please watch this.
New normal. In fact, as I bring in my next guest over here, I would love to share with all of you my experience of my staycation with the whole family here at the Hilton Manila. It was truly magical for myself, my wife, and my kids. And you know what made it truly magical? The fantastic culinary experience which I had here at the Hilton Manila. So ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to welcome here on stage the executive chef of Hilton Manila, Chef Benoit Charger. Chef, thank you so much for joining Hello, us, Chef Benoit. It's a pleasure to have you, Chef. You know what? In the new normal, usually when you talk, you put the mic beneath so you can be heard. Under. Oh, sorry. There, yes, there you go. That's correct. It comes off much, much better now. Chef, bonjour. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour. And uh, it's, it's such a great experience coming here to the Hilton. Uh, I love all the safety protocols that they have in place all the way up from getting uh, your antigen tests if you do stay here in the hotel Correct. and also the, the protocols of entering the hotel here at the same time. But what I would really love to talk about with you, Chef, is the fantastic culinary experience that you are providing everybody here at the Hilton. Tell us a bit more about the sumptuous food offerings they can find in Hilton right now if they hold their event over here. Oh, well, we have a... Cucina, which is uh, our main restaurant, you know, we are just reopening for the last uh, three months now with all the protocols, of course, you know, all the distancing and the, the safety security that we have. But I think we have an amazing buffet here. We are actually launching our lobster buffet now. Lobster buffet? Yes, yes. Wow. And we can find all the seafood, you know, the fresh seafood that we can find in a... Uh, in Manila, so I mean, in, in Cucina, in Cucina, and then to to have a variety, you know, we uh, we actually have a Boston lobster on the menu as well. Wow! So and, yes, and, and actually, chef, I, I was going to say I, I had several meals in Cucina, and what I enjoyed aside from just the great variety of food choices that you have over there is I appreciated the health and safety protocols actually of, of yes. how they cleaned every how they cleaned everything every time uh, that you got a tray. Um, of course, all the little things which you don't notice, but only a, a, a hotel like Hilton will remember, like uh, where to put your face mask, where to put your face shields. Yes, yes. These things were all in, taken into consideration. Every single cutlery uh, in, in a pack, you know, the, we have a food uh, pre-pack also. We have to make sure that the customer take uh, safety and uh, safety food uh, to their place. The face mask, of course, this is uh, very important also. The drinks, every drinks also are in bottle or in plastic top and cover. So yes, definitely security has been the first uh, stage of this hotel, you know, for a long time now with in across all the F&B and across of the, uh, the rooms. I mean, you can see that uh, we have a seal to make sure that the room has been totally disinfected and clean before you stay here. Yeah, I, I remember when you go to the rooms here right now, for those who will be staying here during their weddings or for events, uh, there's a clean stay seal that yes. is right outside of your door. So you will see that that room has been sealed so that nobody else has been inside that room after it was sanitized. And only you can break that seal Correct. when you enter the room. Just to, to bring some security and to make sure that uh, everybody understands that. But more than that, what makes it very interesting to stay here in the Hilton is that you have a welcome drink brought straight outside your room called uh, yeah. the Hilton Cocktail on Wheels. Tell Cocktail us more about the Hilton wheel. Cocktail on Wheels. Well, just a welcome, you know. As you know, you cannot have your mini bars or your, uh, your drink inside. So we are bringing you the cocktail on the way to your room, so in front of you. <laughs> right, right in front of you, you get the yes, cocktails yes, made over yes. over there. And it's nice, it. a nice conversation that you have also with the, with the, with the bartender. Exactly. <laughs> so you can choose and we do it in front of you. That's right. So, yeah. As, and aside from Cucina, what are the other great offerings that you have over here? I know you've got a fantastic Chinese restaurant yes. here as well. Wahin is a, actually our chef is a one winning chef, you know. So we have a Shanghainese uh, cuisine. Especially the Shanghainese cuisine, but he's also taking care of, uh, you know, private, uh, private parties that uh, could be happening in the future, of course, you know. And this is uh, a very, very good chef. He's using premium ingredients, you know, as a Chinese chef like to be, you know, they they very specialized in their <laughs> their choosing product. So yes, you no. Know. We I actually great, enjoyed great over there. They had great uh, wasabi prawns and salted egg prawns. Yeah. Uh, I went back for that several times over there in uh, in the Chinese okay. restaurant. And coming to the Chinese New Year, of course, you know the chef Kevin uh, Kevin Chu. Sorry, 
prepare a special menu for that event. And then uh, we also open our Yamsha during the weekend, and it's very popular, actually. So. And then there's one thing that's very interesting. When you make your way out to the swimming pool area over here, they've got a great pool. It's a nice pool. It's well socially distanced when you go there. But when you go there, you will notice that there are actually bubbles in the pool where you can, where you can eat. Tell the us a bubbles. bit more about this, bu the bubbles. The yes. bubbles has been very, very interesting when you yeah. go out over there and enjoy dining here, technically outdoors. Outdoor, yes. And so we, we actually the safety. In it's the a bubble. safety bubble, yes, yes that's right. Safety bubble. So we also co cooking a meal at, as you choose, you know. Uh, the, the whole idea was to, to bring you in security outside in front of the, the pool. And then actually we have a grill item. We have a tomahawk and uh, well, uh, tomahawk Angus steak. beef. Yes, Angus beef, lobster on the menu. And then it is also... <laughs> Very popular. We are fully booked actually every day. So Fully booked for the bubble. Oh, yes, every day. And I'm sure that's going to be yeah. a great honeymoon experience for people who want to stay exactly. here at the Hilton. And to find out more about the great food offerings you can find here at Hilton Manila, please watch this. <laughs> We're going to have also the, the Valentine, special Valentine around the pool. So this is also going to be... Edging beef uh, in butter. So, uh, 36 days edging beef in butter. So, wow, it's going so to be a bit special. I, I, uh, lo I love how, Wilt, uh, how Hilton is able to do uh, all of this here right now. Uh, and before everything else, I'd just like to give my raffle question for those people listening here right now to this fantastic conversation I'm having here with Chef Benoit. If you've been listening, please let me know what is the main restaurant here at the Hilton? What is their top restaurant here at the Hilton? Please let us know in the chat box, in the con box, to win our special prize. And the prize that you'll be going home with right now is a gift certificate for lunch at dinner. And it's a buffet for two at their top restaurant over here at the Hilton. And I understand, uh, Chef, that there's a very special offer we have here right now for people who want to have their weddings here at the Hilton. Can we yes. please just flash that on the screen right now for those who want a special offer from the Hilton Manila if you have your wedding celebration here at the Hilton, which is event ready and clean safe. And here right now, uh, you can see the offer here in the back. Uh, let's just go through it. You can see that if you get any of the offers of Hilton here right now, it's a complimentary overnight stay, a round of non-alcoholic beverages, special menu selections, an exclusive venue consumable rates, 
For those watching from home here right now, please make sure to scan the QR code and avail of the special offers from Hilton. Now, on top of all that, uh, Chef, I know during this new normal, we want to make sure that the guests feel safe and secure uh, in their environment. And I know that Hilton has a special initiative called Event Ready. Please tell us more about that. Well, it's all about the cleanliness and sanitation. So all your room, are, of course, like the, the bedroom, they are sanitized, ready, and then uh, we respect the distance in between them. All the food is pre-packed individually, so we are serving you in an individual uh, box, basically, uh, and uh, the food is sealed, mm -hmm. so you can actually have a confidence on uh, what we are serving. Cutlery, mask protection, of course, you know, if you have a hair plug for your, uh, your communication, your meeting, or whatever, this will be also sanitized and provided in a vacuum cell bag. Wow. So, a lot that you guys are actually ready for in Hilton to make sure that for the new normal, you'll be comfortable, safe, and secure here at the Hilton. To yeah. know more about that one, please watch this video. Chef Benoit, you can truly enjoy a, you can truly enjoy a fantastic and magical experience here at the Hilton. And if you saw our commercial model over there, po, yes, that's right. That's Miss Kuchi Zaldariaga, hindi lang wedding organizer, commercial model pa. Hindi po yun si Sharon Cuneta po. And having said that, no, uh, moving on, I saw a lot of interesting things over here, Chef. So when you check in over here in the hotel, again, you all have to take a test, right? Is that oh, yes. is that correct? Yes. You have to, yes. And when, as you enter that room, again, we saw that clean, stay, seal. Can you tell us a bit more that, what, that, what does that seal mean before entering a room? But that's mean that your, your room has been sanitized, sanitized, you know. It's been checked, sanitized, and cleaned by the, the team, and then nobody entered the room until you are coming. I see. So you are the only one who's going to open the room. And also, how about in terms of housekeeping? You can also you can choose not to have housekeeping uh, enter the room just in case for for. Uh, uh, we do not enter the room uh, as soon as you go inside. We will not enter the room anymore until the next day, of course. But uh, we do not interfere with your presence inside the inside the room. What a great way to enjoy the Hilton hospitality that is world famous and world renowned. And having said all that, Chef, I know there is one more thing. But we, let's talk about the, the, the safety and the social responsibility and the effort that you have been putting into making sure that the food here is safe uh, here in the Hilton. We've got some photos to show you here right now. If we can flash them on the screen uh, right behind me. Uh, we've got photos coming from the Hilton. Uh, they're all very mouth-watering photos, of course. And very soon, you'll get to enjoy uh, the lobster buffet. This is our Chinese restaurant. And you can see that these are, if you can, if they can go back a bit, there's also very, uh, over here, Chef, this is, uh, these dishes are uh, usually for events, right? These, these are the event dishes. This is what we are doing. 
Okay. Uh, and Chef, for this one over here, um, even if people have to make it more intimate and, and smaller, uh, they're still able to enjoy a certain magical, uh, magical uh, magic over here. Plus uh, the, the kind of service that Hilton has to deliver. Yes. What makes it different to have an event here in Hilton, especially during the new normal? Uh, well, we are, I think we are ready for that. I think we are uh, inside for outside the kitchen. You know, we are implementing a lot more safety and security rules that we used to have, I mean, in basic, in, in our day. You know, you, you need to sanitize your water with 30 minutes and you need to, to change your gloves all the time. Then we really uh, reinforce that even more. So um, in terms of preparation, in terms of service, you know, our uh, weather are all wearing masks, face masks uh, and the whole gears, basically. So I think the safety is definitely in this hotel, you know. The, the food preparation is definitely done in regulation with all the protocols, so you're safe to come to, to have a lunch and dinner with uh, on your, your events, your wedding. <laughs> Fantastic, Chef Benoit. Chef Benoit, before we start to close out this conversation, just one thing. If there's one dish that they cannot miss when they visit the Hilton, what dish is that? Well, one is our special burger that we have in, uh, in Madison. You know, I think this has been a talk for the last two months. We, didn't, we launched this burger in, uh, in Madison and really, really, we talk about it uh, highly. Our menu, you know, our lobster buffet on the Saturday, Sunday, I think this is now actually fully booked again. So this is something that uh, we cannot miss. And of course, you know, Wahin has an excellent menu, you know, and uh, you can come and enjoy uh, your lunch and dinner with us. Fantastic. Chef, when I got here uh, during my station, the first meal I had was the burger in Madison. And it's, it was fantastic. Mm. It was a mouth-watering, juicy burger, something I look forward to eating again and again and again over here at the Hilton. Can we please invite our soon to be weds one more time to hold their weddings here at the Hilton for a truly magical experience? Thank you very much. You can invite, would you like to invite them now, <laughs> Chef, one more time? They're all listening to you right please, now. Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Please do come over here. And for those who would like to avail of the special promos and offers of the Hilton, please scan our QR code here right now. Again, Chef Benoit, thank you so much for inviting us here to the Hilton and enjoying this magical experience. And we just like to let you know the winner. Do we have a winner right now for our raffle prize, for our special prize? Who was able to name the top restaurant here at the Hilton Manila? The name of the restaurant is, of course, Cucina. And do we have a winner right now? Coming out on screen? No winner just yet. Hopefully, the winner in just a bit again. Chef uh, Benoit, uh, merci. Thank you for being here. And we look forward to magical dinners and a magical stay here at Hilton, which is always event ready. Thank you so much. Thank and you very much. Thank you so much, Chef. And then moving on, ladies and gentlemen, please watch this. Duterte has declared a lockdown of the capital, Metro Manila, after raising the maximum The bright light lamps forced to put the biggest day of their lives on hold. <laughs> Thank you once again, RJ and Chef Benoit, for that wonderful segment that you just, uh, you just watched earlier. But now, to move on with the rest of the program, I have the privilege to bring in one more very special guest that I have the privilege to get to speak with here in front of all of you this afternoon. So everybody, please join me in welcoming the very lovely big boss and brains behind one of the people in charge of tonight's, oh, this afternoon's event, 
the brains behind Nice Print Photography. Everybody, please welcome the lovely Miss Charisse Santillantino. Miss Char, good Hello, afternoon. Good happy afternoon. New Year. I'm so happy to be here. Thank oh, you. Ha Thank you happy for to be with me. you again, Miss Char. But before we get to speaking with one another, would you prefer to sit down or would you like to stand up? I'd offer you a seat, though. I'm good. I'm good standing up. Thank you. All right, let's stand up. Good afternoon once again, Miss Charisse. Happy New Year to you. Happy Looking New Year. lovely. Happy 2021, as everyone. All right. So now I know. Before we get to talk about you know your promos and the packages and the services that you offer. Uh, for the benefit of those that weren't able to watch our first live stream, because obviously this the, this is one of the things that uh, you know that we frequently talk about with the would-be customers and clients that we would have. So, Miss Char, for siguro the peace of mind of the people watching and who are interested to avail of your services, uh, is there anything new that you're doing? Are you flexible with the dates, uh, with regard to the safety protocols? What can they expect from you? So. Ms. Char, uh, what can uh, the clients expect from uh, booking Nice Sprint? Yeah, um, syempre, we've been in the you know pandemic for for a few months already. So we've already uh, placed all the safety protocols, Kevin. Like for example, um, pag may mga shoots, talagang we make sure that they're in PPE, um, face mask and face shield, of course, for the safety of our guests, our clients, of course, and the team as well. And um, randomly, we always do swab tests for them as well to make sure that they're all safe and um, healthy. Um, so yes, um, all the safety protocols are in place. One of the things that, uh, one of the questions that get thrown around uh, often uh, that I hear is that, okay, since the, the, the couples or the celebrants they aren't too certain yet as to what their date is, be it for their wedding or their birthday celebration. So they always ask, Paano po ba? Pwede bang, can we pencil book a date first? Are you flexible with booking another date? Paano po ba yun, Ms. Alam mo, during these times talaga, we really have to be flexible and we really have to adjust for our clients. So yes, we actually accept um, pencil bookings. Um, kasi nga medyo magalaw, everything's fluid. And we also want to make sure na um, our clients, para may peace of mind sila, that they can actually move their event to a later date or an advanced date. Kasi magugulat ka, medyo marami ding nagpapa-advanced date na. And they want to get their life started. So yes, we're flexible in that sense. And wala pong extra charge for that to move the wedding. So I have a question out of my own curiosity, Ms. Charisse. So being that flexible po kayo with regard to moving the dates, if ever naman, uh, is there a limit to the, to the extension or to moving the date maybe within the year lang po ba siya? Or can they extend it to the next year or two years from now? Yeah, usually in the contract, it really states up to one year from the original date of the wedding. So if you're booking your wedding for 2021, you can um, move it up to 2022. So medyo mahaba-haba naman yung time frame natin. So what kind of events have you already done or are you open to doing being that uh, we're still moving around in the new normal? Do you accept weddings, Miss Char, or uh, do you accept pretty much all the kinds of events that are available for you to cover? Yeah, see, Nice Print Kasi, we do all kinds of events. We do weddings, of course, um, I'd say uh, high percentage are weddings. And then we do kiddie parties and debut and corporate shoots. And like um, just this year and last year, we've started doing live streaming, like what we're doing now for this show. Um, it's something that's really popular these days uh, because, nga, um, because of the current situation. And um, so I really feel like this whole year is going to be a hybrid type of events. So my physical wedding or physical event as well as live streaming for the, for the event. And you know what? It's actually quite good, no? Because um, it becomes very inclusive. Kasi nga, even people abroad na hindi mo dati naiisip na makakapag-celebrate with you for your event, it's something that's normal these days. People can actually take part and be part of your wedding still through online. Yeah, that's fantastic. Technology nga, na ngayon, it's, it's really amazing. Yes. Right? Yes. So thank you again for those that aren't, uh, that aren't aware. See, Ms. Charisse and her team are the ones responsible for our live stream this afternoon. So thank you very much, yes. Ms. Char, for that. But 
uh, for the benefit of the people watching here, baka kasi ma-overwhelm sila. Mm-hmm. Iisipin nila, all right, maybe we can we can contact Ms. Charisse and her team to do a hybrid stream. Uh, we can contact Ms. Charisse to do a possible uh, as in dedicated stream lang for their smaller scale event. But baka iisipin nila, oh, maybe they only accept uh, events uh, as bonga as this, if I may put it that way. Uh, maybe you can give them uh, a better idea of, of the range of events that you can do when it comes to live streaming as well. Yeah, we can actually stream even a proposal. Um, you know, these days, diba, sobrang uh, trending ang mga wedding proposals. So even those, we, actually, we can actually do it for just two people. Um, kumbaga, kung sa smaller scale to bigger scale, even for just two people, we can actually do it. And everybody, their friends, like for the proposal, no, their friends can actually watch it live. And, and talagang nakakakilig siya watching it um, live through streaming. So, yan po. Ganyan ang mga uso ngayon at ganyan ang mga um, palaging hinihingi sa atin. So, streaming for weddings, proposal, what have you. Everything talaga. And the quality of the streams that they watch. Kasi ito, ngayon ko lang siya na-discover. Because when we say streaming, siguro familiar lang sila sa parang Zoom kind of setup. Yeah. But ngayon, parang na-introduce na sa atin, especially in the wedding and events industry, yung parang mukhang same-day same edit, edit na din. Yeah, because um, normally, Kevin, we can do three or up to five cameras at a single event. Therefore, pag kinatokat mo yon from camera to camera, it really feels and looks like a same-day edit video. So um, people really appreciate watching it because they're like watching an edited full video of a wedding already. Hindi siya yung stagnant na isang angle lang. So it becomes really um, more beautiful these days because of the given the technology and more people or more cameramen in the in the venue. Um, they're given all angles as if they're actually there. Uh, which brings me to the question, because we did an event uh, together uh, just quite recently. Yes. Uh, tapos, instead of us being, uh, being on-site, na mag-shoot kayo na parang ganito, we did the parang Zoom lang po siya, di ba? Yes, yes. It was done through Zoom because the clients were in a different country. Correct. I, obviously, dito sa Pilipinas, and the guests were watching from all around the world. Right. So this is more of the Zoom setup, di ba? Yes. Um, sa Zoom naman, we actually recommend it also, Kevin, if it's going to be um, interactive. Like, that was for a surprise debut for, that, for our client. And um, since there are Zoomers inside the Zoom meeting, um, the Zoom party, everybody gets to see each other. So ibang, iba naman po tong aspeto. And it's usually used for debuts or intimate kiddie parties that they get to do activities together. And even our, our host that day, our celebrant, were gracious enough. They even... And we celebrant. even had games, no? We even had several games and AVP yeah. showing. So it's it's really an experience. They yeah. even had games. And the beauty of it is that very interactive it all. The, the, the people watching, they can type in their comments. Correct. We can see them from their cameras as well. Yes. So now, Ms. Charisse, now that we have an idea of the range of services that you offer when it comes to streaming and covering events, maybe this is something that the people are, uh, you know, very particular about then. Because we also have to observe a certain amount of people that we can invite mm-hmm. to a particular venue, diba. Right? So, for example, for a hybrid event, how many people from your team can we expect or that uh, the couples can expect para maka-allocate sila ng uh, number of people in the venue? Yeah, for our packages this time, um, for a photographer, videographer, and live streamers, we can do as little as six people. Um, and tatakbo na po talaga yung whole show. So that's around six to eight. If they can allow us to have eight, better. But yeah, with six, kayang kaya naman. So this is uh, parang SDE quality stream na po ito. Yes. Um, may limitations kasi we can't have five camera at that point, right? So if they want more, then of course, if they can allow more people, the better. 
Okay, so good thing, uh, Mr. Sharice, that you mentioned packages. Are there any promos and packages that you would like to uh, share with the people viewing here, especially that we're celebrating the Getting Married Bridal Fair Philippines right now? Yes, we've actually come up with uh, a new package under our company. It's called the Dream Wedding Package. Um, we've taken to heart what the brides and the grooms actually just really need at this point. No? Um, so, tinanggal namin yung mga hindi masyadong kailangan for the new temporary normal weddings. And we've placed in items that you actually need right now. So, the, it's standard photo and video packages. The album is still there. There's still going to be prenup photo shoots. But we already incorporated the live streaming as part of the package. So, this becomes um, talagang something that the couples natutuwa talaga sila when they saw this because... It's something that they really need at this point, right? So parang dati yung panahon, Kevin, ang uso dati, kailangan may SDE or kailangan may drone. I think for this year, it's really live streaming. No? So yes, that's the kind of package that we, we made especially for you. And we cut, it out, uh, we cut out 30,000 pesos out of the package. So it's an all-in package. It's called Dream Wedding Package at 130,000 all-in. So needless to say, this is the best time to get to book your services, Ms. Chai. Yes, because we're only offering it for a limited time. Just for January, we've come up with this just for the Getting Married Bridal Fair. And we're only offering it until the end of the month, which you can book um, for your 2021, 2022, 2022 weddings. All right. So for the people watching right now, if you remember me mentioning earlier, on top of all of the raffle prizes that we declared that we are going to be giving out later on this afternoon, ito na po yun. May surprise na pasabog si Miss Charisse bi bilang na we are interviewing her right now. So Miss Char, you mentioned earlier that out of the generosity of your heart, you'd also want to throw in a special prize from your end. Can you yes. talk about that? Yes, this is very impromptu. So we're giving away two prenup packages for free at our own studio, which is the Concept Room Studio in Pasig. So that's totally free, um, prenuptial shoot, um, and we're giving it away for two lucky winners, lucky couples, and all you need to do is type in the hashtag NicePrintPhotography, so comments below, and um, the Getting Married Bridal Fair team will actually choose randomly two lucky winners at the end of the show. All right, so to uh, repeat what Ms. Char just mentioned, if you want to get a chance to win yourself, uh, win yourselves a prenup uh, package. With a studio venue as well. With a studio venue, Care of Nice Print Photography, all you have to do is type into the comments of this stream, hashtag Nice Print Photography. Again, please don't forget to comment hashtag Nice Print Photography. And later on in the program, we are going to be announcing the two lucky winners of the packages offered by Nice Print. So before we let you go, Miss Char, yeah. uh, can you share with us how the people can get in touch with you, how they can contact you, and final words as well. Yes, um, so we're on Facebook, Nice Print Photography and Exige Weddings. Instagram, nice print photo. Um, you will. Um, you can email us at inquiry at niceprintphoto.com as well. So for parting words, you know it's been 2020 has been really tough, and um, I guess weddings these days would be a bit tougher to to plan, but it's very much doable. You know, um, I would just really want to say that. Marami rin man po talagang gustong magpakasal at nagpapakasal na. So don't worry, your um, wedding suppliers, that's why we are here, to make life easier for you. So um, we're just really excited for what um, 2021 has in store for us. Um, last year, we were hoping for the vaccine and now it's actually here. So yes, days are really getting better and um, we are just really, really happy to be here um, at the moment and, you know, still doing what we love, isn't it? Which is doing weddings. Absolutely. I really am thankful that at least we moment din tayong dalawa dito, Ms. Correct. Reese. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having us again, Ms. Charisse. And to everybody watching and everybody here live as well, a virtual round of applause for Ms. Charisse Santeliantino of Nice Print Photography, Philippines. Okay, so there are more special parts of the program that we have to get to. In fact, from the stage, we're going to throw you outside into the hallway. So everybody, here's Z Saldua once again for another part of today's program. Yeah. 
Welcome back. We are live here now on a Facebook, of course, at the Getting Married a Bridal Affair. And this is online. And I'm sure that a lot of our brides are wondering how it is when it comes to getting their makeup done. What are the questions they should ask when it comes to finding the right makeup artist for you? And today I have a very, very special and gorgeous makeup artist. Parang ikaw yung model, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is none other than Mariah Santos. And uh, I wish I could say that she did my makeup, but she didn't. Next time, I want her to do my makeup because I stalked you on Instagram. <laughs> My God! Thank you, thank you so much. Parang, Next time, dapat ako na gumawa ngayon. Dapat nga no? talaga. <laughs> I don't want anybody else to do my makeup. Shana na lang. <laughs> Next time. Sa so next fair. Sa so next then. fair. Yes. Or yeah. sa so next. Next wedding, first wedding. <laughs> Ay, oo, oo. Promise yan ah. Pwede. Ayan na. So, so, Miss Mariah, I wanted to ask you, ano yung naging experience mo nung 2020? Kasi syempre, Happy New Year 2021 na. Pero nung 2020, lahat tayo nahirapan. Pero bilang makeup artist, ano yung naging effect sa iyo ang pandemic? Sobrang, um, on the first part, ng ano, 2020, mm -hmm. sobrang struggle para sa, sa atin lahat eventually. And then, uh, pero at the latter part naman, Swap test, meron kang PPEs, ano pa? And, and yung pinaka-importante and super big change talaga for the makeup artist ay yung ano, kailangan ng sobrang hygiene. Like, mm -mm. you have to buy your own UV sanitizer, sterilizer, para at least to keep the, the makeup and the brushes clean. Kasi nakakatakot yung virus, right? Yes. So, pe pero pwede ka pa rin gumawa ng makeup ng bride, tapos mother of the bride. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oo, oh, oh, uh, after you did the makeup, kailangan make sure na is sterilize again the brushes mm. para at least safe talaga siya. Actually, yung makeup artist talaga, sila yung pinaka malinis na hygiene talaga even before the pandemic. So, iniisip ko ano pa kaya yung mga health protocols na dadagdagan mo. Yun, yun. Tsaka ano talaga, um, yun nga, face shield, face mask, yung mga protocols na yun in alcohol, and yun, yung UV sanitizer. Sobrang kailangan ngayon yun kasi to kill the germs. It's really good that we have makeup artists like you who are really going beyond the effort pa mm -hmm. para make sure na bawat client na meron po kayo, it will be safe para din sa'yo, di ba? Yes. Kasi ang dami mong face na hahawakan, na face na ang lapit-lapit kasi you need to make sure, di ba? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ayun. So not only will I be interviewing her, but she's also going to be doing a makeup for one of her models, which you will see later on. Mm -hmm. We will see the transformation, the before and after. And I wanted to ask you, ano po yung balak nyo para sa model mo? Are you going to do like an evening sultry look or mm -hmm. um, morning, got out of the, like, and Fresh no look, makeup, no oh, makeup, no no, makeup I'm doing, look. I'm doing the middle, na no makeup and, and evening look. So parang bridal gorgeous bridal parang gano glowing bridal look para in between siya yes so hindi siya yung super parang walang effort no, to make up no make up make up or the evening glamour no i i will do ano, in the middle parang ano siya uh, fresh but still glamour yeah okay i'm so excited her model just arrived and i want to see her later on but we're going to just flash a few uh, shots of ano yung itsura niya before and then she's a very beautiful girl but after the makeup she's going to be gorgeous gusto mo ba siya isama Ka, baby this is andra soon to be bride also Ay, soon to <laughs> no, be bride sakto no, sakto ang dating mo and Ayan, pwede mo na alisin, uh, paalisin mo natin. Yung uh, na, face yeah. mask. Yeah. 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 She's oh, so diba? pretty na, di ba? Oh. And then later, you're going to see how she turns into the beautiful 
bride. Yeah. Yeah. And so thank you so much once again for being a part of this bride, uh, this bridal fair. Yeah. And of course, you're going to take your seat here yeah. and get prepared. So hahanda niya talaga lahat ng mga makeup niya. All of this was uh, UV sanitized. Yes. Earlier. It was cleaned and sanitized talaga yan. Yeah. Sterilized pa. Lahat sterilized. Na, <laughs> all the hygiene that you want, you know, talagang ginawa to, to kill the bacteria. Yeah, that's true. So it's good to know that we have our makeup artists here who are really putting that extra effort to make sure that we're all safe. So thank you so much, Mamaya. We're going to have a more in-depth interview with Mariah. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment and we'll get to ask Mariah about all of your questions regarding makeup, regarding hair, paano kapag uh, sumali sila sa bridal fair, may promo ba sila? Or yung mga, yung mga pwede nilang gawin? Like, short hair ako, ano ba yung pwedeng gawin? Extensions ba? Or are you going to use my natural mm -hmm. hair? So, all of these type of questions, go ahead, comment, and we'll go back to you later on in the program. But for now, I think it's time that we go back to the stage with RJ, who has a uh, catering service that is very, very well known in the wedding industry. Of course, I'll allow him to take the honors of introducing our next guest. RJ, take it away. And again, thank you so much to uh, Mariah. Sing this song with you Cause we're getting married We're getting married I'll sing this song with you Cause we're getting married And that, ladies and gentlemen, was K by Kunan and Catering and we're very happy right now to be joined all the way via Zoom by the lovely Miss Kay Kunan and herself. Kay, how are you doing this afternoon? Happy New Year and welcome Happy. to the Getting Married Bridal Fair Online. How are you doing? I am doing great, RJ. I'm so happy to see you. It's so refreshing to see a familiar face from I weddings. Exactly. And Let me just move to this side so I can see you much better. <laughs> I am. I'll stay opposite you. It's so nice to see you. It's a long time no see. At I know. Online. How exciting. Um, this is a good sign that, you know, things are uh, going to start rolling for the wedding industry. And we're so excited to, uh, well, we started doing weddings already, but it's just nice to, you know, see everyone again. That's and kakamis to be ano, to be an action. Kakamis, you know, and, and Kay, what I really miss as well is that, you know, whenever I am in a Kay Kunanan wedding, uh, there are specific dishes which I always enjoy that I expect to see. And, and I, I, miss, I miss enjoying them. And I'm sure that uh, later on throughout the course of our discussion, we can also discuss what are people's favorites when they, when they get Kay by Kunanan catering. At the same time, what have been the new dishes you've added as well during this uh, new normal and during 2021? So, okay, let's take a step back first of all, no? And many things uh, which our couples are interested to find out is really um, how, how caterers right now are adjusting to the new normal. What should they do? You provide usually the, the gold standard, K, no? Uh, but what are the new things that we can expect uh, that, that meet the standards of uh, health and safety during the new normal for caterers like yourselves? We, it's, a lot of changes. Um, we start with cocktails, number one. Um, we don't. We no longer pass around the appetizers because when you pass around, the, um, the food is exposed. So we try to serve cocktails and appetizers directly to the person once you're seated already. Mm -hmm. um, at the buffet, we've made sure to, in um, to install sneeze guards for each dish um, just so, you know, to avoid contamination. And now, you know, for each dish, someone is already serving the food to the guests. Um, we're doing soup service and, and salad service for everyone. So you don't, like usually when you go to the buffet, it's so hard to be carrying the, the, the dinner plate that's and right, the soup, right. you know, mm -hmm. in one. So now we're doing soup and salad service for everyone just to ensure that 
you know, it's less less travel to the buffet also. Um, of course, the tables are so, so the chairs and the tables are socially distanced. We're doing um, strictly 50% capacity only for um, off the venue. So let's say if the venue is good for 100 packs, we'll just do 50 persons because the tables are double now. So there's only five persons to a round table as opposed to the usual 10 persons. There's actually a lot that, that we've changed. Um, the nap, the of course, the cutlery is covered to ensure that you know it's not exposed to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, we just want everyone to know that we've gone through like all the nitty gritty details so that you don't have to worry about it. Um, we're retraining everyone. It's it's like starting from scratch. Um, in a way, it's good, you know, because I feel like you know we're grounded again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every time you know a new person who hasn't worked in a while come in we retrain everyone again and make sure that everyone is updated um with our new protocols so you can ensure that you know your guests will be you and your guests your family will be safe with with, uh, with us and that's fantastic news for me okay you know like, like we're both business owners and it's very difficult to let people go during this time because of business but i'm so glad that you know um uh, it, it's a catering service with a heart. You're really trying to retain your people and, and giving them, you know, helping them uh, adjust in this new normal. Uh, going back to the catering service that you're providing for uh, uh, K by Konan Catering, no? Um, for example, how about buffets? What are the th what do people do now for buffets? Do they, do the people actually do buffets? Do they do self serve? Is it a controlled buffet? What are the trends right now that um, that our newlyweds or soon to be weds need to remember when they're planning for the wedding with regard to let's say buffet? Yes, yes, we are doing buffet service. Um, um, you know, initially there was um, uh, a notion that buffet was unsafe, but we tried to um, make sure that, you know, we take away that notion and make buffet safe for everyone. You know, we, we, we have the, the, the sneeze guards, the acrylic guards per, per dish. We make sure there's only one person serving you. Um, and like the stations are socially are distanced also to make to make sure that not everyone is in you know like in one long line um it's well the, the client it's it's always a client's choice um but we've made buffets safe for for everyone also there are a few weddings who opt for like the more intimate ones let's say you're having a wedding at home and you don't want any servers at your wedding. You know, that is an option also. We make sure to leave gloves so that, you know, like when you touch the the, um, the silverware, um, you, you make sure that we, we you touch it with the gloves and it's not con contaminated. So those little things are what's, what makes the service re really different. Aside from that, when do you also have, let's say, when people eat, um, you know, where, where can they place their, their face masks on the table? Are there, there little sleeves that they can do as well? These little details. Well, not, we haven't gone. We haven't done, but that's a great idea. Actually, I've been seeing that everywhere, and that's a great idea that we can we can put in. Um, but we make sure to have like two napkins already. One napkin is where you can cover your your cutlery and you know your your personal items, and then one napkin is the one that you you actually use for touching your face. Fantastic. Now, okay, you've seen how things are are adjusting for the wedding industry in the new normal. And you know what? Uh, of course, people get the services of, of caterers like yourselves. Tell us a bit more. What are the trends that people are doing nowadays? Are they doing intimate at-home weddings? Are they doing outdoor venue weddings? Are they doing more of these out-of-town uh, uh, out weddings in, in open-air venues? Please tell us, as, as, the, as all of these uh, soon to be weds are planning for their weddings in this new normal, uh, what would you suggest, especially when they get catering service like yours? What venue? What to do? So many, so many ideas um, to work with. One, like if you're the really um, private kind, you can have it in your home. Um, we can set up in your house. And if you don't want any servers, actual servers there, we can set everything up for you and leave. The other one is, you know, you can have it in an open air venue, um, like, you know, Mango Farm or just uh, venues with huge gardens. So that you know everyone is outside and you know the, the air is not if if that's what you're worried about, you know, the, the, the air is not the air is circulating. Um, 
and we've had na you know the the ceremony is in the garden and then the reception is another another garden um so that there's less travel for your guests also um and the other one is you know to to actually book a ballroom um even if you're only 50 persons or even if you have only 50 guests or 70 guests you know if you get a ballroom um that you still have double the amount of tables anyway so you can actually still fill up a ballroom with tables and but socially distanced um chairs i see and, and Kino, at the same time we are here right now at the getting married bridal fair and like for you and for ourselves we of, often give the best possible promos or, or special offers to the people who are patronizing uh, the bridal fair what's a special offer of k by kunanan um, for this bridal fair, I don't know if RJ, if you've seen our Grana Padana station, but it's a really special um, pasta station with a huge cheese wheel. So um, it normally costs um, like 200 to 250 per head to upgrade to the station, but we're giving that for free wow. if you book at the Getting Married Bridal Fair. And at the same time, I, I really enjoy what I always enjoy are the cheesecakes coming over and the and, and, um, the churros that you guys have, I'm not sure it's churros, but tell us a bit more about what are the special dishes which you can enjoy? Because these are things that I always treasure. I know when I, it's a Quebec Conan and catering service, I'm going to go. I know exactly what to oh, choose. Oh, so it's nice to know you. I know you want. There are so many favorites. I'll have to say the Grand Padano Station is one. Um, Tinakuchi, you know, my our... Older friends always like the honey nut prawns. That's right, uh, which the honey is nut still prawns. there. Um, we always make sure to start the the weddings with um, a good cocktail selection. So um, we also have um, we used to have caratella, which is a um, a cheese spread, but now we do it per table so that you know you only share it with like people you're in the same house with. So. Um, we do that too. Um, all our beef dishes are mouth-watering, um, especially the ponzu with the truffle butter. I personally love that. So it's this, you know, we're doing events now. It's almost the same, but not quite. Um, in terms of, you know, we serve the same good food um, and make sure that the ambiance is like what you've dreamed of. But um, there's that other safety, um, dimension that we've put in now so um we can assure you that um now is a great time to actually get married fantastic i like that a anytime is a great time actually to get married you know we can still make our weddings just as magical uh in even True. more magical in in this new normal even more magical i mean must nakakaiyak when they're you know everything's like so focused now on the couple and focused on their love and um, like you can just really feel now that the uh, the weddings now are like really I, I don't know I don't know if I, I, if you feel the same but um, yeah just really heartfelt they're more they're more intimate they're more they feel more meaningful that you know they, they push through with it despite it all but it becomes right. more romantic despite all odds we're pushing through with our wedding celebration eh? So it's just see to see everyone's love story. Exactly. And, and Kay, one more thing. No, I'm sure right now, you know, many of these soon-to-be-weds, they're looking around saying, you know, uh, which caterer should I get? I'm, I'm sure they will, they will go for K by Kunan. Many of them would like to go for K by Kunan. But if they're going around, what should they be looking for in terms of the gold standard, especially for a caterer during this time? What are the watch outs that they should, that they, that they should see to make sure that the caterer does a good job? You know, it's easy for... for you know, anyone to over promise things, but um, just, just make sure that when you, you know, when you talk to someone, you feel safe with that person, with that supplier, ask if they have protocols in place. Um, and yeah, if they have something to show you, then, then, then that would be my advice now. Ask your wedding supplier if they have protocols in place. 
And with that, thank you so much, Kay, for joining us via Zoom. Kay by Quran Catering, one of my favorite caterers. And I'm sure they'll do a fantastic job for all of you now during the new normal. And again, we'd like to remind all of our guests to please do stay around for the duration of the Getting Married Bridal Fair online for special offers, discounts, and our raffle prices later on this afternoon. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a short break. Please watch this. Okay, Kay, thank you so much. Never, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, we show.
Book an appointment with us now. And experience the Surit of life.
Fair Philippines virtual program. So, what is a getting married bridal fair without some live performances? So, here with us for all of your entertainment, I am privileged to introduce to you one of the most sought after musical acts in the country. Everybody, please join me in welcoming Manila String Machine.
All right, everybody, a big hand for the Manila String Machine. All right. So I'm pretty sure all you guys watching at home, nagpapalakpakan din kayo. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, so now the beauty of this show is that not only do we get to see and watch the work of our uh, suppliers that uh, we'd like to get a chance to work with, but we also get a chance to get to know them as well. So representing the Manila String Machine, everybody please join me in welcoming, welcoming Mr. Theodore Amper. Sir, hope you can join me here in front. Double duty po kayo today. I hope the microphone is turned on. Hold on. Technical. Hello. Hello. There Hello. you go. Okay. So, Theodore, Happy Hi. New Year. Happy New Year. Good afternoon. Yeah, and you're long distance. <laughs> long distance. So, before we get going with the Q&A portion that we have this afternoon, let me first ask you, uh, what, is the ti what was the title of the, la the last song that you played? It was Shut Up and Dance by... <laughs> so again, shut up by the artist. By Walk, Walk the, the moon. moon. There you go. Shut right. up and dance by Walk the Moon was yes. the last song that they played. Everybody watching, please remember this because <laughs> gagamitin din yan, natin yan later on in the interview. So shut up and dance by Walk the Moon. Okay. Yes. All right. So now going back to you, Sir Theodore. Uh, first of all, I wanted to take away from the medley that you just played. Uh, usually, kasi mga iniisip na tao when they hire a string quartet or a band uh, such as what you have, uh, parang mga romantic, sentimental kinds of songs. But what we just watched from you guys, pwede din pala kayo magperform ng mga pop music, very upbeat music. What yes. kind of music do you offer to play? Well, um, we are blessed to be classically trained in our in different universities, so. We were able to perform called classical music and uh, all those other romantic stuff that we usually play at the weddings. But uh, one of the innovations that modern string quartets do today is play contemporary music using classical instruments and also classic uh, contemporary techniques such as if you hear some of us do this the percussive techniques just to imitate drums and everything. So that's it. That's what we do. So I yeah, hope you enjoy it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, I don't know if you were too in the zone or if you weren't really noticing people really nodding their heads oh, and wow. sila dito sa ballroom. Eh. <laughs> I hope you did. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure a lot of people would want to dance along to your music as well, yes. Sir Theodore. So when you say uh, string quartet, is it strictly four people or oh, do you yeah. also offer more members as part of the band that you can offer to our oh, clients? Oh yeah, that's a great question. Um, there's this um, traditional string quartet which we, as a group, sort of a purist, that we, we are composed of all strings, uh, which was done since the 1600s, 1700s, using two violins, a viola and a cello, which, uh, which is what, what, what we do. But then we, we do adapt to the modern, modern style today. That we add a keyboard or a percussion or an electric bass or... And we can add to the to the already classical group that we have. So uh, to put it simply, if the client would want the more, siguro parang party vibe, oh, yeah. being that you offer percussions as well, mm -hmm. parang band setup na rin yung mga yari dyan. We can do that. Actually, we can do that with the even with the minimal four people. But of course, adding the added instruments would be, you know, would add more color and more vibe to it. Yeah, absolutely. Be because I'm just thinking about the convenience of, uh, mm -hmm. of uh, our uh, potential clients. Eh. For example, yes. they want to get you, usually kasi pag quartet, you also do the ceremony itself. Yes. Uh -huh. Correct? So once you already, already get Manila String Machine to do your ceremony, very solemn, mm -hmm. very sentimental, kayo na rin sa reception, di ba? Yeah, Since exactly. you can be uh -huh. more upbeat. Yes, yes, exactly. And there's this, um, we, we do like, we do, uh, since we are a classical music group, we're perfect for intimate weddings or intimate events, but also for bigger events with a hotel lobby feel. Because we're not that noisy, <laughs> if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so now to switch gears, uh, Mr. Theodore, uh, I want to ask you about the new things that you offer. We were talking earlier oh, yeah. about the new things that you're offering, maybe the new packages also that you offer to our would-be clients because marami na rin nagbago in this new normal. So what new things are you offering to your clients during this new normal? Oh, yes. Uh, thank you for asking that. We, 
well, because of the pandemic, we were introduced to technology. <laughs> we were introduced to technology to Zoom and everything. But uh, we were able to perform for clients uh, using pre-recorded music. Uh, for example, they, they, didn't want to, they didn't want more people in their venue, but they wanted a string quartet playing their specific music. So that's where we come in. You just send us the requests, and then we'll send a video to you, and you can play that video on your, on your event. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's a lot safer for those that are uh, very health conscious right yes, now, exactly. right? Uh -huh. So the reason why I wanted to ask that is because we have a very special raffle prize care of Manila String Machine yes. uh -huh. that we'd like to offer to all of our viewers here this afternoon. In fact, what uh, Sir Theodore just mentioned is that our very special and our very lucky winners from this afternoon will get a chance to win gift certificates from Manila String Machine mm -hmm. for them to play a song of your choice yes. in video format. In video format. In video uh -huh. format. So uh, this is worth 12,000 pesos, mind you. And all you have to do to get a chance to win this, is lang ba yung mananalo dito, sir? Five, actually. Five? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, so five winners. Okay, so remember what I mentioned at the very beginning of this interview. All you have to do is type into the comment section of this stream the <laughs> title of the song. Kahit hindi na rin yung artist. Kahit the title <laughs> of the, the last song that they played before this interview, along, and this is important, the title along with these hashtags, hashtag GM Bridal Fair Online, hashtag GM Bridal Fair Live Show, and hashtag Hilton Manila. So once again, please comment the title of the last song that they played along with hashtag GM Bridal Fair Online, hashtag GM Bridal Fair Live Show, and hashtag Hilton Manila. All right. So now before we get to another portion of our segment, sir, is there anything else that you would like to offer to our viewers? Any other promos that they can avail of aside from this special, you know, video package that you're offering? Well, you can, we can avail of that offer by contacting us through email, manilastringmachine uh, at yahoo.com.ph and also messaging us directly uh, in our Facebook page, Manila String Machine. And, um, and we'll let you know. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you. All right. So now before we let you go, isa pa, out of the generosity of the hearts of the Manila String Machine, on top of their video package that we're, they'd like to offer, there you go, So Theodore, taking his spot over there. Sorry. <laughs> we are also going to be giving away four 10% discounts for, from Manila String Machine, which we are going to be picking from our list of uh, the people that registered on the bridal fair. All right. So, uh, Wendy, dito ka na lang para may special guest ako dito. Can you hold on to this first? Okay. So, you don't need to do anything. All, all, all we need to do is uh, pick a random number from everybody who registered today. Okay. Number 51. Congratulations, Reynold Bien Sobas or Sowabas. Okay. Next. Number 11. Congratulations, Mariel Pacheco. Last two. Number 79. Ito, next page. Umabutay sa next page. Congratulations, Faye Hernandez. And last but definitely not the least. Number 25, congratulations, Christine Bancoy. All of you guys just won yourselves 10% discounts from the Manila String Machine. Wendy, thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much, Sir Theodore. And one more time, a big hand for Manila String Machine for performing this afternoon. So now, to move forward, we have a sneak peek into what you're going to be seeing up next. So everybody, to know more of what I'm talking about, please watch this.
Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for staying tuned in because we do need all of your support. And of course, this is also very beneficial for all of you soon to be weds. We went from music to catering to makeup and of course to coordinating. And now we're going to be moving on to styling. And as you can see here at the ballroom of Hilton Manila, we have so many different styles set up for you, especially for those of you who have different types of uh, dreams for weddings, whether it's going to be more romantic, floral, if it's going to be a starry night, or if it's going to be more uh, royal, it has a royal effect. So now we are going to be talking to one of the leading stylists here in uh, the Philippines. And he is not only going to be giving you some tips or sharing with you what an in intimate wedding setup could be like, but also to talk about some of the exciting new things that he has prepared for everybody who wants to hire him or get him as your stylist. So now let us welcome Mr. Gideon Hermosa, the one and only. Hi, Gideon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, nice to see you. Hello, this hi is, everyone. This is actually the first time that I'm going to be meeting you in person, but I've been stalking you all the time on Instagram because I'm looking as well for maybe future pegs for my wedding or, <laughs> or sometimes just because I need inspiration for my room or something. But I really love all of the things that you've done and sometimes it's just completely different from another event that you've done. And I wanted to talk about right now how the pandemic has affected the styling industry and how you were able to bring yourself back up. Okay, um, since actually uh, actually last year, before pandemic, I was able to um, launch my other brand, which is the House of Hermosa. So, nung nag-pandemic, medyo, in a way, naging advantage namin siya because, um, syempre, all the weddings now are medyo naging intimate and small, di ba? So, naging perfect yung other brand ko na yun, which is the House of Hermosa, um, na, um, kumaga, in a way, nakapag-adjust kami adun sa mga um, sa intimate weddings because uh, my brand which is the Gideon Hermosa brand kasi di ba we offer like big weddings um, in um, production wedding or like big ballroom transformation so nung um, nagkaroon ng pandemic we were able to adapt the new normal so um, ang mas pinupush ko and um, ino offer is the House of Hermosa House of Hermosa and that's because you're doing it Madalas ba sa bahay ng mga clients mo? Well, no nag-start ang pandemic, medyo lahat halos um, bahay ang setup eh. Mm -hmm. So, kumbaga, it's really different from the normal na ginagawa namin before. Oo nga eh, because you have so much room to uh, play with, di ba? So, if I were to ask you, ano ba yung mas mahirap? Gumawa ng intimate wedding na setup or big ballroom setup naman? Actually, parehang challenging. Ang difference lang nila is the space. Of course, iba-ibang bahay, iba-ibang space yan. So, every time na we get client, we always need to check uh, the venue first. So, kumbaga, ang hirap eh. Kasi first time namin to do events sa bahay ng client, for example. So, yung sukat ng venue. Kumbaga, mag adapt kami kung ano yung shape ng, ng lugar. So, it's, it's quite challenging in a way because... Um, Another um, challenge kasi namin is, syempre, it's a residential area. So, kumbaga, most of our clients are very private. So, um, ang hirap kumilos kasi syempre may mga safety protocols ka rin na sinusunod. And some villages dito sa Manila are very strict with events. So, we really have to adapt on, on those uh, restrictions. I can only imagine, kasi nga, like what you said, being residential, it's more private. And of course, bahay nila yun eh. So parang guest ka nila, and you also, you're not sure kung paano ba kumilos, paano ba mag-ayos, or yung logistics mismo. So what are some of the safety protocols na ini-implement mo sa, sa sarili mo, and of course sa staff mo na tutulong pag pumupunta kayo sa, sa mga residential areas? Okay, um, since pandemic, we always um, request our client na mag um, um, na, well, nauna before yung rapid testing eh. Yun yung nauso nung una, di ba? So we always uh, recommend na magpa-rapid test lahat before hanggang sa nauso yung antigen testing. So, kumbaga, we always adapt kung ano yung bago. So, uh, every time na may setup, most of, I mean, all the suppliers usually 
tinetest talaga yan. Bukod doon, uh, we always request for a day before increase para less contact with other suppliers. So imagine, for one intimate wedding, usually, inuubos namin three days. Because, okay, day before, set up kami uh, para hindi masyadong maraming contact with other suppliers. Para on the day, konti na lang yung staff ko na magsiset up, more on finishing touches na lang. And then, ligpitan will be the next day na. Kasi usually may curfew, di ba? Yes. So imagine three days yung production for an intimate wedding at home. So iiwan talaga yung setup hanggang the next yeah. day pa. Yes. yes. Ayan, so kung gusto nila mag-breakfast pa doon sa setup nila, <laughs> pwede Actually, ba? Actually, yung iba ganun ang ginagawa. Parang the next day, nagbubuk pa ng photographer for another photo shoot session. So nasusulit talaga nila yung oh, setup. Oh, nga. Ay, ang cute naman nun. Because not, uh, not every day you have a, a professional stylist come into your house and transform it to a completely different Thing, exactly, diba? yeah. What's your favorite kind of design that you love to do for intimate weddings? Is it more on the floral, more on the on the lighting? Ano ba yung ginagawa mo para instant transformation ng dating? Well, recently, my most favorite talaga, parang it's more of like, we call this um, concept lighting. Um, I think this um, type of um, 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 lighting will be, I think, magiging trend then for this year. That's why... Uh, kung mapapansin niyo yung booth ng House of Hermosa uh, for for this uh, fair, um, yun yung concept namin. So it's more about like playing with lights. Uh, parang play, it's more of like uh, playing with mood lights for an event. Since it's intimate, syempre importante talaga na, alam mo yun, very intimate din yung, yung vibe nung, nung venue. So um, that's one of my favorite uh, trend na I think uh, this year. magiging trend talaga siya. Magiging hip talaga. Yes, Yan yes. ba yung pinakita natin sa video? Yes, yes. Ayun, di ba? Actually, the one that you've seen, you guys, on the video earlier, before we called on Gideon, was the actual booth setup that we did here in Hilton, Manila. And you can tell that uh, that that booth has transformed from something that's a space in the ballroom, naging talagang ibang lugar. And I can understand that That's what you want to achieve. Because yes. sa bahay, ayaw mo na parang, ay, nilagyan natin ng flowers, tapos na. Exactly. At the same time kasi, ito yung mga type of setup na sobrang challenging when you do it in a ballroom. Kasi sobrang laki na ng space eh. So ako, this pandemic, yun yung nagiging goal ko. So instead of parang, mas natya-challenge ako to, to transform a space. Kung baga, a smaller space. Kung baga, lahat ng na, naimba kong ideas before na hindi ko magawa For a big wedding, ito, yun yung kumbaga nilalabas namin this time para, I mean, pagkatapos ng pandemic, hindi mo alam. Alam mo yun, parang, I mean, hindi natin sure kung mauuso pa ba yung intimate weddings. Eh. So parang kumbaga, yung medyo um, concept na naglalagay talaga ng maraming effort to style a venue na maliit, yun yung ginagawa. Kasi, like for example, this type of setup, I cannot do that. in, let's say, 1,000 guests. Yeah. Ang hirap nun, baka isang buwan ng ingress, di ba? But for a wedding with, let's say, 20, 30 to 50 guests, in a way, manageable siya. Kaya, sinasamantala ko rin yung pagkakataon. Itatanong ko nga, kasi you mentioned like a setup in in the house. Saan ba yung setup mo? Like, only in the dining area? Or mula sa pagka-entrance ng mga guests hanggang sa dining area or sa reception? Well, of course, depending on how big the house is. Baka may lanay pa yan or whatever. Pero ano yung madalas na focus point or focal point para sa intimate wedding? Do they usually get the dining area or are there several areas pa in the house? Actually, with my experience recently, yung ibang client minsan, nasusurprise sila sa mga nakikita kong space sa bahay. That's why kailangan ko talaga mag-ocular because minsan, yung ini-expect nila na, for example, dining area or like a lawn or garden part, minsan hindi yun yung napipili ko to, to, to style for the event. Minsan, like sa baba lang ng isang grand staircase, then yung grand staircase will be the backdrop. Minsan doon kami nagsiset up ng dining area. So, alam mo yun, parang kumbaga ako ay always adapt on the design also ng interior ng house. So, kumbaga, if for example, ang focal point ng bahay is like a staircase, for example, ginagawa ko siyang focal point din ng event. If they have uh, a garden or a pool area na maganda, for example, so, hina-highlight namin yun. So, depende, depende sa weather and depende dun sa structure ng bahay. I like the fact that uh, you're able to also give your your inputs. Kasi marami din sa mga sinasabi na clients is, ay, hindi gusto ko dito. Pero ikaw, you're more, you have a very intelligent spatial 
uh, awareness. So, alam mo talaga na, ah, dito mas bagay yung mga guests or dito mga enjoy ng mga guests. So, at least that's one thing that you can get guaranteed from Gideon. And uh, what are some of the questions ba na hinahanap ng mga clients sa'yo? Kasi just in case some of our soon-to-be-weds are watching, di nila alam ano yung mga tanong na pwede nilang itanong sa'yo. Ano ba yung usual or frequently asked questions? Sorry? Yung mga frequently asked questions ng mga clients sa'yo para yung mga bagong or magbabagong kasal, ano yung, uh, para maisip nila ano yung pwede nilang itanong sa'yo? Okay. Most of them kasi tinatanong, actually, lahat naman ang concern is the budget usually. Parang most of them, they ask, parang since it's an intimate wedding ba, um, mas mura siya than the usual packages and all. Mm, yes. Actually, ang hirap sagutin because minsan, um, yung budget ng, let's say, 20 packs, magugulat ka, yun na yung budget ng 100 packs. Alam mo yun? Mm. Depende kung gaano talaga ka-intricate, ka-detailed, and um, ka-elaborate yung setup natin. So, uh, most of the time, I always ask them ano yung priorities and all. So, we give them options. Like, for example, couple, some couples or some clients, parang they are very particular with the backdrop. So, minsan yung budget, mas pinofocus namin doon. So, when we offer packages, we always um, ask them ano yung priority, ano yung, at saka ano yung least priority nila. Then, tawag dito, from there, um, kami yung nagsasuggest ano yung saan ba natin, um, saan ba natin, saan tayo magpo-focus or saan magpo-focus yung budget. So, madalas ba, the process is they will give you the list and then mag-ocular ka and then you give them a, a, um, a proposal or is it punta mo na kami doon and then we give Actually, you a proposal? Actually, we have, for House of Hermosa, we have, uh, before, meron kaming packages na ready na talaga for uh -huh. ballrooms. But then, since pandemic, parang we came up to this um, parang package we call this uh, Lil Feast by HOH. So these are parang uh, packages for more intimate events. So may, actually, may ready packages na kami for that. Like standard backdrop, ito yung price, mm -hmm. um, centerpieces for, for this number of guests, ito yung price, ganyan. So kumbaga, yun yung una naming sinesend sa client para they have an idea lang how much will it cost. Yes. And then later on, kapag nakapag-ocular na ako, dun namin dinidiscuss if it's, Kumbaga, enough na ba yung budget na yon for, for what they want for the event, ganyan. So, minsan, um, kumbaga, if they want to add, let's say, the staircase or if they want us to dress up the pool, nagkakaroon lang ng additional costs. Yeah. But basically, naglalaro lang din yung prices doon. It's good that you're able to adapt na hindi lang like from a big space to a small space, but even for uh, creating your packages, it's very customizable na rin. Actually, yeah, kailangan eh. Yun yung parang that's the name of the game eh, diba? Yeah. Kumbaga, this time of pandemic, kailangan mo talaga mag-adapt to, to what's happening, diba? I remember when we started uh, our packages, nag-start kami, um, before bawal pa ang... Um, bawal pa kami mag-set up sa bahay. So imagine, uh, we had clients before na nire-ready namin everything sa warehouse, tapos padadala sa bahay nila, then online namin silang tinuturoan kung oh paano gosh. it put together. So nag-start pa ako sa ganun, nung mga time, na, nung mga early pandemic, hanggang yeah. sa kung ano yung bagong safety protocols or like ano yung lalabas ng government na rules and all, sinusunod namin, then we adapt. Well, at least that's good to know that you're always very updated sa lahat ng mga sinasabi ng government para at least kayo din, you're able to uh, take care of your clients. And before we move on with the next part of the interview, I just wanted to reveal, kasi meron din tayong setup dyan. Should we just go there or meron na lang camera na magpapan dyan? Ah, meron ng camera. Okay, so the camera right now is uh, looking at the setup that you have. So maybe you can describe what you prepared for us in that setup, which we showed also in the video earlier. Okay, ang challenge kasi na binigay nila for this um, um, setup, parang we have to adapt kung ano yung um, color of the year, which is the, the yellow and gray. Yeah. So for me kasi, um, it's not just about the color. Parang the whole, uh, the, the total look kasi importante. So if you guys will notice, parang I only... Uh, uh, we own, naglagay lang kami ng konting touches of yellow on the flowers, but most of the flowers are in gray and white because of the gold mirrors na nagre-reflect dun sa light. So, parang for me, yun na yung representation nung, nung, nung yellow ko. Parang yung warm colors nung ambiance. So, parang ganon. Uh, I think sinasabi ko kanina na it's more of like the concept lighting or creative lighting. So, uh, if you will notice, parang later, uh, parang late last year, up to early this year, talaga, um, yeah, late last year, 
Kasi pala January lang ngayon. <laughs> Sorry, nawawala na ako. Kasi yeah. isang taon na yung pandemic. Tawag dito, yeah, if you guys will notice, parang most of our posts are about lighting and all. So mm-hmm. feeling ko talaga, malaki siyang hit and trend for this year. It is it is definitely something that I would love because it really feels like a different room altogether. Pagkapasok mo parang nasa ibang mundo ka or parang nasa ibang venue ka. So can you imagine just having this at your home? What what amazement would it be, diba? And uh, definitely if you don't I mean, we already gave you a tip. You can probably do the next day a small photo shoot for yourself. It looks so great. So you don't just see florals, it's more of the installation talaga. Yes. So it's Instagrammable, maganda siya in person, maganda siya sa photo and video, yan. Can they keep anything that you set up? Like can they keep the flowers or anything? Usually yes, iniiwan na namin yung flowers. Uh, so that's one thing that you can also uh, have. It's like a freebie din na yung flowers naman na, na nagagamit, they can keep. Minsan nga, I even ask for vases from my clients. Like for example, kasi usually... May mga bahay, di ba? May mga vases yan. Yeah. So usually, before kami mag-pull out, ina-ask ko sila to provide us vases. Kami mismo yung naglalagay ng, ng flowers doon sa vases nila. Yeah, para less, less galaw. Yes, and yes. they can keep it and they can bring it to any other part of the room. Yes, okay, yes, I yes. love that idea. All right, so now that we're moving into 2021, what other changes have you made or do you have any other exciting news that is a part of the House of Hermosa? Do you have any promos that you'd like to share? Actually, for uh, Getting Married Bridal Fair, until duration ng, um, ng, ng fair na to, uh, a House of Hermosa is offering 10% discount for the regular packages ng House of Hermosa. But uh, for the Lil Fist packages, we offer 5% discount if they book within this period. Ayan. So you have a 5% and you have a 10% discount. So definitely you want to check them out because if you want to transform your house, you're good to go with the house of Hermosa. <laughs> All right. Yes. You have any tips para sa mga taong mag-iisip pa lang? Kasi minsan you have client. I'm sure you've had clients na pag tinanong mo ano yung theme mo or, or what do you envision for your wedding? Tapos sasabihin nila, I really don't know. Ano yung madalas na pwede mong sabihin or before they can meet with you or um, have a one-on-one with you? Ano yung pwede nilang gawin to research or... Actually, basic ganito. Parang kumbaga, if re- they really want to book us for their wedding at nalilito sila ano yung theme, um, sinasabi ko, go on my Instagram account, mm-hmm. i-save mo or screenshot mo lahat ng, let's say, yung, yung feel mo for the wedding and all. Kahit iba-ibang themes yan and all. Then when we have a meeting, usually um, tinatanong ko one by one bakit niya nagustuhan and all. Kasi in one photo, minsan, ang nagustuhan lang ng client, probably the lights. Yes. Pagdating sa kabilang photo, probably the flowers lang and all. Then from there, we recommend ano yung vibe. Dun parang kumbaga, dun ko, um, dun ko kinukuha yung, um, yung, yung personality ng client. Bukod dun sa mga questions that we usually ask during the meeting, like, paano sila nag-meet, ano ba yung love story and all. Kasi ako, I mean, when we do events, kasi it's always personal. I yes. mean, uh, it's always nice to have something na, na andun yung personality ng couple. Importante yon. Oo. Yeah. Diba? I mean, if you're going to their house, might as well get to know them a little bit more, di ba? It's like, you're really going to be visiting friends. So since you mentioned your social media, how about you share some of your social media for everybody that, so that they can follow you and start looking for inspiration for their wedding? Okay, you can check our events at uh, House of Hermosa uh, um, Instagram account, which is uh, uh, House of Hermosa PH. And then you can also check my Instagram account, which is Gideon Hermosa. Ayan na. So guys, again, this is your opportunity to get or take advantage of the 10% discount and the 5% discount that you're going to be getting for the House of Hermosa, whether you are planning to do it at home, but you're still open a month to do it at venues, right? Because there of are course, some venues. Of course, Okay. Always. Always. Hindi naman nawawala. Kahit saan. Even destinations. Yeah. Kasi like, Last month we had this event in Palawan. So, kumbaga, we always we 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 go even outside Manila to to do events. So, basta may fina follow na safety protocols of and course. all. Yeah. 
Ayan. So it's not impossible if you are outside of Metro Manila. If you still want them for your destination wedding, more than welcome. Gideon is here. Whether or not it's going to be at home or at a at a place like Hilton Manila or abroad. Well, abroad. I don't know if pwede pang abroad, no? Pero Sana pwede. Depende sa country, actually. Na. Depende sa country. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully when we get the vaccine. Then we can definitely travel again, and then you can get in for your abroad or out of the country weddings. But for now, let's stick to the Philippines and definitely message him, or you can comment as well. And then uh, the people of Gideon will be able to also message you as well for your inquiry. So, maraming salamat. Thank you. For First time to me. meet you, but it's so nice to meet you. You have such a vibe towards you. Like, parang excited ka lage sa <laughs> next na gagawin. Pag passion mo talaga, I think. Ano, ganun lagi excited ka. <laughs> yeah, I think it it res, it really shows on your content. Now, every day meron kang content na gusto mong ipakita sa kanila kung ano yung pwedeng mangyari. And I know that you've been doing more videos on how to's as well, diba? Like how to arrange flowers. So, it's really great if you follow him, not just for inspiration. Ako wala pa akong wedding, pero pinafollow ko siya. Because <laughs> it's really nice to get to know people in the industry and the suppliers that you really know that you can trust. And all of the suppliers here at the Getting Married a Bridal Fair are suppliers that you can 100% trust. So again, thank you so much to Gideon Hermosa. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, and thank you for this lovely styling that we have here in Hilton Manila. Magpapa picture din ako dyan mamaya. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have another guest, this time for Lights and Sounds. We were just talking about lights. Uh, but for now, I'd like you all to please watch this. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, we joy in our hearts. I'll sing this song with you. Once again, everybody, once again, thank you very much to Z as well as to Gideon Hermosa for that wonderful segment. I'm sure all of you enjoyed looking at his wonderful work here at the side of the room. But as Z mentioned earlier, now we'd like to tackle more of the technical parts of planning your special day. So Minsan, overlook it all because you're blinded by all of the glitz and glamour of the suppliers of the wedding and events industry. But... Sometimes we leave out one of the most important parts of putting your event together. So to help us discuss and talk about more about these things, everybody, please join me in welcoming the big boss behind J.S. Mina Lights and Sounds, Mr. Jonil S. Mina. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Sir, there, there you go. Hello. Sir, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Uh, good afternoon to each and everyone who's watching now. Uh, At uh, Manigong bagong taon. Yes, sorry, sorry. Happy New Year. Manigong bagong taon sa lahat. 
All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. All right. Now to jump right into this uh, discussion we'd like to have. So, Minsan, admittedly, uh, mm-hmm. for the casual, let's say, couple or birthday celebrant yeah. or whatever special day that they are planning, usually yung inuuna nila, yung mga... Let's say aesthetics. Yes. The yes. aesthetics, perhaps maybe even the entertainment part mm-hmm. of their program. But bigla silang nasa shock. Yes. Na, oh my goodness, we can put this event together without the lights and sounds and the, the technology and everything that, yes. that comes with it. So this is where you come in. Yes, that's uh, right. Uh, lagi nila nakakalimutan, we are one of the most important suppliers in the wedding industry. Um, minsan, nasa shock sila na akala nila, just like before, it's just a simple microphone. But now, in there, we need to have, especially if you have great stylists like the GMT, Dave, and everybody here. Um, as you can see, all the lights here are really sophisticated and controlled by a very professional lights and sound system uh, controllers. And this is often talked about in the circle of hosts that I'm a part of, especially also the yung mga musical suppliers natin, because kung hindi maganda yung pag-operate ng sound system, then trust me, yes. based on experience, si Sir Joe Yes, Neil? number one. Number one po talaga yan. Um, they need monitor speakers. Actually, these are technical na hindi naiisip ng couple. So, yeah. we are very important, but in the long run, um, we make sure that everybody's satisfied with the lights and the sounds and everything. Especially now, in the new normal. So, Sir Joe Neil, for the benefit of everybody, since hindi nga, let's just assume now there are some people watching now that aren't familiar with what services that you offer. Kung sinabi bang, okay, supplier ng lights and sounds, what do you guys actually provide for the client? Uh, yeah, that's the most important. Actually, very broad na at saka marami na kami na offer. First and foremost, is the lights and sounds, which is that's the very basic. Now we have LED wall, we have a trusses, we have a band equipment uh, rental, we even have smoke machines uh, from fireworks and everything na under technical controlled by the very professional people. Um, very broad na po, even sometimes we also provide stage or dance floor, which are marami ng variety like the wooden, Sometimes meron acrylic or medyo marami na talaga. Uh, it depends on the team that you like. Grabe, pati mga stage pa rin. No? Yes. Kasama pa rin talaga yes. yan. Alright, so now that they know what services and what things that, that they can avail from a lights and sound supplier mm-hmm. such as you, sir. Um, if a couple were to plan their special event, ano po, sir, yung mga considerations or what are the things that they should keep in mind when saying, okay, when we get a lights and sound supplier, Ano ang mga kailangan namin sabihin or mga wish list na dapat i- ibigay sa inyo? Uh, first things first, um, very important din na uh, para hindi ka rin siyempre ma-shock is kung saan mo gaganapin yung event mo. So, and then if ever na you have something na planned ahead, um, especially yung mga songs na napaka-importante like um, with the first dance is the most important and your if ever you have a theme song napaka-importante niyan for a uh, uh, wedding. Sometimes even in uh, not only weddings also corporate events and the booths we use uh, if ever nagkakaroon sila ng mga songs na maganda we can download it naman. Alright, so added value to their service as well. So again, I think mandatory natin kailangan pag-usapan to, especially for the yes. peace of mind to all yes. of our viewers watching now. Uh, if they avail of your services, sir, uh, what safety protocols do you observe? How many people do you usually need? And yes. uh, things of that sort. This has a lot of changes this pandemic times. Um, before, if ever you're going to be having a one set of LED wall, you can have at least six personnel or uh, four, five. But now we limit it up to two, but we are setting up earlier. Um, we as a lights and sounds provider, we are the one to first to come in and the last to come out. So if ever we're go- getting ready by four hours before the event, now we need to be there at least... 12 midnight, mas maganda kung talaga malaki yung setup. But pag small setup lang, we can do it at least 5 hours. Um, we have to limit the number of capacity of people because sometimes, ngayon, they need to be swabbed. They need to sanitize all of the equipment. Usually, before we go out, we sanitize the boxes. And then before we get in, from our, ano, we also sanitize it. Yun yung mga na bagong protocols ngayon. Less people, um, 
Tapos, we only provide din yung sa kanilang sarili ng sasakyan. Nobody should uh, commute or whatsoever para mas safe naman sa lahat. How about uh, things that uh, the guests or the couple or the clients will actually get to hold for themselves? For example, itong microphone na to. Very sensitive piece of equipment, yes. especially because we talk into it, yes, sir, diba? Yes. Do you perform any particular sanitation practices with regard to that? Much better for now is one-on-one. Um, if ever there's a bride and groom, there should be a mic for them. And then usual, we have to, after it's been used, um, wipe it with a uh, wipe out or... Uh, Uh, alcohol or Lysol base, uh, anything antibacterial, which is better po. Actually, mas maganda nga ngayon eh. Mas hygienic yung mga tao using microphone. All right. So now, for example, since nagiging uso na ngayon ang pag-minimize ng mga tao that are involved in the event, if let's say a couple would still want to have a feel of uh, having a grand or a big wedding, Uh, what kind of a setup would you recommend that they have? Because usually, makikita sa mga ganitong classing events, yes. an LED wall with a stage. Can you still reproduce that in a smaller setting, even with smaller uh, amount yes. of guests? Honestly, um, in our protocol now, um, up to 100 guests lang talaga. Which with uh, social distancing uh, or some of the people prepare now is outdoor or very big venue like Hilton Manila. Napakalaki ng venue niya which can cater at least a hundred is napakaluwag na talaga. Which is much better at, uh, at mas, mas safer for everyone. Um, we can do a bigger setup but sa protocol ngayon, bawal talaga. We can do only a hundred. Uh, which is for me, my staff also is safer. Um, mas maganda yung mas onte You know the contact tracing, di ba? Uh, we don't suggest pa talaga yung sobrang big. All right. So now I want to bring our attention to the LED wall. We have a very big LED wall behind us. And it's usually, uh, you know, a recurring fixture in wedding celebrations or birthdays yeah. or corporate events. Now, being that we are in the new normal, I've been seeing a lot of clients still uh, opt for getting an LED wall, which mm -hmm. is something that you are still offering, yes, yes, sir. Yes, we are. Uh, can you give us a reason or can you tell us why uh, it's still safe or it's still feasible for clients to opt for an LED wall and why it's still good for them to have this sort of fixture as part of their celebration? It's very important actually. Lalo na if ever you're going to be having uh, on, day, on, on, on the day, same day edit, Um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime event, so it's better to cherish it with everyone within the venue. And yun nga, yung kagaya ng sinabi ng Kuchi kanina, we are on a hybrid change ngayon. We have a live uh, people in front of us, and we can do the services of the people around us with, uh, what do you call this, the one that they're doing the streaming live, like, like what we're doing right now. Napaka-importante po ng lead wall, if ever. You can see it clearly and better on your uh, the wedding day itself. All right, so now, on to the business part of our talk, <laughs> Sir Jonil. <laughs> yes, yes. Bilang bridal fair po ito, a lot of people watching now are expecting to to, to, to find out yung kung may mga special promos pa sila yes, na makukuha yes. para makapagdebit din, yes, right? Yes. So, is there any particular promo that you'd like to share or any new packages that you'd like to offer to our clients? Yes, Um. actually, this is the best time to get married, actually. This pandemic time, I would suggest um, mas makakatipid kayo. And then if ever, um, we can do a, a lots of suppliers as a lots of promo because uh, if you all knew, we're the one who's hit really hard, uh, the event's personal people. But we are trying to strive to get it all along the way. And by the means of these all suppliers here, uh, we can give you a more better promos And much more better services, as we can say ngayon. Kasi mas more intimate tayo eh. All right. So as mentioned by Sir John Lee right now, now is the best time economically yes. to plan your wedding. In fact, ito na nga, it pays to be present during this online fair because meron na naman tayong isa pang impromptu uh -huh. promo care yes. of Sir John Neal. Sir, yes. it, and correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, Sir John Neal, out of his generosity, is going to raffle off yes. to two very lucky winners a, an LED wall set that yes. consists of uh, an LED wall, which is 9 by 9 12. 9 by 12, feet. yes. It's a basic, just put the hashtag of getting married and JS Mina. Uh, if ever, um, the, our panel of judges will just um, choose if who's going to win. 
Okay. Yeah, two lucky winners. All you have to do is just comment onto the stream hashtag JSMina yes. and the hashtag uh, GM Bridal yes. Fair online. So now, before we let you go, Sir Johnny, mm -hmm. uh, any last words? Any uh, So how do they contact you and any last words to the people watching? Uh, yes, we have a Facebook page, uh, JS Mini Sound System Rental and other websites. We also have Instagram, which is JS Mini Sound System Rental. And uh, I would just like to say now, we also give 10 to 20% discount if you ever book. Just put also always the hashtag of Getting Married Bridal Fair when you inquire. Okay. Thank you very much. Palakpan po ulit natin, Sir Johnny of thank JS you, Mina you, thank Lights thank and so Sounds. Much. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, sir. Thank you. There you go. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Now, before we move on to the rest of the program, I just wanted, if you would allow me, sisiing it din ako ng special promo ko. So for those that want to book my hosting services via the Getting Married Bridal Fair, I'm offering over 30% off of my published rate. And, in fact, for those that want to get my hosting services for free, meron din akong parafol. All of you guys watching, all you need to do is just share this stream and on the caption, sabihin nyo lang, I want Kev at Kevin La Pena to host my wedding or my birthday or whatever. Just, I want Kevin La Pena and tag me there to host my special day. I will announce the winners by tomorrow so you have a lot of time to share on your profile. All right, so now to switch gears, moving on to featuring another very special supplier that we're going to get a chance to get to know this afternoon. So for you guys to know who I'm talking about, everybody, please watch this. Fair Online, the Studio King himself, Mr. Christopher King Caldera, joining me here on stage. 
Bossing, matagal hello. tayo hindi nakikita na live. Check, check. <laughs> kumusta na? Kumusta na? Thank you so much for Happy joining New us. Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank- Ang ganda ng space view mo. Naka space view tayong dalawa. <laughs> Parang partners tayo dito. Tama-tama tayong partners ngayon dito. Bossing, let's come over here. Uh, now, before we start the really, really lovely videos, um, before we go into uh, how we're doing things in the new normal, tell us a bit more about that compilation of videos that you had over here. It, it looks fantastic. It has this cinematic quality. Um, what, what is its signature about uh, Studio King that makes it different from the other uh, videos out there right now? Thank you so much. Um, it's a uh, if, if you're able to see some of our videos, there's one thing that's very consistent with them. Um, it's all about the elegance. The um, elegance. The elegance. Uh, whatever that is. Um, very edgy, editorial, heartwarming. It's all about, you know, you want to watch your videos again and again, just randomly all throughout the day. Uh, you don't feel cringy with the, with, the, you know, with the angles. It's all about feeling very beautiful and handsome. For, from, you know, based from Studio K. I, I like that. And what's, I think what's very important, especially when you watch a video, I mean, I got married about uh, 13 years ago, is that the video needs to look timeless. And, and one of the elements of making something look timeless is a function of the elegance of the video. Na kahit, kahit panoorin mo bukas, panoorin mo 10 years from now, hindi ko mo sasabihin, ay, nako, medyo ano yan, hindi, uh, sablay yan. But this one, it's, it's really timeless. How do you make, how do you ensure the sort of quality uh, as you as you produce the videos and create the videos because sometimes you're not always there right? you you also have your team over there what are you trying to tell them to do when they when they when they capture images or they capture uh, specific elements during a wedding i'm i'm very grateful with my team i can't do this without them but most importantly uh, i think it always starts with knowing the couple beforehand before you even start shooting mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's um it's knowing what they could do what they want from you um, what you could do for them, and then giving just... I'm always there. I'm very hands-on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's never a wedding that I'm not there. So what I do is I, we prepare the music beforehand. Ah, I uh, see, I see. It, it doesn't matter if it's a pre-wedding or a wedding. It always gives us that pacing, you know, because it's so hard to shoot blindly that you just shoot and you just hope that the shots will be there. It will be, you know... In time um, for, the, for, the, for the music. For, for the music. So we always prepare it with the music so that everything just feels on the beat. It's, it's romantic, but at the same time, you, you'd feel something. It's, it's something that would attract you to watch it again and again. That's, I see. that's my goal. And then also, in terms of the playlist, the playlist which you create uh, for the videos which you make, is that something that comes that is born out of your discussion together with the couple? Parang kinakuusap mo sila, you get a feel of them before you choose the, the playlist for them? Yes, it's, it's very important because whoever is shooting, so basically that's either the director or the shooter, it, there's the natural tendency of the person, mm-hmm. whoever is the person shooting. So um, there are people who like shooting very romantic, chill. There are people who like shooting, you know, very editorial. Uh-oh. And so your goal is to be very diverse. You know, you, 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 it always comes from you. But at the same time, it's always also acknowledging what the couple wants. And, you know, it's, I see. It's like and what's also nice is that I was, as I was watching the videos. Like you said, it's very elegant, but each one had their own certain type of appeal. And I saw that they were almost cinematic or thematic when you watch it. Like this one, okay, this almost had, this borrows an element from, let's say, um, Broadway, or this, 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 this is an element from a, from a musical stage, uh, this is a key drama, this is this one over here. How do you determine uh, what sort of um, theme that you want to be, or treatment that you want for the video? You, it's very critical, because you always, it's a cross process, okay? You are able to get to know your couples, they get to know who you are, you get to know what they want, but at the same time, uh, from there, that's your base. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next thing is have your team and you personally find the music that fits to them, uh, with them. And then what I do is every time I shoot, I play the music just you know, by myself, on my, with, with myself, so that it's always, it always has that personal touch. It, ho- it always has that unique uh, pacing just tailored for that song. Yeah, probably, if, if I may say, it's, the word tailored is the best word for it. 
And, and what's nice about it is that you know, as, as you're shooting it, I know, I know it's like because I'm also a creator, I'm also a, a, I'm, a, I'm a writer, right? And usually, uh, what you need to do is you're actually preparing all these elements in your head. So when you produce the final material, it's all there. So the same way that as you're playing the song again and again, it starts helping you see how the images come together and the video comes together in your mind. Now, speaking of putting things together, uh, right now our good friends in Studio King would like to give away. A gift certificate of a 50% off local pre-wedding directed by Studio King. So you get 50% off on a, a pre-wedding AVP. Is that right? Yes. That's right. If you can answer this question. Earlier on, we were talking over here on stage. And they were telling me that there is one consistent element that you can find when you watch all of the Studio King uh, same-day edit videos, what is that consistent element that they've shown across all their different videos? If you can answer that question in the comment box, you will win their prize. Now, moving on uh, to the, the other concerns that people have here right now. So we know right now that the feel that you're bringing over to this one, the signature look uh, that Studio King has. Uh, naman tayo ngayon dito sa ating new normal. How have things changed? What should couples expect right now when they are shooting for the new normal, is it still possible? Kunyari, una-una, pwede ba sila mag-shoot ng pre-wedding AVP ngayon? Anong kailangan gawin? Pangalawa, sa actual shoot day, anong kailangan i-prepare nila to make sure that everything will go smoothly on that day, especially um, with their videographer? Well, that's, that's really, that's a very important question. Right now, uh, what, what we have is, it's, it's a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, but, I wanted to be on the side where I could give hope to couples who just want something creative from their special day. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that if it's an, it's an intimate wedding, you're just going to get the basic. Um, the good thing is, I'm very hands-on. So even if they get like, something intimate from me, I, they, they, don't, they get more than what they have. They get my head. They get my imagination. Oh, so if ever there's just the two of us, I could still do something about it, which would really add flavor to you know to their videos. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean like, you know, if you're at an intimate wedding, you only have like thirty guests, you're gonna have a basic video. No, mm -hmm. no, it doesn't mean like that. You you will still have something special. Um, as long as you ha you get the right person to do it. Okay, so what's very important is that even if it's an intimate wedding, that it still contains your timeless elegance, uh, the signature that Studio King is known for. Uh, but in terms of technical aspect, uh, in terms of uh, the, the crew that attends, let's say, the AVP, uh, the, the pre-wedding AVP, and the actual uh, same-day wedding, um, are they, are, is the crew tested? Do they go through antigen tests? How many of them are there? Tell us a bit more about that one because I'm sure many of our couples are also very concerned about that one. Yes. The good thing about our couples is that they are so um, thoughtful about mm -hmm. these kinds of things. Uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a very special day for them. And so most, all, all of my couples who I've, I've shot during the pandemic, all of them have the initiative to like make sure that the team is really, you know, secure mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. it comes to health uh, requirements and all that so yeah uh, it, it's it's quite it's we are really blessed to have those kinds of couple couples that they they make sure that you are safe and at the same time uh it's just being safe is just one thing okay aside from that it's the, the biggest hurdle is actually the setup of the team that's what okay, you were talking here, about the setup uh -oh. the setup of the team it's like if you're on an intimate, you know, um, setup, you only get like what less than three people, mm -hmm. and with that, what else could you do? So that's why, for me, I always request for a meeting with my couple so that they already know what's hap what's going to happen what with they their videos, with their videos before, during, and after the wedding. So I clear up a very big uh, part in their head during the wedding because. Imagine if you're the bride and it's an intimate wedding, it's a good thing if you have a coordinator. Mm -hmm. But what if you don't? That's because right. That's you have right. They're priorities. Trying, they're, they're actually trying to save money right now as well as they do the wedding. Mm. Right? So what could you do as a supplier to help lessen you know, the, 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 the concerns? The, the concerns. Mm. So you give them everything that is needed to be done on your side so that it's all easy for, for the videos. So... It also applies to the photos as well. So what, what's very important nowadays is that pre-planning is really crucial for them. So 
meet with your supplier, especially uh, your videographer, photographer, so they can explain uh, what they want to do with you there uh, and also explain what are the protocols they're applying and the creative approach that they'll be taking so that you can rest assured that you will still be delivered the qu a quality video given the realities of the new normal. Now, having said that, lang, no, um, just a couple of things. I know, of course, they want to choose Studio King to be uh, their videographer. But uh, as, as they're looking around right now for different vi videographers, particularly in the new normal, what do you want soon to be West to keep in mind yeah. if, they're, if they're choosing for a videographer right now? Ano pinaka, pinaka uh, critical, especially right now? Right now, it's, this is where you get the, the word of mouth. Um, basically, if, if you come looking around for a specific videographer that you have in mind, mm -hmm. the first thing that you need to do is see what they were able to do mm -hmm. um, b beforehand, okay? Before you even get to talk to them. So that you get the feel of what you will be getting, okay? At, at the same time, um, also ask if... Because sometimes it's, it's there, but it's not there. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? Um, people sometimes expect that when they have this kind of pricing, that kind of pricing, they would always get the same kind of service. And it's very important that you try to ask what is the difference between your, you know, the usual mm -hmm. ones that you get and now. Thanks. Because very miscommunication is quite, you know, it, it's really a heartbreaking thing to happen on the wedding day. That's right, that's right. Okay. Now, uh, very importantly, uh, many, many of the soon to be words also right now um, maybe they want to see a reel of videos that were shot during these during the new normal. Do you have any that they can look at online? Yes, they have. Uh, we have we have a lot of videos out there, um, especially on our Facebook. We have uh, three major platforms that we are currently being active with. Uh, Facebook, it's Studio King Co. Uh, the CO is more of like .dot CO for the for the email. So we just try to because it's so hard sometimes. .dot com is not available anymore. So Studio King Co. Uh, YouTube at the same time YouTube um, Instagram so everything everything that you would want to see from us and would want to you know just lighten up your day watch something out there um, you might find yourself an intimate wedding you might find yourself a classic wedding it's just there uh, for you guys to enjoy so they can see the breadth and depth of uh, Studio Kings elegant videos and even those that were developed created and crafted during this new normal now as we it's nice having you over here inviting you and thank you for joining us here right thank now you. and thank inspiring and motivating me. many of our soon to be weds let's give them the special offer that studio king has for them just for the getting married bridal fair online okay for the getting uh, getting married bridal fair online uh, you would see there that you would get uh, a 15k discount if you get both wedding and pre-weddings uh, pre-wedding package. Uh, also, if you get just a pre-wedding, because right now is the best time to have pre-weddings. That's right. That's, yes. that's right. Um, you can you can go anywhere because it's just the the three of you or the four of you, right? So you can just try and explore. And so you get 10k out of um, our usual package uh, for Studio King pre-wedding. Fantastic. And for those of you who answered our special raffle question during this segment. The, the answer to that question is, what is that consistent or common denominator that you find across all the different Studio King videos that is elegance? And if elegance was your answer, you are going home with a 50% gift certificate on local pre-weddings directed by Studio King. The first person to get that answer correctly will be the winner. Again, thank you so much, Mr. Christopher King Caldera, for joining us here today. Thank and you. with that, I'll take you back right now to ZB for the next segment. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Andy. This is where our journey begins. Now and forever, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, we join in our hearts. I'll sing this song with you. Cause we're getting married. We're getting married. Song with you, cause we 
All right, we are back live. Thank you so much to RJ from earlier. Right now, we're going to be talking about some of the most important things that a bride needs to know. I am back with Mariah Santos. Earlier, we got to talk to her about uh, some of the important notes that you need to take on. For example, what are some health protocols that you were able to apply? How was 2020 for you? And of course, you got to tell us a little bit about your model. So, Mariah, kano katagal ba yung makeup mo kan? Nina para sa model. Parang it, medyo sanina kasi ako sa model na ito. So it took me usually an hour, hair and makeup. Na an hour? Yeah. Ang bilis naman. Pero usually for a bridal uh, preparation, mga two hours para at least pulidong-pulido talaga siya. So two hours for hair, makeup, everything that goes everything, with it. Everything, yeah. Usually naman kapag wedding, we have like, ang nauso kasi ngayon, parang three looks, parang prep, ceremony and reception. Yes. Ngayon, and then, parang uh, ngayon, dahil pandemic, nabawasan. Ilan na lang? Bali, usually, ang uh, ina-avail ng bride ngayon is ceremony look na lang. And, ay, prep look na lang, yung robe shot and ceremony look. Wala nang reception look. Ah, parang so, ganyan. yung ceremony hanggang reception, isang look na isang lang yan? Isang look na lang. Retouch usually, na lang. Oh, retouch na lang. Ayan. Na. So, before natin i-continue, gusto ko i-remind sa lahat ng mga viewers na we do have have a raffle. I want you to have a seat kasi baka matagal-tagal tayo nakatayo, no? <laughs> so, gusto ko i-remind lahat ng mga viewers natin na meron po tayong raffle prize na galing din kay Mariah. She has two raffle prizes that you don't want to miss. So, listen very carefully sa ating interview. And please remember to use the hashtag GM Bridal Fair online, hashtag GM Bridal Fair live show, and hashtag Hilton Manila. And then later on, when I ask you the question, you will at least know what to answer. The first person to answer, well, ang mangyayari is raffle na lang siya. So our social media manager will be able to choose that winner. So, okay, balik tayo sa'yo, Mariah. So you said na earlier, it takes around two hours yeah. for the look. And then, does the prep look and the ceremony look, magkaiba siya? Or paano ba? Yeah, usually, kasi ang prep look ngayon is parang mga beauty shot lang for parang hair down for the bride. Parang dito sila nagmamaganda. Yeah. And then, for the ceremony look, it depends on the bride naman eh. Like kami, it depends on the frame ng mukha. If we're gonna um, lose lang yung hair or hair up talaga for the ceremony look. So, usually it's hair up kapag ceremony kasi pag naka-gown, mas okay kapag naka-hair up kasi they will use veil, di ba? So, yes. parang nakakahaba na rin ng buhok yung veil. Tsaka para kita din yung details, details ng gown. Details, tsaka mas pure kapag naka-hair up talaga. Ay, gano'n ba? Uh, uh, pure. Paano ba yan? <laughs> <laughs> Paano ba yan? Hindi ko matatali yung hair ko. <laughs> Usually may extensions naman. So, if you want longer hair, mga hairstylists na po-provide na ngayon ng mga extensions. Ayun. Yeah. So, wait, I'll continue with those kind of questions in just mm -hmm. a bit. Pero, gusto ko muna makita yung model mo. Yeah, so, yeah. I think we have a before picture na yeah. pwede natin ipakita. Sobrang sa... quick na makeup lang to for you guys. One hour lang. Ipakita, kaya ba? Ayan. All right. So, lalabas na ang ating uh, before picture. Yeah, pretty wow, na siya, di ba? Sobrang pretty niya. Wala so, siyang foundation niyan. Wala. So, Kahit ano. Kapag ganyan ka pretty, huwag na masyadong ganun kakapal. Okay. Dapat sakto lang. Parang maging blooming lang yung look ng bride. Parang ganun. So, for the bride, bago siya magpa-makeup sa'yo, yeah. right? Ano yung mga tips na sinasabi mo sa kanya para ready yung skin niya? Kasi minsan, di ba, pag stress na stress ka, hindi ko makapit yung makeup. Oo, oh, oh, especially pag puyat yung bride. Usually, yung mga bride is sobrang stress dahil puyat sila. Uh, because of the, alam mo na, mga guest list or something, suppliers, I don't know. Pero maraming reason. So, usually, sinasabi ko sa kanila na huwag silang magpuyat. And then, lagi silang uminom ng water para ma-hydrate yung skin. Mm -hmm. And always, pero ako kasi, nag, ano ako, nag-mask ako, facial mask ako before putting the makeup sa bride. And then, I massage it with moisturizer and mga serums para at least kahit... Uh, hindi ganun ka healthy yung tsaka yung skin niya at least ma-hydrate pa din 
kapag inapplyan ka na siya ng makeup. Wow, so talaga may pa-facial ka pa. <laughs> Massage tsaka facial. Massage tsaka facial. Oh, Papa pala to, hindi makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto ko yan. All right, so let's show the photo again while we call on our um our model. Please yeah. introduce her. Tayo Hi ito. Anja, this is uh, my model. Yan. Who's Ma- also a soon to be bride, di ba? Pretty na siya. So Sobrang light lang ginawa ko for her bridal look. Yeah. All right. Simple lang. Can we have like a close-up ba? Yeah. Yan, close-up. Okay, so i-describe mo sa amin yung ginawa mo para Ang sa kanyang makeup. Sa kanya, if you can see kanina yung ano niya, yung picture niya before, Uh, she has like chinita eye. So, ang ginawa ko lang, I focus on the eye ngayon. So, pin- ginawa ko lang fuller yung mata niya. So, mostly chini- Chinese brides, ganun ang gusto nila eh. Bigger eyes. Bigger eyes eh. So, yun. Since chinita si Andra, ang ginawa ko lang is, sobrang uh, finuller ko lang yung eyes. Using uh, focus tayo sa eyeshadow and lashes. And the brows is, maganda na rin yung brows niya. Yeah, maganda na rin yung maganda na rin yung brows niya. So uh uso kasi ngayon medyo bushy lang. So yes. binushy bushy brush brush lang ganun lang. So <laughs> sobrang simple and then ano lang glowing skin. Yun nga yung sinabi ko sa inyo, hydrate ko lang yung skin para lumabas lang yung parang glow niya talaga. Mm-hmm. Tapos konting highlighter lang and medyo nude uh, coral lips para mag-complement lang dun sa medyo glamour ay shadow niya. It's really simple, no? Pero parang talagang nag-enhance. Kasi kan- kanina sa kanyang before picture, may konting, di naman discolored, uh-uh. no? Pero syempre, hindi pantay-pantay ang ating skin uh-uh. color lagi. Uh-oh. So, it, it looks so smooth. Parang finilter lang siya. Parang siyang finilter. <laughs> Tsaka ano, ma'am, makikita mo siya, parang hydrated na yung skin niya. Yeah. Puyat ka ba, girl? <laughs> hindi. Medyo po yan. Parang hindi, parang bagong gising. Tsaka chinita talaga siya literally. Sobrang chinita yung mata niya. So, ginawa ako, medyo finuller ko talaga yung mata niya para maging mas emphasize talaga sa mukha niya. Yeah. Tsaka it looks very natural. Hindi siya yung tipong Mm-mm. pag sinampal mo siya, ang dami-dami mo. <laughs> yeah. Pinawag sa literal. Hindi, pero kasi different. Oo, napapahit. meron kasi iba-iba talagang look yung bride na like, meron kailangan mo ng medyo effortant. Pretty na sila, pero kailangan mo siyang medyo effortant pa para at least ma- mailabas mo, ma-enhance mo yung talagang look ng bride. Yes. Saka yung total enhancement ng mukha. So, hindi mo talaga binabago yung mukha nila. Ang ginagawa mo is ini-enhance mo lang enhance yung features. Lang. Parang, uh, pap- uh, enhance mo yung ano pang meron sa kanila na pwede pa nilang ika- glow or ikaganda during the wedding. Oh, yeah. Ikaw, anong feeling mo sa makeup mo? Ako kasi, um, I've been, um, lagi ako na may makeup pa ni Tita Mariah ever since. Tita Mariah? Makatita! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, gustong-gusto ko yung ginagawa niya sa eyes ko kasi nga, um, sobrang singkit nga. So, napapablooming niya yung eyes ko. Yes. Very blooming nga. Do you, do you recommend na magko-contacts ba sila or kahit hindi na? Um, it depends. Pero sa akin kasi, it helps lang na kapag chinita. it helps na mas maging fuller tsaka mag-glow yung mata. Kasi minsan ka lang magiging bright. So bakit hindi pa natin gamitin lahat ng sources na pwedeng mas gumanda at mas ma-enhance? ba? Diba? So gamitin natin. Pero kung kung hindi talaga siya pwede, pwede namang hindi gamitin. Mm. Pero kung pwedeng insert or pwede namang enhance pa, gamitin natin. Yeah. And usually yung mga... Mga kulay, hindi naman blue na blue, hindi. no? Hindi. <laughs> Natural lang. Parang pampaano lang. Glow lang talaga sa eyes. Ayan. And then of course, very simple here in the front. Pero usually kasi very clean lang ang look talaga yes. sa harapan, di ba? And then sa back na yung details. Uh-oh. Pero for this purpose, we just wanted to enhance or we wanted to show you yung kagandahan ng kanyang makeup. Yeah. Very light, no? Very light. Tsaka sleek hair lang para... Fresh lang. Fresh lang. Mm-hmm. Oo nga eh. Ayan. So, thank you so much once again to our beautiful model right here. Thanks, Andra. If you love that look, then you will definitely love the makeup of Miss Mariah. So, Andra, thank you so much. Let's take thank a you, seat. Thank you, Andra. See you soon. <laughs> Ayun. So right now, 
Uh, I wanted to mention nga ulit yung ating raffle prizes. Kasi sobrang generous mo naman, sis. Diba sis? Ngayon pandemic lang, sis. Tsaka kay Miss Gucci lang yan. Ay, nako. <laughs> so, this is only for the bridal fair. Sa lahat ng may gusto. Yeah. Um, but before that, I'd like to announce na yung social media mo. Kasi baka iniisip nila na, ay, saan ba kaya? How do I get in touch with you? Yeah. Sa ano, sa Instagram, just DM me. Personally, I answered sa IG, Mariah Santos 23. And then, my email, email ad is mariahsantos23 at gmail.com. Yan, account executive ko mahawak dyan. And lastly, yung Facebook ko, Mariah Fahid Santos, personal account ko yun. Personal. <laughs> Ayun. You can reach me dun sa tatlo. Pwede naman. Ayan. So at least halos pare-parehas. Mariah Santos 23 para sa email and sa Gmail. Yes. Yun. And IG. Uh, and IG. Instagram. Tama naman. Email and Gmail are the same thing pa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you so much once again for sharing with us. Again, that just took an hour. But definitely, it will take around two hours. Pag halimbawa yung bu- bu- buong entourage, gano'ng katagal? Usually naman kapag may entourage, I have a team na, na-train ko na din. Kasi I've been in the business for almost 10 years na. So mm. I've trained na for in entourage makeup. Para medyo focus tayo sa bridal and moms. Yes. And then if they parang avail the, ano, the packages with entourage, yung senior team ko na yung gumagawa para yung time... Ano tayo, on time lagi. Yes. Sa ano. And then focus tayo sa bright. And usually the bra- the moms also medyo kailangan i-prioritize din eh. Kasi araw din nila yan eh, next to the bride. Oo nga eh. Ayun. Ayun. So that's very good to know. And what's also good to know is that si Mariah may paraful siya na gift certificate for a free second look. Mm-hmm. And yung bigger prize is a gift certificate for less 10,000 pesos yes. for the grand winner. So yung package niya may less pa na 10,000 pesos for one lucky winner and the second lucky winner will be getting a gift certificate for a free second look naman. So the second look could be either reception or the prep or paano? Usually reception na siya ngayon. Lately, lately, uh, la- last part ng December ngayon, nag avail na sila ng ano, eh, reception look eh. Oh. So ngayon, this year, ginawa ko ng uh, paraful ko yung free Second look. Ako mismo yung gagawa for the reception look. Oh, diba? But yeah. for one person lang. For the bride for one, lang. For the bride <laughs> lang. Uh-oh. Mamaya para sa iba naman. Oo, yun. <laughs> Tapos yung 10,000 discount is for the total package nung a-avail nila. So kahit anong package, yeah. may 10,000 less pa. Yes. Kahit oh, prenup pa yan, less Less ah, so pwede din for prenup. Pre-na pa, oh. oh, diba? So oh, paano kapag halimbawa gusto nila, prenup, they will get it. Diba? But the second look, para sa... Ah, and, Para sa wedding naman, like Uh-oh. yung makukuha. Or sa yung second look, gusto nila pang prenup, pwede ba nila gawin yon? Parang one lang. One chance lang, mom. <laughs> if they want to get, oh, pwede yun. If they want to get in the bra- uh, bridal makeup, uh, second look, it's free. And then it, gusto nila sa prenup naman, less 10,000, pwede din doon. Pero one person lang dapat, hindi yung kunyari both. Kaya like the bride. Oh, yeah, Avail niya yung dalawa, dapat ano lang, isa lang. Isa, oh, isa lang. So there you have it. So let's see who is going to win. I'm going to be asking you questions. Sana nakinig kayo sa aming chikahan. Feeling ko pwede tayo talaga magpo YouTube channel eh. <laughs> Oo nga eh no. Diba? Magbimake ano, ko na tayo. ako. <laughs> pwede, may YouTube channel ka ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Pero nag-start pa lang ako eh. A YouTube quiz, Mariah Santos Makeup. Ayon. So if yeah. you have any questions there, I'm sure ang dami mong gag- gagawin na oh, different oh. kinds of makeup. Medyo tamad lang na. <laughs> <laughs> Ito gaganahin ka na kasi dadami na yung subscribers oh, mo. Oo oh, eh. nga. Oh, subscribe. Like the page. Charot. <laughs> like the ano pala. The YouTube. There you go. Um, Ito na po ang tanong. For the gift certificate, free second look. All right? We have two winners, bases. Yeah, yeah. For the second look. Yeah. Okay. So, Manila lang, ha? Manila wedding. Ayan. Yeah. Metro Manila lang. Ulitin ko. Gift certificate, a free second look na pwede mo siyang gamitin para sa reception look mo naman. This will go to two winners. Two winners who can tell me ano ba ang IG ni Miss Mariah. Huwag mo nang sabihin ulit. Dapat hulaan nila. <laughs> Kasi sinabi sila. namin kanina ba? <laughs> diba? Again, yung IG handle ni Miss Mariah, kung ano yung IG handle, isulat nyo na sa comment section and gamitin nyo yung hashtag GM Bridal Fair Online, GM Bridal Fair Live Show and hashtag 
Hilton Manila, and we will choose two winners. Ito naman, gift certificate, less 10,000 pesos for the grand winner. Kahit anong package pa yan, ito, all over the Philippines or Metro Manila lang? Uh, yung less 10,000 is yeah. all over the Philippines All naman. over the Philippines yeah. naman yan. So, the question is, gusto ko medyo mahirap. <laughs> Yung kanina natin tinanong sa'yo. Ano? Which is, ano yung uh, ginagamit mo pang hygiene, pang linis ah, ng yeah, ating... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sana nakinig sila, no? Oo. Sa, yun. Marami siya na mention, pero uh -oh. yung usual na panlinis na pang makeup niya. Yun ang SOP ngayon, especially for the makeup artist. Kailangan requirements na sa atin, personally, and for the client, para at least safe lang both parties. So yun, kailangan meron kayo nun. Bumili na kayo. <laughs> Yan. And uh, if you need a clue, clue po is, it is, uh, pwede pa siya sa pocket, meron uh, light depende, na lumalabas. Oh, pwedeng malaking size, depende, pwedeng sa pocket. But basta nadi-disinfect siya. Ano ayan, ha? ayan. So yan yung clue niyo ha. Ulitin ko po ang tanong para sa grand prize of less than 10,000 less 10,000 pesos po. Less 10,000 para sa kahit anong package all over the Philippines. It is ano yung ginagamit ni Mariah pagdating sa pag uh, pag sterilize or disinfect. Ayan, ayan na isa pang clue <laughs> para sa kanya mga makeup na brushes and makeup na yeah. product. Yeah. Ayun. So, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Z. Thank you. And I really enjoyed seeing your makeup, seeing the transformation of your models. Yes. And again, if you want to check her out, you can do so. And at this point, we're going to take a short break while we show you a few photos of our next guest who will be joining us online na Man. So thank you again, thank Mariah. Thank you so much. Bye bye, guys. This is where our journey begins. Forever, my life and love belongs to you. As we walk down the aisle, we join in our hearts. I'll sing this song with you. Cause we're getting We are back, and this time, my next guest needs no introduction. I'm sure that you have heard his name time and time again. He is basically a household name when it comes to weddings because this is your dream gown. If I have to choose, like, an adjective, it would be a dream gown. Or he also does suits, so definitely you would want to hear from this amazing person himself. Let's call on Mr. Francis Libidan, who is here with us online. Hello, everyone. Hi, Francis. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm so sad that you, you're you not here in front of me, so that I, I can nudge you for like, hey, when I get married, that. <laughs> <laughs> Kailan ba? Ay nako, matagal-tagal maghahanap pa ako ng asawa. <laughs> so Francis, you look really fresh. I wanted to oh, know you. if that freshness is because you're excited for 2021? Yes, definitely very excited for um, things to come for 2021. We're very excited to serve everyone, our brides, our grooms, and to make this um, year really special. I wanted to know if in 2020 there have been any changes to the way that you have designed your gowns or maybe in the way that you work with your clients because of course 2020 has hit all of us, all types of suppliers and uh, mm. I wanted to know how it affected you personally as a designer and of course this is a very intimate thing when you get to meet with your clients and do their gowns. How are you able to adjust on your part? Um, 2020 was really a challenging year for us, especially um, during the start of the lockdown. We we have around um, March alone, we have 25 weddings that was postponed. So I was so sad, but, uh, you know, we have to really do something about it. So immediately our team in Francis Liberan, um, we, we tried to do Zoom meetings, fittings, 
for our brides, even to the extent of um, we're very particular about experience every time we meet our brides and the groom. So beforehand, we would send out the, the swatches of fabrics for our brides. So every time we talk to them in a meeting in Zoom, it has a touch feel pa rin. So that experience we're very particular of para, ano, para hindi naman malungkot ng mga brides and grooms because um, na-miss namin yung, ano, yung one-on-one interaction with them. So we have to make do of what we have para lang the experience is still the same somehow. It's so cute that you send them the swatches. So do you have like notes for them to remember what you explained for every swatch? Or do you kind of give them a tutorial while you're on the Zoom? (laughs) Actually, it's coded. So every time I I explain to them, swatch number one, number two, they would know and understand how it feels. So it's that's very important. You know, um, a wedding gown is very, uh, very intimate na niyan sa brides eh. So, yan yung gusto nilang nahahawakan na feel yung, yung fabric eh. So, that's the best way for us to, to do in terms of servicing them. Even for, ano, even for um, their fittings, we have to send in our, our staff to their house, um, complete gear with PPEs, face shields, and masks, and we do the Zoom fitting naman. Oh, so it's still going to be one person going to their house and uh, you still are going to be on the Zoom itself so that you can take notes of everything or if ever that your staff might forget something, at least papaalala mo, no? Yeah, and we make sure that we we send in the the swab test of our staff just to make sure that they, uh, they feel safe. That's great that you're able to add that. So have there been any changes to the way that you have conducted your new protocol since we are moving into 2021 things have been a little bit more lax than when the pandemic just began so have there Mm. been any changes or are you planning to implement any changes moving forward with the year well right now it's um it's becoming to be more open and i guess um a lot of brides right now what i've noticed is um, they want something in front of them already, you know, just to make sure that they save time to go from one place to another. So at Francis Liberan uh, Bridal in Greenbelt 5, it's more of like a retail store wherein brides could go there and fit our, our, our sample dresses for them to try on. So it cut short the time na nag sila na parabang it's different kasi from sketch to the actual. Sometimes the expectations is really parabang disappointed yung bride or what. But with Francis Liberan Bridal naman, they could see it already on them. So they know the silhouette already. So 50% na niya cut off dun sa time ng bride eh because nakikita nila that they have the waist, they have this, they could cover this. So that's the service we provide for them. I really love that because it feels like for me, as someone who's thinking already about her future gown, it feels like I'm in a game where I can just, you know, choose a basic gown and then see, oh, this is the perfect silhouette for me and then this is what I want to add. Um, Have there been any types of... Well, I'm, I'm just really shocked with what you mentioned earlier, but I guess it was affected, I mean, it has affected everybody where you had to move the 25 weddings, yeah. they were moved. So did that mean that you had to wait for any other adjustments that should be made? Like, for example, the, the brides got so stressed that they lost even more weight. Or did you have to go back to them because baka naman sa sobrang sarap sa bahay, kumain naman sila ng sobra. So have there been a lot of adjustments since the, the wedding was moved? You had to also follow up with them with their current measurements? Yeah, definitely we, we do. Some panga even got pregnant already, so I'm Hello. doing their baptismal. <laughs> Baptist, pambinyag na yung ginagawa ko, hindi na yung pangkasali. So, so there's a there's a lot of stories behind it during this uh, during this time, very uh, parang challenging for us. But again, we have to really um, help our brides and our grooms to to get through with this. You know, um, um, it's so depressing for them to be married at this time. But again, by providing them with a good um, service, solutions to the problems, uh, we make sure that it's easy for our brides and grooms. 
That's really great to hear. I wanted to ask also if there has been a different trend going on during the pandemic because, of course, pre-pandemic or when there was, um, when we had bigger ballrooms and there wasn't such a thing called an intimate wedding, uh, there are a mm -hmm. lot of brides who would choose to have a bigger... simplification has it been more elegant and detail and more form-fitting has there been any type of trend that you've noticed or observed you know what um april we were looking at it already that the trend would change because of the the size and the volume of guests it's a lower scale so we have to we, we came up with uh francis liberan simply by francis liberan so it's really more of like a, a very form-fitting gown with sleeves, um, less embellishments or no embellishments at all. It's to cater for the very, re really intimate weddings. So, of course, the, the head count is parang 50 to 80 packs. Lang eh. So, you cannot be wearing a ball gown that you occupy the entire ballroom already. Tapos, konti lang yung guest. So we we try to uh, I try to design something that's very comfortable for the bride for them to wear, and at the same time it looks good on pictures, and they could um, you know interact with their guests. So I've just made it really comfortable for them, which is actually very nice because it's something refreshing for the bridal industry. Uh, for a time, uh, I guess last year everybody wants massive wedding gowns, you know, brides that are like so. They, they can't even move or go from one table to another. But right now, it's so refreshing to see brides interacting with guests. Very comfortable, very relaxed. So I think it's going to be a trend. Yeah, because it makes sense that, uh, like what you said, if they have a huge ball gown and they have only 50 to 80 guests, you're already occupying maybe three persons right <laughs> <laughs> around you. That's true. <laughs> And I wanted to also ask you, like, since we moved from an extravagant dress that you mentioned, we went to something a little bit more simple, a little bit more elegant in terms of the details, but it's more form-fitting. In 2021, what, what do you think we can see? Do, do you think that there's going to be more of the simple yet elegant look, or do you think that there's going to be a different trend altogether? Um, definitely, um, if you look at... Um the trend that's going on for, for bridal, it's more something that's very um, comfortable for them to wear. Mm -hmm. You know, um, right now, all we, we have is really uh, a very small amount of guests which we want to interact, sit with them, talk with them, you know, so you cannot wear something that's so big, mm -hmm. you know, and less embellishments or no embellishments at all. And which is, by the way, that's the hardest thing to do. Because wow. how can you uh, make something really nice and simple yet it creates an impact? Yes. You know, S especially if it's uh, no embellishments and daming mga brides na marami silang tinatago, di ba? So if it's simple, you have to be parabang kailangan seamless. Um, yung mga bulges dapat natatago siya. So it's more challenging for us as a designer to come up with something really simple yet it creates an impact. Yes, because you really want it to pop, even if it were yeah. simple. Uh, what about civil weddings? Have you ever had any any inquiries regarding having it very, like when we're talking about simple but elegant, and then trying to put it into a civil wedding? Because of course, not everybody can yeah. afford to, everybody's trying to cut costs and they can't afford to have a huge reception. They just think, oh, civil wedding na lang tayo. But I still want mm. to wear a gown. I still want to yeah. make it memorable and I want to look the best that I've ever looked. So have yeah. you had to change any type of design specifically for a civil wedding? Yeah, you know what I would always tell my brides because they would they would think that even though if it's a civil wedding, kilangan dress lang or what. And I would always tell them, you know what, it's your special day. You have the right to really dress up for that day, but um, you know, just the right size or if it's possible there's no train at all, just a very nice fitting white dress that uh, you know, that looks flattering on you would be perfect for a for uh for that type of uh, civil wedding, but the rule is, 
Siyempre, you'll invite a lot of guests. Bak, ayaw mo naman masapawan ka ng guest mo, di ba? So, might as well uh, overdo it at one point. True. And who cares what they think, di ba? Just konting editing na lang na instead of a long train, maybe a shorter one. I got what It's you're your saying. day. It's your day. So, you have to be, you have to dress up. You know. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for all of that information. It was really nice to hear everything that you have shared with us because our brides to be really appreciate all of the things that you have to say. And I just wanted to give you this opportunity to share to everybody about your social media if you have any promos or any packages uh -huh. that you'd like to share as well before we mm -hmm. before we say thank um, you and goodbye. <laughs> we have a lot of we have a lot of packages um, tie up with uh, different suppliers. You know, this is the best way to, to really, um, you know, collaborate with everyone from photographers, coordinators and stuff. It, package it in one uh, bundle so that brides doesn't have to go from one place to another. So we have a lot of those. Actually, every month we try to, to really come up with something. So do visit us at uh, www.francisliberanbridal.com or visit our um, IG page, Francis Liberan. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully, the next time I see you, it'll be in person when we're all safe from this <laughs> pandemic. And uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate the time that you are also give, giving to support the Getting Married a Bridal Fair. Let's give him a big virtual round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you so much. At this point, we are going to be calling on i think kevin is going to take over for the next part of the program so please sit back and stay tuned thank you <laughs> All right, hello again, everybody. First of all, thank you very much, Z, for keeping my seat warm. Very comfy na ulit ako dito. All right, so now, from one very popular figure, we move on to another very known figure in his own industry. But before that, I would like to announce once again, for those who want to avail my hosting services, I'm giving away one hosting gig for free for those that share uh, this stream, along with a caption, I want tag me, Kevin LaPena, to host my blank. So once again, all you need to do is share this stream with a caption, I want Kevin LaPena to host my blank. Remember to tag me so I see your entries. All right? So now, on to business. For those that want to have their dream wedding, a most, their most beautiful wedding possible, here with us is one of the most sought-after wedding and event stylists, not only in the Philippines, but also in the world. Everybody, Please welcome the very renowned Mr. Michael Ruiz. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Mike, nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Ah. Did you also style yourself looking very fashionable this afternoon, Mike? This is just my pambahay lang eh. Grabe! <laughs> pambahay lang pala yan. ko kasi si Madam Kuchi eh. Kaya I have to dress up talaga. Alright. So now, Mike, uh, for the benefit of those watching here, kapag pumasok sila dito mismo sa function room natin, or sa ballroom, I should say, they're gonna be able to see yung mga setups ng mga stylists dito. You included. You have a very beautiful setup over here. Thank you so much. But before we actually reveal your, uh, your design to everybody watching here, I just want to ask you first, sir, uh, and in fact, we talked about this earlier, for those that want, for the couples that want to, to have their dream wedding, uh, what are the things that they should consider or think about to be able to present to you para ma-execute nyo yung dream wedding nila? Well, of course, I always tell this no, to our soon-to-wed, tsaka sa mga nag inquire 
couple, it's very, it's very important that couple should know what they want first. Hello? There Ayan. So, couple should know what they want first. Kasi, uh, of course, we have a lot of ideas in mind, but it's better to work with the uh, preferences of the couple, what they have in mind. So, from their own, we can help them conceptualize, we can help them do the mood boards and everything, so we can guide them truly to the direction na gusto nila. All right, so when one decides to get an event stylist or a wedding stylist, sometimes iniisip nila, okay, even if the fee is quite uh, pricey, although very justifiable, <laughs> very justifiable, uh, ano po ang kasama dun bukod sa styling ninyo? Kasama din po ba ang mga flowers or uh, what's included? Well, right now in the Philippines, when we say event styling, it comprises of the following, no? Uh, of course, the entourage bouquet, kasama yan. So, that's part of our work. Next is the ceremony decor. And finally, the reception. So, for the reception, there are a lot of factors, of course, from the entrance to the ceiling, stage, table setting, and so forth and so on. So, name it. Kung ano gusto nyo lang ipabago, ano gusto idagdag, we can transform it. Yan po. Alright, so now, as I already preempted, Sir Mike, you are one of the most sought after wedding and event stylists, not just in the Philippines, but perhaps also around the world, correct? So, uh, sa mga hindi nakaka discern at this point, when you say, hey, my wedding is being styled by one Michael Ruiz, what is this particular touch that you offer na makikita nila, ah, si Michael Ruiz yan? Ang hirap namang sagutin yan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe at the end of the day, no, it's very important. May touch pa rin tayo ng elegance. It should be timeless. Of course, we are very creative. Marami tayong gustong gawin. But I think the real deal is when you look back 10 years from now, pag nakita mo yung wedding mo, parang kahapon lang siya because andun pa rin yung elegance. Ayan. I think that's very important. Okay, so very important as well for people to, to find out uh, about the safety protocols that you observe because it's not only you that's in charge of beautifying the wedding and the reception as well, but also the team Correct. along with Correct. you. So is there anything new that uh, you are starting to practice being that gumagalaw na po tayo ngayon in the new normal? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, ganun pa rin, no? it's the same thing we applied in, in the events. So we have to always sanitize, wear the, the mask, the face shield. That's very important because at the end of the day, hindi natin alam who is infected, di ba? So it's better to have precautions talaga. So from the warehouse, leaving the warehouse, yung team talaga, we, we make it sure that everybody is well-equipped, sanitized, and then pagdating sa hotel, social distancing. Although sometimes medyo nawawala, but as much as possible, we have to really implement it. Ganun talaga eh. One of the things that also I enjoyed seeing, especially nung nag-start yung buong mga, yung pandemic and yeah. the lockdown and everything, was that hindi nawala yung uh, enthusiasm ng mga tao to keep their celebrations ongoing. And mm -hmm. a part of that is also uh, getting stylists na kung hindi man available ang mga ballrooms or function rooms, right from the comfort of their homes, yeah. you also offer styling yung mga intimate events yeah. and such as that. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, for couples that want to Correct. have a more intimate setting? I just want to re-echo lang yung sinabi kayo nung isa sa ini-interview na this is really the best time to get married, no? Number one, we have the luxury of time. Dahil medyo selected yung nagpapakasal, we can focus on each couple. As in talaga, sobra. Another thing, when we say intimate, it doesn't mean na yung services namin were short change. In fact, we have more time to really focus on them. So parang ispold yung mga clients eh. And what we always tell them is, malit na lang yung wedding mo, intimate na lang, then make it tasteful. ba? Because aminin natin, in the, in the normal setting, it's really expensive to have a wedding, spending for a, a thousand capacity ballroom, and now you have 10, 20 packs, so why don't you just splurge on the details, on the plates, on the chairs and everything? Kasi at the end of the day, it's all visual pa rin naman. Kinasal ka pa rin. You deserve the best pa rin naman yun. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I was listening to the, to the interview that Z did with Gideon earlier. And she asked him a very interesting question because I myself am, am curious about this. So for those that decide, okay, we're going to scale down our event 
move from a hotel or an events place into our home. Let's say maganda naman yung bahay nila, malaki naman yung space. Ano ang kasama dun if they want to get you to style their celebration at home? Uh, is it only the dining area? Do you also decorate uh, maybe the entrance to the house, the garden? Ano po yung mga, maybe what can you visualize when you do that? Well, basically, when couple approach us, no, they have pegs naman talaga. The challenging part is sometimes yung mga pegs that the couple has, no, kailangan mo siyang i-recreate sa bahay. Eh. And there are factors that we have to consider. Like, for example, the wall. Yeah, your, your, your house may be very beautiful, but is the wall compatible or, or will it complement the flowers and everything? So parang at the back of our mind, as if this is still a ballroom. So we have to really check what are the factors that we have to design or we have to, to scale down and we have to enhance para hygienic pa rin siya at the end of the day. Kasi yun naman gusto ng couple eh. Could be in the house or garden or ballroom at the end of the day, gusto nila hygienic pa rin talaga yung wedding nila. Yun. So now, moving on to uh, making the most out of having you here, mm -hmm. especially since a lot of people might have tuned in just to be able to watch you and to get to pick your brain about this. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind lang, Sir Mike, yes. parang semi ano na din to eh, consultation okay. for people Nakabahan viewing you. Hindi lang naman, this is just to get your expertise as well. Yeah. So for those that are planning their, uh, their wedding or their birthday or their celebration, uh, is there a particular theme that's uh, that's uh, prevalent nowadays or something that you'd like to recommend for it to be timely or timeless for those that want to put something up along with you as well? The most likely classic elegant look is, is still timeless. But then again, you have to make it relevant to the time. So especially now, mayroon pa rin dapat siyang touches of the current things. It doesn't have when we say timeless, kailangan the old things pa rin. So we can combine it with new things, even fresh flowers, even candelabras. So basically, the themes, you, you can never go wrong naman with the themes, especially yung linis ng execution eh. You can have a safari wedding theme, you can have a rustic theme. It's more on the taste of the event stylist pa rin, on how are they going to curate it in such a way na tasteful pa rin talaga siya. So yun. In fact, medyo challenging ang intimate events. It's because, okay, compared to bigger ballroom, we have just to, to fill it with a lot of things, everything. Tapos lights, diba? Dim light, pagpasok ng couple, it's wow. Pero kasi versus sa bahay, intimate, you see everything, every corner. So kailangan talaga malinis. It's really a test of your discipline as an event stylist. Medyo ganun. Yeah, thank you very much, yeah. Sir Mike. Okay, so now we move on to my favorite part of our little segment over yeah. here because we can finally reveal to everybody watching the setup that you put together for this special day. So, yeah, Sir please, Mike, maybe we can start to reveal. Check it. Are we good? Yeah. Is are you showing the setup? Okay, so now nakikita na ng mga viewers natin mm -hmm. yung uh, yung setup ninyo over here. Can you take us through this design of yours? Do we need to go there? Hindi naman na, no. No, no need. Hindi na. Okay. I narrate nyo na lang, sir. Yeah, so, so basically, uh, since we were given like this color yellow, just to, to balance everything, we opted to have a black backdrop. Kasi with black, diba, you'll, you'll never go wrong. Everything is classy. And then we put a little, of course, flowers put in against it just to put the, the feel ng, ng elegance, ng wedding, ng romance. So together with the table set up, of course, our candelabras from CNL Decors. I'd like also to, to acknowledge CNL for all the tables, the chairs, and then the candelabras. Also, we have thematic um, plates and categories from Casa Luxia. Thank you also for this. So it's really a collaboration of us and some rental companies in the wedding industry. Yan po. This is really beautiful. And in fact, we were talking about this earlier, Sir Mike. So this is also an observance with uh, celebrating intimate uh, celebrations, correct, correct. correct? My functionality then, yung yeah. isa sa mga designs yung sa table. Can you explain yeah. that to us? Yeah, as, as I was saying a while ago, if you can notice in between the chairs, in between the flowers, there are these black candelabras, the mini candelabras. The, the, the function of those things is to really block one guest from the other. Divider siya. Yeah, parang ganun na rin. But you have to do it, syempre, ano, uh, stylish. Para, In a tasteful it's way. It's part pa rin of the, ano, of the setup. So, usually, no, we can have three or less. Pwedeng two-seaters lang eh, sa isang side. Especially before, no, we have this two-meter distance, no? But I think medyo limit yata tayo sa one-meter distance. So, we can have three chairs, actually, each side. So, just because... 
people are starting to scale down to having intimate gatherings doesn't mean na ma- makakompromise din ang beauty ng event nila. Correct, correct. All right. So now, contrary to some of you, kasi baka iniisip nyo, ah, napaka-overwhelming and maybe intimidating to, to reach out to you bilang super kilala na po kayo Hindi sa na. industriya niyo. But just to let you guys know, Very approachable and very responsive din naman yung mga stylists natin, katulad ni Sir Mike. Thank you. For those that want to get in touch with you, for you to decorate their dream celebration, how do they do that, sir? Well, of course, they can always reach us sa Instagram, Michael Ruiz Event Styling. Also via email, Styling at gmail.com. And also through our contact details in the Instagram naman. So, we are very responsive naman. Within 24 hours, we will respond. <laughs> Kung hindi po kayo nasa ibang bansa or ibang rehiyon ng, oh, ng Pilipinas. we will respond, of course. <laughs> yeah. All, all right. So, now before we let you go, Sir Mike, are there any promos or are there any special packages, especially for this bridal fair, that you'd like to share with all of our viewers watching us right now? Well, each month, we usually have um, packages and promos. So, for this month, if you will book Michael Ruby's event styling, especially for reception. So we are giving free bridal bouquet for the bride. So you don't have to buy your bouquets. It's part of the package already. So please do check our Instagram and inquire. Yun lang. Thank you. I really am privileged to be able to sit right My across pleasure, you and to get to pick your brain. Thank you very much, <laughs> Thank you so Sir much Mike. Also. A pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, to everybody watching, a virtual round of applause to the very renowned Mr. Michael Happy Ruiz. Happy New Year, everyone. Ang ganda ng ginawa niya. But that doesn't mean we have to stop there. A lot more beautiful stuff for us to share with you guys. In fact, the next part is something very special that you guys might want to watch. So everybody, please watch this. Sing this song with you Cause we're getting married We're getting married This is where our journey begins Love and forever My life and love belongs to you As we walk down the aisle With joy in our hearts I'll sing this song with you Now, to give us a very special live performance, a professional dancer and one of the most premier choreographers in the industry, everybody. 
presenting to you Miss Geraldine Uy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not one to stick around One strike and you're out, baby Don't care if I sound crazy But you never let me down That's why when the sun's up, I'm staying Still laying in your bed saying no Got all this time on our hands Might as well cancel our plans I could stay here for a lifetime So go ahead And drive me insane Baby, run your mouth I still wouldn't change Being stuck with you Stuck with you, stuck with you I'm stuck with you Stuck with you, yeah mm. This is where our journey Again, another round of applause, please, Miss Geraldine Uy! Ay, palakbak ka naman yung ating studio audience dito ngayon, yung ating virtual audience. Thank you so much. So happy to see you here, Miss Geraldine Uy. Now, Geraldine, how are you? Thank you so much. Let's greet each other here right now. Ayan, konting bate lang po. At saan po yung mic ni Miss Geraldine? If you are interested right now to find out how you can avail of the great services of Miss Geraldine to make your wedding more magical and, of course, more choreographed, uh, you can contact her at the information which appears here on our stage right now. Again, Geraldine, it's Hi. good to see you. Uh, let's put the mic closer lang po dito sa ating... Yeah. Ayan, yan, Hello, yung everyone. Yan yung hosting sa ating new normal. Now, just to clarify, no, we were watching a lot of the videos earlier on. At uh, ikaw yung behind the scenes. Ikaw yung nagtuturo <laughs> sa mga uh, yes. dance groups, pati na sa mga couples. Can you tell us a bit more about what you do? Um, actually, um, we're doing um, opening numbers for um, uh, the booths and birthdays and weddings. And for now... Uh, Ang mga mas ginagawa namin is the wedding dance. For wedding dances. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, alam natin ngayon sa especially right now, di ba Geraldine, sa ating new normal, that many people are already saying, baka nila kailangan mag magpa-choreograph niyan yeah. kasi uh, gusto namin like mas intimate or sila po ay uh, nagtitipid ngayon, mm -hmm. kaya nila lang kinukuha. Uh, but tell us right now, what's the importance of making sure that you choreograph your first dance. Yeah. There's a lot of, you know what, there's a lot of reasons why um, the couple should uh, get a wedding dance choreographer or uh, at least uh, dance lessons before their big mm -hmm. day. But at least down three important. The first one is they should create an opportunity for our creative photographers and videographers to get uh, beautiful photos that they can use to the on-site videos or Ayan. SDE, di ba? Yan yung importante una-una. I want yes. to point it out again kasi bilang host rin. Uh, oh, yan yung oh. sinasabi ko sa ating mga couples, especially <laughs> when you're doing the host, when you're, when you're doing the, when, the, when we are planning for the wedding, I say, when they say, they start getting more choreographer, explain to them, uh, maybe it's not really for you right now, but then yes. 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, when you get to watch that video, uh, <laughs> gusto mo sana na binubuhat mo sa ere yung inyong asawa, di ba? Or you're spinning and, her around. And, and it's know, very artistic. It's yes. very nice. And that's a memory that you can capture if you got a well-choreographed first yes. dance. And also, it's very awkward naman you sway back and forth lang for two minutes and then mm -hmm. everyone is staring at you. Tama, tama. And then for you as a host, di ba? Minsan, pag maiksi yung program, walang nangyayari sa program and then walang time for the SDE to edit. Sasabihin sa'yo, oh, can you extend the program? That's Kasi, right, that's right. Oo. Pero pag you have the choreographed dance, maraming um, content na pwedeng makuha yung videographers and um, photographers natin na pwede nilang ilagay sa Yan, SDE. Yan yung patangte, malaman din ng mga couple that it's really also the content that comes into the video, yes. which is key, which is why you want your first dance choreographed. Yes, and also, um, yung first dance kasi, usually, dati, after dinner yan eh. Pero ngayon, traditionally, parang inuuna na siya. Inuuna so, na siya right, right after the entrance, yes, first dance na. Yes, first dance na. Mm -hmm. And then, yun, mas maraming nakukuhang content yung mga photographers Tama, and videographers oh. aside from the ceremony, right? Okay. okay. For the second one, why is it important is, ayun nga, sabi mo, create memories. May mga couples ako na 
after ilang years, alam pa rin nila yung dance nila. And wow. then, traditionally, yearly, ginagawa nila yon. For example, I have a couple um, sa beach sila kinasal. So every time, babalik sila sa beach na yon, and then they will do the dance. They will message me, Je, look, ginawa namin uli yung dance. Wow. <laughs> diba? Parang something memorable na itetreasure nila for the rest of their buried life. And then number three, the last one I think is, um, kailangan mo rin iparamdam sa guests mo and family mo na pinaghandaan mo yung wedding. Kasi minsan, ang ganda ng pasok ng host, like, Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the newlyweds in their mm. wedding dance. Tapos biglang papasok yung maganda music, tapos biglang sway. 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 That's Parang right. Parang biglang nag-off. So, yung... I, but usually what we tell a couple is that, you know what, um, people made the effort to come over there yes. as well. And, and when they come over there, it would be nice as a yes. gift to your guests that you give them yes. a nice performance during that day. Now, Geraldine, when they get your services, maliban lang sa first dance, no? Mm -hmm. uh, what else can you also, what else do you also teach? Sometimes the groom has a dance number or yes, the parents have a surprise, dance number or, yes. or may father-daughter dance. Tell yes. us a bit more about the services which you offer. Um, we actually, sometimes we, may mga um, couples kami na hiya sila na sila lang daw sumasayaw oh, sa stage. Oh, oh, oh. So, they get extra dancers na parang ang tawag namin doon is idiot dancers. Sila yung parang around the area mm. na nag, uh, pinafollow ng couples. Or there's a um, entourage dance also. Mm -hmm, that's right. Na, and then, meron then in between the program or before the program, there's an opening number na um, thematic para to set up the mood before the start of the program. That's so, right. Yeah. Uh, and, just, and just one more question. Right now, during the new normal, di ba? Um, how do you actually train the couple? How do you teach the couple? Is it an online session or is it a live session together with a couple? Um, uh, as much as possible, if we do a live um, session with the couple, we rent a studio yung major open and then I see to it na not more than two hours and of course we, we use this, all of the protocols, we follow all of the protocols, social distancing and then tatlo lang kami. Okay. Kasi before, I have two assistants na kasama magturo. But now, tatlo lang kami ng couple. And then, uh, I have my own protocols then. I, I do my swab testing, like okay. that. Okay. And do you also show up on the on the wedding day or hindi na? Hindi na. Hindi na. Okay, I see. I see. Thank you so much. <laughs> and with that, I'll, I'll let me, Geraldine, I would have loved to dance yes. with you. Uh, do a, a tutorial with you here right now. Pero nag-first dance na ako 13 years ago. So, ngayon, bibigyan ko ng oportunidad. Yung mga yes. hindi pa nakaka-first dance or or people who might need the skill set ng first dance. Uh, may disclaimer uh, agad. Oh, ba, over the next couple of years, eh, kasi yung ka-first dance ko lang yung aking asawa na wala dito ngayon. Eh. So, I'd like to invite my two co-hosts here right yes. now who are so excited right yes. now to dance Bukana. for you. Uh, si ZB over here, ayan. And especially si Kevin. Sabi ni Kevin, gusto, gusto ko yun kanina pa. Kinuha yung gusto ko. Sabi, oh my God. With lifting. Gusto ko sabi, sabi, sabi ni Kevin, sabi niya, hindi ako yan. Ako yan. <laughs> so, uh, so, Geraldine, okay. I will leave the floor to you. Can you please uh, instruct <laughs> your soon-to-be wedge over worry. here? Don't worry. Super basic lang. Because oh, basic yun lang nga down. sinabi kanina na kailangan short time lang yung pagturo ng wedding dance. And may we invite the couples watching right now, you can do this at home with your fiancé. Oh, ayan. And pwede nyo na tong gamitin as first dance, okay? Napalibre so, tutorial pa, <laughs> libre first dance mo. Okay, so ang dance, it's always eight counts. Para siyang eight counts is one sentence, and then the four eight counts, it's parang isang paragraph siya or one um, stanza ng song, okay? So Nawala na ako sa mga 8, 4, 1, yes. half, carry the 3, and <laughs> ano ba to? Grabe okay. pala yung sayaw. So, so yung girls mag-start sa right, yung boys sa left. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, so, okay, go. Okay, we walk 8 counts going to our partner. Make sure boys yung hands nyo pag walang ginagawa, nasa likod, so, you're a, so you have an upright upper body. Okay. I think someone should hold our so, After nito, okay, so, pakidelete na lang yung footage. Pakidelete na lang. <laughs> Edited daw to. Cut out. Okay, so... Ba, ano naman ng mic? I don't... So, lakad tayo. One, eight. So, one, two, three, four. Meeting your partner. And then hold. The boy facing the audience. Okay, and then the girl walk again around. Eight counts. The boy follow lang ng look yung girl para meron pa rin tayong... Yan. Eight counts. Okay. That's your second eight. For the third eight, you go around in front of your partner. 
this is wrap around, make sure you don't cover your partner ng ganyan. Kasi yan yung gusto nating makuha sa on-site video and sa photos. Paki alcohol na lang to si Z pa, para ma- makasiguradong sanitize, <laughs> nakasanitize ka na. Nakasanitize tayo, di ba? Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, okay. after this, you'll just do a wave side to side. So, wave, wave. right, left, Right, left. Ito na paki-delete na tong photo. <laughs> okay, wag natin silang i-cover. Oh! <laughs> Ayun na pala so ay, ay, ay. Okay, the next one is the favorite part ng mga videographers, yung deep. Okay? So oh, deep. Oh my god. Your partner like this. Okay? Oh, y- yung boy hindi kailangan gumalaw. Bakit ang daming iko? <laughs> hindi kailangan gumalaw na. May blocking para so maganda yung blocking natin. So from Here, the girl will just face the boy. Ganyan. Oh, yan. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, make sure you don't cover again. You don't cover. Yan, para kita ng mga... Then, you don't actually go deep. Parang titingin lang kayo sa camera. Like, like that. Yan. May papasahin lang ako okay. ng waiver para kay Let's Z. try that. Let's try that. Okay. Oh, Let's shucks. That. Sige, so, sige, Gerald. So, from the na yan. Ha? Let's uh-huh. try it with the music. Pa-play po uli ng music kanina. <laughs> RJ, napasubo kami kay RJ. Ha? Grabe to si RJ. All right, let's go. For the couples, let's go Buti na lang, may insurance ako. Counts wrap around. I might wanna stick around. Two, three. Four, hip side. Five, One strike and you're six, out, baby. Don't seven, care if I sound deep. crazy, but seven, you never let me down. Three, four. That's right. When the good. sun's up, I'm wow. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Okay. Ano na, ano na. So you go up. So one, two, three, four. Face your partner again. You go side to side again. Five, six, seven, eight. Very good. And then. Onti na lang. We go around. One, two, okay. three, four. And then back. Top. Parang swing lang. And back. And front. And then turn around again. One, halfway. Two, three, four. You repeat that. Five, six, seven. And for the last step. Oh, last step na. Let's do a simple sway lang. One, two, three, Four, the boys continue swinging. The girls go turn around. Five, six, seven, eight. Repeat that for the last time. One, two, three, four. Turn around. And then, this part is the last pose. You go back to your hip. That's it. Let's try it with the music. Yeah. Madali the lang top, pala, Geraldine. Madali lang. So, lagi nilang sinasabi sa akin. Geraldine, we're not a dancer. Paano yan? Ilang rehearsals dapat? Eh, busy kami sa preparations. Then I'll tell them, okay na ng one rehearsal if you want a simple test, or sway, basic sway lang naman dance. eh. Oo, oh, oh, sabi nila, isang rehearsals, paano yun? So, like so parang ano lang siya eh, no? parang verse, chorus, yes, and then bit. Tapos yes. yung tamang stance. Na par- Ay! Hala! Oh, <laughs> so, so, ibig sabihin, Geraldine, pwede naman papakasal si, si Z at si Kevin. Ganun, Isa, isa't isa. Kung hindi ah, pwede okay, silang papakasal okay, na. Okay, <laughs> Kasi ako rin naman first dance na. Pwede na pala, pwede na pala. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it with the music. Ready? Louder, please. Two, three, four, five, six, hold seven, eight. Around eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four counts. Start around. I might want to stick around. Nagtatago sila sa likod ko. Hawak ka naman, Kevin. Hawak ka naman, Casey. Hawak ka naman, baby. Don't care if I sound crazy. But you never let me down. Sway. That's why when the sun's up, I'm staying. Ready? Halfway turn. Ready? Halfway turn. Got all this time on our hands. And turn. Might as well cancel our plans. I could stay here. Time. So go ahead and drive me insane, baby. Run your mouth. I still wouldn't change being stuck with you, stuck with you, stuck with you. For your last I'm stuck with you, stuck with you, yeah. Yeah. Mm. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you so much. 
Sa mga, sa mga judges natin, ano yung mga scores na mabibigay niyo sa aming dalawa? <laughs> ten? Ten? Ako, ako, ako may score ako. Basta, buti na walang TF yan. <laughs> <laughs> De, actually, I just wanted to add, sorry. I wanted to add na it's a tip lang sa mga couples. Don't go beyond as much as possible the first stanza and the first chorus. Yes. Diba? Kasi pag masyadong lumagpas Mahaba, na. Mahaba. Boring na. Unless, marami ka talagang choreo. Yes. Pag maraming choreo, sige, pahabain mo na hanggang five oh, minutes. Oh. Or unless, after your first dance, there's a remix na parang magiging fast dance siya yes. with your entourage. Mm. Yes. And if you wouldn't mind me adding, I think it was also necessary and great that you decided to do a tutorial because I cannot speak for Z. Kasi mukha naman magaling siya sumayaw. But me... Zero knowledge and grace grace to dance. Kaya, kaya naman eh, di ba, Geraldine? Kaya, kaya. And then um, actually, yung mga um, parents of the bride and groom, nagugulat sila, oh, nakakasayaw pala si groom. Ilang rehearsals ginawa nyo. And then they will say, we just had one rehearsals. What? Nagugulat sila. So yun. So Parang, usually it's the groom who has a hard time with the... With the dance steps. Yes, pero mga 30%, yung groom yung gusto din naman matuto kasi nahihiya din sila na mag-sway around lang sa... Na walang gagawin. Yes, yeah. oo. Nasabihin nila, siya kasi dancer siya, so okay lang. Ako, hindi ako dancer, so I need the lessons. So, yun. Ah, that's so considerate yes. of the grooms. <laughs> sila pa may gusto, sila pa naman yung hindi marunong. Yes. Y- you know, in, in the future... <laughs> In the future, kung kinailangan ko man yun, I think it would be absolutely necessary for me uh. to get taught as well because, I don't know, na- kinakapahan talaga ako the Actually, whole time. Actually, you did a good job. Except Hello, for the fact, ah, ah yeah, yun nga, yung doon ako kinabahan, bigla siya nag-adlib. Nag-split up. Paano freestyle siya? Oh, ha? Oh. I was like, wow! Oh, ba? Diba? Ginagahe ko lang si brother over there. I can see you guys enjoying. So, yun yung isa din sa reasons bakit important yung wedding dance. Kasi parang nagiging excuse siya as a date and break dun sa couples na nagpa-plan ng Cute. wedding. Yeah, sabi nila, abuti na lang may ganito kasi sobrang hectic na ng schedule sila. Nakakalimutan na nila mag-date. Tapos yun, yung wedding dance and... Um, rehearsals yung parang nagiging date nila in between. That's so sweet. Yeah. During the wedding ba, halimbawa, sobrang kinakabahan talaga yung mga couple. Sasabihin ba nila na, Miss Geraldine, pwede ba nandyan ka ba sa wedding? Tapos titignan ka namin, papalo ka namin. <laughs> Meron bang ganyan? Wala, actually. Nagugulat na lang ako. Nagsisend sila ng video sa akin na perfect na nila yung <laughs> dance. And then, kasi ang nangyayari, we do the rehearsals three weeks before the wedding. Mm-hmm. Not early, not late na. Kasi kaya, why three weeks? Para... Magre-rehearse kami ng twice and then the remaining weeks, pwedeng sila na lang dalawa. Retention na lang. Yeah, minimessage nga nila ako, nagwa-wine kami ngayon, tapos bigla kaming sumasayaw. Oh, that's so sweet! <laughs> Alright, so before we let you go, Geraldine and uh, your very Josh. talented, Josh, Josh, the very talented dancer, thank you para at least may basehan ako sa galaw ko kanina. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to add before we let you go? Any promos? How did it get in touch with you? Final words. <laughs> um, for the uh, soon-to-be uh, newlyweds, um, we have a uh, promo uh, discounted uh, rate for getting married. It's less than 4000 for our rates. You can contact me directly to the numbers um, here in front. <laughs> so I have... The, the rates for the first dance is 17,500. Less 4,000 for the getting married bridal Oh, di ba? Less 4,000 pa. <laughs> o, libre mo na yung mga viewers natin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we have another special person that we will get a chance to meet this afternoon. Thank you very much, Thank Geraldine so and Joss. Palakpan po ulit natin silang dalawa. <laughs> and to Z as well for being a fantastic dancer. And for you for not dropping me on the floor. Sorry na lang sa mga nanonood. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. But so you will have an idea of who else uh, we get the chance to meet this afternoon. Everyone, please watch this very entertaining and special video. Hey guys, so I'm in Barcelona now. This is halfway through Iceland. This is my second stop here. I just came from Doha. And from here, I'm going to go to Warsaw in Poland. It's my first time there. 
I sail for four hours and then from there I fly to Iceland to shoot at the nesters pre-wedding in Iceland. So after 36 hours, welcome to Rick Javik. Guys, it's here. And uh, we're off for our first location. It's already 9 a.m. but uh, still dark. The sunrise will be at 12 noon, so geez. 15 minutes driving malang no outside Spring Javik and sobrang ganda na niya. Um it's sunrise and everywhere you look talaga it's just ano, uh, something that we've never seen. <laughs> ah, bisaya pala si Ate. Napaka-iba-iba sa Iceland. Mm -hmm. uh, number one language here, Bisaya. Bisaya, oh. Uh, but uh, you see the iconic um, rock formations here in the back. So, uh, it's really, really, really cold. So, um, uh, we're just waiting for Patricia to be retouched by Ate. And after that, we're ano, freeze to death. No, we're going to shoot. Are you cold? the black beach with Pat and Lester. Um, uh, time is just right because uh, it's, oh, it's already sunset. It's about 4.30 p.m. and um, sunset comes in early because uh, it's still winter. Uh, we're gonna pack up for today and uh, proceed the world. I do not know what to think. There is no yes. shortage of people we're ready in my opinion. Patricia. It's day two of Pat and Les to shoot here in Iceland, and uh, we're starting some shots here in the hotel. I'm with my assistant today, Jackie.
Ayun, we, ano, really, really nice. Nicely, medyo mainit. Tapos, lumamig lang lumamig hanggang naduras ako. So, ano, yun. Um, Rez is here. <laughs> Hi! He has his own YouTube channel, so... Yes, guys, follow me on YouTube. It's Ren Pangilina. Hair and styling and makeup and video. <laughs> Hair and styling and styling. Everything. Of course, Jackie and Jim, say hi. Hi! hi. And of course, Aaron. Hi! <laughs> Which one was the hardest for today? No, yeah, I know. Lagig pa. Lagig ang potong yan, ha? What truly breathtaking videos from my very good friend. I'd love to welcome him here on stage right now, Mr. Oli Ruiz of Metro Photo. Thank you, RJ. Oli, how so nice bro? to see you in person. Long time no see. Uh, First time for us to meet in person after so many months of virtually talking with each other. You know what? Uh, just for those who don't know, during this uh, lockdown, Oli became a de facto uh, painter in residence. Yes, somehow, yes, yes. Oh, oh, you yeah. were able to hone your 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 uh, your uh, fine art skills. Yes. Tell, tell us a bit more about that one. What happened oh, yeah. there? So uh, it was actually just uh, an activity I was looking for the family. So we wanted to. The mic. Can you if you can bring the mic close? Ayan, yeah, kasi. sorry. Ayan. There you go. Yeah. Let's take a seat. Let's take Let's a seat. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah, we were just looking. I was just looking for activity for the family since we were all inside the house, nothing to do. I thought na you know. Painting with the kids. I really didn't know that because I'm bad at drawing. So I just tried it, tried it out, learned a few, watch a few YouTube channels, and then I don't know. It got, uh, I got I got uh, I got interested with it, and yun, part that was the thing that the thing that I did uh, during during the the lockdown. And in fact, people were even hiring you to paint them, right? I guess it helps that I, I have a bit of a following, so medyo they wanted to see like um, you know how, how I do uh, how it will um, turn out if I do it for them. So yeah, I I did get some commission. Fantastic. So really, it, it it shows that the artistic ability that you put into your photos was something that you are able to translate as well to your paintings. I think that really helped uh, me knowing about. Uh, Composition, lights and shadows, kind of shortcut the, the learning curve for me in, in terms of painting. So the hack was there. You were able to hack your, your way into painting. Yeah, I there. didn't know that they were connected before. Parang, oy, parang, this is a, an easy pivot for me. What, what a wonderful skill. And the other thing is, I'm sure people, they were watching uh, your videos. And it was this is what I would call a behind-the-scenes video that he was shooting. It was truly, truly breathtaking. Again, Thank this you. was in, is that Iceland? Is That's that in right? Iceland, yeah. That was in Iceland. It was shot... Of course, pre-pandemic, no? That was about two two years old, I'm guessing. Oh, no, that was just last January. So it's barely a year. That's oh, that was end of January. So parang uh, sakto lang. Parang Saks uh, lang. like a month after we were all in lockdown. Na. They were locked yeah. on already. Yeah. In fact, I remember this is just one of your many videos that you do behind the scenes or shooting abroad. Um, I remember you had one wedding where I think it was in Africa that, that you had to go. Is that right? Yes, yes. We did that too. Before, we just do this uh, during uh, for shoots that are out of the country, like exotic places. So yeah, we, we kind of do this. And these are some of the signature uh, photos, uh, photo shoots that you've done, Oli, no? And, you know, there are many ways to describe an Oli Ruiz Metro photo. Photo shoot, some people call it breathtaking. Um, some people, they call it, it's another big boys buhay. Yes, so, yeah, Patricia mentioned it uh, in the video, yeah. Mukhang boys buhay yung mga shots na yan. Um, but if you were to, if you were to summarize, no, uh, an Oli Ruiz video, among the common denominators, among the photos that you do, what is that one element that people can always expect whenever they get a Oli Ruiz Metro Photo photo? Yeah, that's a, well, that's a tough question, RJ. Um, I think what I always try to do, and Metro Photo has been in existence for, what, 13, 14 years already. I think even uh, right from the start, uh, it's, about, uh, no, it's about doing something different. And different, but in a nice way. So, like, uh, like right now in our in our tagline, we call it elevated. So, um, it's uh, it's something unusual in terms of the angle we take it, or the concept, maybe, mm -hmm. or maybe the place where we shoot it. But um, it's not just being different for the sake of being different. So, we want still to make it different but timeless. I guess that's kind of like how you wanna wanna say it. So. I love that it's called different but timeless when you get a shoot. Uh, from from Oli Ruiz, and you know what, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our soon-to-be weds. I actually had a chance 
uh, to host the 10th wedding, a uh, 10th anniversary in the yes. industry yeah, thank you uh, for that. of Oli yeah. Ruiz uh, several years ago. And I could see, really see the quality of the work. People keep on coming back. He was able to bring back uh, his, his, uh, his couples. Who yes, yes, they were all there, yeah. To, to celebrate because of really how wonderfully shot these videos are and how timeless the qualities um, of, the, of these videos are. Thank you. Now, can you tell us a bit more about the creative process? Is it something that you think of yourself? Or is it something that you collaborate together with the couple to create the, these stunning images? Uh, that's a good question again. And it's a combination. Um, there are shoots where couples will just approach us and tell us, you know, what's, your, what's, your, um, what's the shoot that, you have, that you've been waiting to do? And, you know, we're willing to do anything. There are couples like that. And then there are couples who approach us with a bit of an idea. And then we expand from that idea. So those ideas can be as simple as we want a shoot at the beach. And then we're going to kind of like turn it into a metro photo shoot by um, adding some elements. Maybe I'll, I'll add a camel in the beach or something like that. That's what I was saying. Some tiger or lion. Parang ganyan, di ba? That's an option too. But it's kind of like that. So we do a simple shoot like what you'd expect. And then we kind of just add an element just to, you know... Um, Make it more exciting. Well, speaking of that, Oli, I mean, you've had a lot of interesting shoots over the years. But what has been so far for you, at least personally, that you found one of the most challenging but the most satisfying among the photo shoots that you've done? That, well, uh, 2017, I, 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 could still, I, I can still really remember. And I feel that, um, you know, I can still feel it because uh, uh, one, a couple approached me and then, where, where do you want, what's the top of your, in your bucket list? And... It was easily uh, South America. I wanted to go to Salardu Uni and um, Machu Picchu then. And they granted that. And that was really, and for that reason alone, that was you know, memorable. But we suffered, in Peru, we suffered, um, what do you call that, altitude sickness. That was really, I think I was, I don't know if I was going, if I, if I was going to die, but I can still feel <laughs> right now my head is aching right now because of the, of the sickness that we had. That's but right. that was really, uh, yeah, that was really something. That was hard. Wow, well, th that's, that's what you literally call feeling like you were dying for your art. <laughs> exactly. And I, I'm the guy who, I mean, I'm the type of photographer. I never really back down from any shoot, but only in that time. So we shot maybe 10 minutes and, and uh, she used to those were eating. But we were throw, I was throwing up while I was, um, and this is in my YouTube channel. You can, you can check this video out. But I was throwing up while shooting. Really just have to take, a couple of frames and then babatna, and it was agonizing also going down. So. Wow, that, what, what a what a story! So this was done in Machu Picchu. Is that no, right? this one, yeah, in Peru, it's called the Rainbow Mountain, but it's in Peru as well. In Peru, yeah. the Rainbow Mountain in Peru. So before we continue with this interview, if you've been listening carefully to the great stories that Oli has been sharing with us here uh, for Metro Photo, I've got three questions for you guys, and if you can answer any of those three questions over here, the first three were able to answer correctly. These questions will win. One gift certificate from the spoiled groom package for a prenup, uh, one spoiled groom package for the wedding, and one boudoir photo session by Ray Cabradilia. Wow. So, can we go to the boudoir session? Can you give a little direction there? No, man, siempre. Okay, for the boudoir session, I think gusto ni Kevin La Peña na sumali sa isang boudoir session. Pwede namang group. Pwede namang group. Pwede namang group naman. Pwede namang group naman. Yung boudoir session na yan. Okay, so... Here are the three questions, so listen very carefully if you can answer them. Number one, when you were watching the video of Oli that was being shown earlier on, what country was that video being shot in? Okay, where was that photo shoot in? Number two, there is a quality to all his videos which encompass all his different uh, photos. What is that quality that he wants to create? What is that quality he wants to create across all his different photos? And number three, where was his most challenging shoot ever? Again, where was his most challenging shoot ever? If you were listening to our interview, you will easily pick that one up. Okay, now, only going back to this one, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about the new normal. I mean, for us, it's, it's been quite a challenge for me as a host, you as a uh, photographer, and as a pho photographic storyteller, no? Um, what, have, what has changed so far? What do you have to take into consideration now when doing the shoots, particularly for the couple? What have they been, I guess, maybe first of all, ano yung mga health and safety protocols na kailangan ilagay? Did you have, do you have the same number of people or lesser number of people? At ngayon, um, before you used to travel to many different places, hindi na pwede ngayon, what are you doing here right now to make things more, uh, even if it's intimate or it's here in Manila, it's still just as magical as your shoots that you go abroad? Yeah, that's an um, interesting question. Right now, 
um, of course, there's, there are protocols. No, I think the main thing that, that's different right now, sorry, I think the, the, the main difference right now with the way we shoot is that less people as much as possible. Although recently, we're, we're kind of going back to the normal number, but it's more of the preparation. Right now, you have so many protocols to follow. So we add time to that in terms of you know, preparing before the, the shoot itself, days before for tests and all. And then on the day itself, if you have to fill up forms, get mm-hmm. clearances, all of these. And I think we took that for granted before. You know, uh, before it was kind of automatic, right? You go to the you go to the wedding, you shoot, you do what you have to do. But right now, it's really a lot of preparation. Um, this is true for both weddings and prenup shoots. And you have to be more deliberate as well. Uh, I think I, I uh, the last blog post that I did the other day, I, I said about um, more preparation and then be, and then on the shoot itself being more deliberate. There's no second guessing now. You have no time not to like experiment so many. You can do because, option A, option B. Let me try this other thing. Not not right now. Uh, yeah, not so much now, right? Especially during weddings. So there are so many things that um that you have to um, consider in terms of safety. So yun ganin ang yare. Um and you know um also in terms of concepts, naman since we cannot travel, we were really you know, I was really what do you call that pressured or like we were pressed for I know to come up with ideas and um, we we love how how it's ano, turning out naman right now and I hope hindi kami maubusan but um, I think right now people are understanding that these are the things that we have to do I mean our clients so mm-hmm. they're willing to like do the dance with us eh, if we require a certain like for my shoot next week I'm requiring like a huge trampoline for a for a for a prenup and they're okay they're they're obliging because they know that you know. Uh, we are all adjusting, so you know I'm appreciative of. Um, I'm grateful with my uh, to my to my clients as well. So a lot of uh, a, a, a lot more dynamic ideas. So even if you're home, you're able to create more dynamism, especially when you collaborate with a couple. Yes, uh, yeah, that's important, I guess. Yeah. And uh, I know that right now that you're adding a little extra. Uh, if you saw the video earlier on, it's just the, you you it, it sparked the idea of what you can now do to make it. Uh, to give value added back to your couples, you are now doing a behind the scenes. Is that right? Yes. Um, before we try, we do this behind the scenes video uh, only for like uh, for like places where it's a bit more exotic. I think people are more interested to look at that. But I later on realized that um, it's not we're not doing that for the viewers or, or our followers, but the couples themselves. They really love it when they do when we do a BTS for them. So realize that um, it's not really the market is not really like the people who are viewing us, but it's more of the the clients themselves. Though. They love seeing like how we climbed up this mountain or how we climb up this wall, and then uh, all the poses that they had that that they that we had them do, and then all of the fun that we had on the side. They really appreciate looking back at those. And I guess hindi siya nagagawa before, like sa stories lang, sa uh-huh. IG ngayon. And we put them all together with the pictures, parang um, everyone wanted one. I mean, so uh, the, the, that's the feedback we're getting. So we are, ano na, we started offering it. And right now, a lot of our clients are getting that as an add-on for our packages. So, I'm sure like si Pat and Lester, 10 years down the road, buhay, buhay yung ginawa natin dyan sa cliff na yan. Yeah, exactly, parang, parang ganyan. Yan. Yeah. I mean, ako nga, masi ako, like, as a photographer, I do that all the time, but when I see the behind the scenes, parang ako rin, sobrang natutuwa ako eh. So, I guess it just makes uh, the couple's, um, uh, what do you call it, overall experience more, uh, of course, memorable and meaningful, no? Nakita mo yung ginawa mo, you just appreciate that, the effort that you did more, I guess. And having said that, Oli, I know this is the Getting Married Bridal Fair online uh, we're all doing our best to offer something special for our clients in the new normal who want to get married. What's your special offer to all those watching us here right now at the Getting Married Bridal Fair? Yes, so aside from the BTS video, which are in introductory prices right now, so they can get that. Um, for all of the, our photographers, because in Metro Photo, we have um, right now five teams. Dino is currently um, um, not op- uh, op- uh, opting not to shoot yet. So it's, um, there are uh, five teams that you can choose from Metro Photo. And if you choose a package that's higher than our basic, we get uh, 10% off uh, for that. Wow, fantastic. So 10% off on all those packages above the basic together with Metro Photo. Is that yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And at the same time, if you were able to answer our raffle questions, you will win our prizes. Again, the spoil groom package for prenup, a spoil groom package for wedding, and a boudoir photo session. And what are the three answers for the questions? Number one, Oli, again, where was the place shot earlier on the, the, before, your, before we began the session? Where was it shot? I, sh- I, sh- I, I will answer it. Yeah, you yeah, can it's say, say it. Yeah, it's in Iceland. It was in Iceland. Yeah, yeah. Number two, what is the quality that you can always find in an Oli Ruiz photo shoot? It's different, but it's still timeless. Timeless. Timeless is the quality. And third, where was his most memorable photo shoot ever? That's in uh, Peru. Peru. Again, thank you so much, Mr. Oli Ruiz. Thank you so much, RJ. And we will hope to see you soon in another wedding and uh, hope to make 
together again, partner up again to make somebody's wedding day more magical. Definitely in our 20th anniversary, okay? I'll be there. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, Holy Ruiz, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, back to you, uh, Kevin. talking to a, a catering service that you've seen time and time again and every time I see this name I'm always like mm, this is some good food I'm about to have as well as the guests and the bride and groom we have here with us uh, via zoom Mr. Ryan Thomas John Luck from Hezun's Catering hi Ryan how Hello, are you good, good how are you I'm doing great. I'm uh, so sad that you're not here with us in person, but it's okay. At least we get to have some of our questions answered. Are you doing well? Like, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Yeah, I wish I was there with you guys too. But we have um, our food tasting right now in Hardin de Miramar. So I went here to check up on them and see everything. Well, thank you for giving us your time, even if it's going to be online. And our first question, of course, is right now that we're moving into 2021, are there certain things that you have changed in the way you do your services or uh, implement some of your services? Of course, considering that we have the pandemic and we have as well um, a lot of safety protocols that we have to we have to follow. Has a lot changed or are we or are there only a few adjust, adjustments okay so of course the pandemic affected all of us like especially us in the events industry right but right now the heat of catering we um kind of moved what we've been doing a bit so before we were always catering to packs of up to 150 200 300 and then now we've been doing smaller kind of gatherings so we have 50 packs gatherings. We also have intimate 20 packs gatherings and 100 packs. But aside from that, pretty much everything that you knew about Heat and Skatering from before is still going to be there. We're still here to make your dream event happen. And um, we're here to always serve you good food and make sure you have a good time. Now, you talked about your reception and how uh, during the reception, of course, you are able to adjust from a bigger audience to a smaller audience. But when it comes to, let's say, food tasting, how do your clients or how can your clients go about it if they want to try your food? Is there a place that they go to or do you visit them at the house so that you can have the food tasting? Which is the best option? We have multiple um, things right now. So... We have, of course, the food tasting that you go to our different accredited venues that we have, all of our different partner venues. We, all, we, we always have a food tasting at least every week. We have at least four every week. And then aside from that, if you don't want to go to out of your house and go to a different venue for your food tasting, we can schedule a Zoom food tasting with you. Um, so you just have to contact our account executives that handle your, your event. And then we can have the food delivered to you and we can discuss the packages and everything through Zoom instead. Oh, that's so great. It's kind of like you have a food trip online and you're doing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of doing that mukbang thing together. <laughs> that's so fun. Yeah. It's something like that, yeah. Do you have something new on the menu that you are very excited about for our guests to try? Like maybe they can say, oh, I want to try what you said here um, during the Getting Married Bridal Fair. 
Well, right now we have multiple new dishes. So, um, our R and D chefs in the office have been really busy during the pandemic. He's been making up new dishes for our food out orders, actually, because we um, we diverse into food orders after you know the pandemic. So we were delivering food. We have things there now, such as um, porchetta rolls. We also have uh, slow roast Angus beef ribeye. We also have new dishes like um, fish mayonnaise and so many more. So if you want to have a taste of those, you can just message us on Facebook on our food orders page. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to share the social media just in case that they would like to have additional inquiries. So your Facebook and your Instagram. So on Facebook, you can find us at Wedding Catering by Heasons and also Food Orders by Heasons Catering. And then on Instagram, you can find us at heasons.catering. And we have, we, have a, we have two websites right now. We have heasonsfoodshop.com and also heasonscatering.com. And that's for all of the viewers. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and message them. And uh, maybe they would like to also know if you have any particular promos that you're giving out because of our bridal fair. Oh, yeah, for sure. So for the Getting Married Bridal Fair, we're offering a 75,000 peso package, good for 50 packs. So with that package, you're included, um, of course, your elegant buffet, your scrumptious buffet, your elegant food styling. You also get a... Um, events planner to help you with your um, planning of the whole event, like from start to finish. And of course, our team of well-dedicated waiters and food attendants who now, it might be less waiters and food attendants compared to before, but I re rest assured the people that are there is still the best of the best that we can provide. That's really good to know. It's such a nice package as well because it has almost everything that you need, no? Like the the yeah. planner, like you mentioned, and of course the waiters, and enough for 50 packs. I mean, that's a great deal that you're giving out there. Thank you. Yeah, you can contact us if you need anything. We can fully adjust what you want based on your needs, your budget. And also, if you book on the we can throw in some new all right i think we got like a little bit of a cut from uh mr ryan with the internet connection but that's fine i think we got most of the details in so it's really important that if you have any other questions to all of our viewers go ahead and follow them on instagram and facebook and message them directly and of course like he said that uh, there are so many adjustments that have been made but they did they are following all of the health protocols whether it's in a big venue or if it's going to be for an intimate wedding for 20 or for 50 and they have so many options for you to do your food tasting, whether it's going to be a Zoom, inter a Zoom meeting, food tasting, or you can visit some of their accredited uh, vendors and they can assist you accordingly. So thank you once again to Heasons Catering, especially to Mr. Ryan Thomas John Locke from Heasons Catering for that Zoom interview. And uh, I was... I was inspired by Kevin. So Kevin, since Thanks. you are giving out a raffle, I'm going to do the same thing. So just so everybody knows, I'm giving a 30% discount for anybody who would like to book me during the uh, Getting Married Bridal Fair. But if you want to join a raffle, I'm going to be giving this to you. If you, I'll give you two, one 50% discount. So for everybody, it's 30%. And then for the first winner, Two winners for the 50% discount. If you share this video from Getting Married Bridal Fair and say, um, what did you say, Kevin? I want Kevin to be my host. Yeah, you siguro yung gawin mo si kung shinare nila, ilagay nila. I want at Kevin La Pena to host. No, no, my no, 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 Pwede naman dalawa kami or dalawa kami ni RJ or if you want the full package like this, it could be the three of us. But you could say, uh, you could say, Z, please host my wedding. Ayan. Or whatever. You could just tag me and I'm fine. <laughs> tag me and share this video and say um, that you want me to host your wedding and I'll give you a 50% discount for two winners at the end of the day once we have our raffle um, or I'll just post the winner on my page. And if you want to win a one... 100% discount. Ayan, 100 free. Parang kay Kevin. Di ako magpapatalo talaga, Kevin eh. So, if you want me to host your wedding for free, and this is only for Metro Manila, and uh, this is going to be 
for you to follow me on Instagram and post a screenshot of this event and tag me as well as getting married. So please tag me again and getting married on Instagram and follow me on Instagram. And then one of you will win a free hosting from me, which will also include two song numbers. Do you sing, Kevin? No. No, Ayan. You get two song numbers for free. <laughs> He dances no. He dances no. He, oh, he yes. dances no. He does dance. So, meron siyang lamang sa akin na ganyan. <laughs> Mga two beats. Two, two, two beats of eight. Two beats of eight. Two beats hanggang, of eight kaya ni Kevin na yan. Hanggang oh. chorus. Hanggang chorus lang kaya ni Kevin yan. Ayan. So, please do support your host as well. I mean, you have Kevin who's amazing. You have RJ who's amazing. And of course, myself. I don't want to toot my own horn, but She's I She's amazing as well. She's amazing also. Thank you. Well. Thank you, RJ. You, said, you heard it from the legend himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, we're moving on with the next part of our program. Since we were talking about food, our next segment is going to be talking about desserts. One of my favorite things to talk and eat. <laughs> so we'll be back after you watch this. And welcome back to the Getting Married Bridal Fair Online. And for this particular segment of the show, I actually insisted that I host this portion of the show because not only do I love desserts, but more importantly, our next guest is somebody near and dear to my heart because I understand that when he started off in his career in baking, I was one of the first to try off his cupcakes. Can I please welcome here on stage Mr. James Uy of Cupcakes. James, join us here right now. This is where our journey Hi, Hi, James. How are you yeah. doing? Let's yeah. greet each other for the new normal. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us here right thank now. Thank you. Thank you for having so us. So please, let's take, let's take a seat over here, James. And um, just for now, I will remove, and we're all socially distanced over here, so you just know. I will remove my, my face shield because at this point, he's got some cupcakes yes. over there that uh, we might want to try. And, and before everything else, um, and as you can see, it's sealed right now. Uh, particularly to make sure that it's, uh, it follows the proper health and safety protocols. Now, to all those listening to us here right now, during this portion of, of James' talk, no, uh, we will also be having a special raffle prize. Cupcakes will be, cupcakes will be giving away one custom-made small three-tier cake perfect for an intimate worth, wedding worth 12000 500 pesos if you listen carefully to the questions which we are going to raise. So again, James, thanks so much. Tell me again, how do we meet the first time? Just help, help remind me and, and help me recall when was our first uh, meeting? Okay. Wait a second, let's... let's uh, as, there you go, James, there you go. You can put down here. Okay, so, our, our first meeting, you were one of the... Uh, no, uh, you were one of the... Uh, I think panelist in the ano, uh, Midnight Mercato. That's right. Way That's back right. in 2011, I think. Yes. That's right. For the for, for Mercato Central. By the way, Mercato Central is reopened in Bonifacio, Global City, High Street, and also in SM by the Bay. And, and tell us, you know what? You started off your career over there with cupcakes. And uh, tell us a bit more. I mean, you know, in, the, in this particular industry of cupcakes, uh, or in, in pastries and desserts, you, you want to make, your, make sure that you stand out. What is the signature dish or what's its particular value proposition that makes cupcakes stand out from all the other pastries out there uh, in the market? Okay, uh, our products are all custom made. So we specialize on uh, no, uh, class, uh, contemporary classic designs and... Uh, even our flavors, you can actually customize them if you want it less sweet or you want more filling in it. We can make that for you. Okay. So everything is customizable. Everything is so I like this one. Everything with cupcakes is customizable. Now at the same time, um, how do you how do you work together with the couple to create these customizable creations? Do you sit down with them? Do they present these? Do they present? Uh, let's say they've traveled. They say, I, I want something that was like when I traveled abroad. Or, or do you recommend to them? Tell us what's the, what's the creative process to come up with your customizable treats okay. for the couple. Uh, at, for, uh, at first, I, you, 
uh, back in uh, the normal times, uh, we invite the couples actually to have a cake tasting with us at the same time have a meeting. I usually ask them for inspiration kung uh, what are their theme, uh, colors, or uh, whatever uh, no, design they have in mind. So from there, uh, we, we, will, we would suggest designs and then work throughout the, uh, no, the process and uh, ask whichever... Uh, no. Uh, which one? Which one tickles their fancy the most? Yes, which one is something yes, exactly. that they like the most? That's right. Okay. But now during the new normal, how how do they do? What's the whole process now of of uh, I guess working together with a couple to come up with with the with the pastries that they like? Okay. Uh, in the new normal, uh, we usually send them samples from uh, from our uh, commissary. We send them a, a box of samples, one for the bride and one for the groom. And then from there, we will have a Zoom meeting. Wow, Zoom meeting. Yes. Okay. And then you discuss the, the taste. We will discuss the details from, from the flavor to the aesthetic of, the, of their cake. Okay. And, and also now during the new normal, what's, what's the practice right now? Do people just need to get uh, a wedding cake? Do they still get pastries? What have you seen becoming the trend right now? Okay, the th trend right now is actually they still have cakes, but... Uh, smaller than the usual that they have. Uh, it, it's usually around two to three tier. And then they order cupcakes for giveaways for the families and friends. And usually uh, they do order uh, a few boxes more and send them out through like uh, Lala Move or... Uh, for those who couldn't make... For yes. those, I mean, because it's more intimate... Yes. The, these are the same cupcakes that they're having the wedding. They send us to the guests they that they could not invite anymore because of, yes, uh, yes. Because of the protocols. Yes. Uh, I see, I see. Now, um, just for the knowledge of many of the people watching right now, are soon to be weds, especially the grooms, you know, as a groom, you're not too knowledgeable about your wedding cake. But tell us a bit, tell us a bit more about the, the wedding cake per se. Do you, is the whole wedding cake edible or is just a portion okay. of the cake that's edible? Uh, that's the uh, most famous question, actually. Um, <laughs> Initially, uh, our initial coat is usually the base edible. It's usually the full uh, bottom tier is the edible portion for, for the cake cutting. And usually that bottom tier serves a lot. For example, the two tier usually serves around 20 heads. So you can just imagine if it's going to be bigger, the more serving that they can have. But of course, if they want uh, more edible portions, we can make that. You can, cre you can create that as yes. well. Now, we've got some samples of, of what, you, what you have in terms of the cakes. And I will actually need a volunteer to help me out. And I'm going to choose Z. Z, please join me back here on stage. It's time for you to eat some <laughs> cupcakes over here. And yeah, tumatakbo na si Z, oh, kahit naka-heel. So, tumatakbo si Z uh, para sa ating uh, food tasting of the cupcakes over... Ayan po, <laughs> tumakbo talaga. Now, can you tell us a bit more uh, over here? So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand over to Z. So, Z, please take a seat over okay. here. So, you can be... You, uh, as he gives the commentary, this, this first one over here... Oh, uh, there's a tape. In there's a tape. I will try my best to remove it. Okay, this one. What kind of cupcake is this one over here? Okay. Uh, uh, right now we have two of our best sellers. It's the lemon raspberry and the ube white chocolate. Okay. So what I turned over to see right now it's is the lemon raspberry. Is the lemon raspberry very interesting? Are these one of the one of the usuals that you give out? Uh, our uh, best sellers actually are the uh, lemon raspberry. Wow. Ube white chocolate and the white chocolate and cheese. White cho Where's the white chocolate and cheese? It's Kay Miss Kuchi yan, no? Tinago ni Miss Kuchi dyan, no? No, I no, think, no, 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 no. Okay. So, um, how did you come up with these, these specific set of flavors? Okay. Um, uh, we usually um, go out from the, uh, no, from the comfort this, zone. This, this, this is not what's usual. That's why I find yes, it very yes. interesting, the flavors, the, the combination of flavors yes, is very interesting. Yes, our flavors are mostly, you cannot find them in other... Uh, bakeries, because we usually, we want it to be unique. We wanted something different and memorable for the couple. So we stay away, actually. We do have chocolate because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's staple, one of the staple. But it's a chocolate plus. Yes. And we usually push the other flavors that we have. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Z, how are you enjoying that so far? The, the lemon, lemon, lemon it's raspberry. So lemon good. raspberry. Thank it's you. so good because I like it's just a normal thing, but it's actually the texture is really different. 
and you can taste the lemon and there's like a hint of raspberry but it's so good yes we we usually com combine flavors we we want our flavors to be different from others and of course it's a special day you want it to be memorable yes even up to the pastries okay now it's time for you to try the ube uh, white chocolate is that right yes ube white chocolate oh. ube white chocolate okay so while z tries to uh, formulate the words to describe this lovely ube white chocolate cupcake that you have uh, tell us a bit more what are the special offers that they can get right now that you uh, that you have for the Getting Married Bridal Fair online attendees? Okay, actually, uh, starting today until the end of uh, January, we offer uh, 10 to 15% off on our packages and uh, cakes. So, uh, from from the basic pack package, usually start uh, starts with uh, no, uh, around 15,000, mm -hmm. so 10% off on that. And then as we go uh, bigger on the package, uh, the more discounts that you will have. Wow. And this is valid until the end of 2022. So what, 2022? That's two years. As long as you book us until the end of January, you can uh, save that price until the next year. Fantastic. And anything else that they can expect from you guys for the next couple of years? What, what, uh, in the next two years, when they get you guys, uh, what is part of the whole package? It's, that's, the, that's the cake? Oh, uh, it's usually the cake and giveaways. The giveaways are usually, uh, it's either cake, slices, cupcakes, or cookies. It depends on what the couple wants, actually. Okay. We have from, uh, cakes from French macarons. To French macarons. And going back to you, Z, how is the... What <laughs> 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 Z? <laughs> she's still trying to absorb the taste of the ube white chocolate uh, cupcake. Z, tell us a bit is, more. What's your experience over there? It is not what I expected because apparently there's cheese in it. Wow. And it wasn't... Right? There's cheese? <laughs> uh, actually, there's, uh, uh, you might got it from the, ano, the, the frosting. There's a... Meron sa ilalim, ma'am. Oh, that's actually the melted white chocolate. Wow. Melted, that's melted? Yes. That's why I was like, what is this white thing? It's delicious. <laughs> wow. It's so good. Testi live testimony here right it's, now. It's huh? a Belgian white chocolate. Yeah, it's Belgian like white ever, chocolate. Okay. You're right, RJ. It's nothing like I've ever tasted. Like, nothing like I've ever tasted. So to make your weddings more memorable with cakes and cupcakes and macarons, please go to our friends and cupcakes. I'm taking this whole plate home after this is done. <laughs> Walang makakindi sa akin. Okay. And with that, these are the two questions I want to ask you guys uh, for the raffle. The two questions are number are this one basically. Can you answer me? One of the, you can either uh, any of these answers. What are these two cupcake flavors which you are experiencing here right now? What is Z enjoying here right now? What are the two flavors? And the first one to text us any of those answers in the comment box. We'll go home with uh, one custom made small three tier cake, perfect for an intimate. Wedding. And again, thank you so much. Thank you so much, James, you, for this one over here. We us. really appreciate it. Uh, Z is appreciating you very, very <laughs> much over here. And just to announce, now, what are the two flavors again? These two flavors that they're trying out oh, it's are? It's the um, ube white chocolate and the lemon raspberry. And those are it. And if you got the correct answer, congratulations to you guys. Thanks so much for joining us, James, for making this afternoon even sweeter for all thank of us. You, thank you for having thank us. Thank you, RJ, for tasting. <laughs> Thanks so much, Z. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a quick video. Please watch this. All right. Hello again, everybody. Fantastic interview once again by RJ and Z, especially since 
a- anytime there's dessert involved, you'd know that it'll always be a good time. Sayang hindi lang ako nakasama doon. But now, from desserts, we move on to another special part that's very, I believe, integral in any celebration. But before that, again, reminding all our viewers watching right now, for those that would want to have me be a part of their celebration as a host, please don't forget to share this stream and please put on the caption, I want Kevin La Pena to host my blank. And don't forget to tag me because I will be choosing one or maybe even two winners who will get me as a host absolutely free. All right? Now, with the formalities out of the way, we have another special guest that I have the privilege of speaking with, but this time via Zoom. So everybody, please join me as we welcome from GQ Mobile Bar, Mr. Boogie Geronimo. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. There he is, the handsome man behind GQ Mobile Bar, Sir Boogie. Thank you very much for taking the time to be here. Yeah, uh, I would like also to thank uh, Getting Married for having us. All right. Sir, just a question. So... Maybe if we were to rewind about maybe a good portion of the decade, doon talaga nag-boom yung mga mobile bar businesses, correct? Yeah, I think it's, it's almost a decade that uh, nagsimula ang mobile bar. Uh, I think roughly around uh, that, that period. So, Sir Boogie, if you wouldn't mind me asking, since that time, because I haven't been really too familiar with uh, kung ano na yung mga itsura ng mga mobile bars ngayon, what can clients expect when they book you uh, for you to provide them with a mobile bar? Uh, our clients would just expect uh, that, that we would be able to adjust our setup based on uh, the venue. If they, if they, for example, if they have small venue, uh, we can adjust the, the setup of our bar. We can also set up uh, a large, uh, large setup like, the, like what we had in the presentation. Uh, that presentation uh, we had uh, catered uh, roughly around 4000 packs so it really depends on the client's preference oh so aside from actually providing the services diba kasama na po yung mga bartenders diyan mga mixologists as we we probably would uh, refer to them as uh do yeah, you, that, you also include yung kunare there is a particular theme that the the couple would want to observe kasama na rin yung pag uh, pag decorate or a uh, display according to the theme that they want? Yes, uh, we, we can adjust or uh, adopt uh, the theme that the client uh, preferred on their special day. All right, so as far as the drinks go, I'm pretty sure you offer maybe like a menu or a selection of drinks already that your mixologists usually prepare. But uh, do does the couple also have the, I don't know, the liberty to suggest what kinds of uh, drinks that they'd like for you to serve to their guests? Uh, if the client has preference uh, of uh, any cocktail drinks that, that's not in our list, uh, we also uh, adjust uh, based on uh, the concoctions that we currently have. So if we lack in concoctions, then we would be suggesting for another cocktail. But if, if the concoctions of their particular drinks are in- included in our uh, list or inventory, then we will provide. So when, let's say, when a couple would, or uh, when a celebrant would want to avail of a, a mobile bar, uh, ano po yung, uh, so that they have an idea, for those that aren't really too familiar with how uh, with what a mobile bar is, when, once, let's say, they get a uh, GQ mobile bar, uh, ano po yung mga maybe like the basic kinds of sh- shooters or drinks that that would be available for them? Yeah, for the cocktail, let's start with the cocktails. So, so the cocktails, we have the international standard. Ito yung mga margarita, uh, mojito, uh, then yung sidecar, and yung aming number one uh, drinks or cocktail drinks, the apple tini. So that's that's few of the uh, the cocktail drinks that we have. But but for the shooters, it's it's like cotton candy martini, Bob Marley shooter, acid. Uh, we also have flaming shots like uh, Infer- Inferno or uh, B-52. And other uh, flame. We also have the flaming tower. You know, that's that's the drink. That's a uh, flaming uh, tower. Bubble, uh, flaming tower. Uh, Matas yah with a couple of glasses on top. Then we we pour the the what they call this 150 proof rum, so it would be on fire while while zipping it. 
150 proof na rum. Talagang kaya liliab talaga siya, no? If you ignite the, the, the yes. rum. So now, being that you mentioned earlier, and correct me if I'm wrong, Sir Boogie, did you say that the Apple Teeny cocktail ba ito, sir? Yes, that's the Apple Teeny is your most popular drink. Yes, uh, that's the best seller. That's the most requested uh, so far uh, for uh, by the client. All right. So to everybody watching right now, please keep in mind once again this drink, the Apple Teeny, is GQ Mobile Bars. Number one drink. It, ito po yung parang kumbaga best seller nila. So to everybody watching, keep this in mind kasi mamaya gagamitin din ulit natin yan. And who knows, you might be able to win a prize as well. Okay, so now, keeping in mind uh, another portion or another demographic of uh, the guests at any celebration, uh, meron din po ba kayong ina-offer mga mocktails or non-alcoholic drinks uh, for those that don't consume alcohol? Yes, uh, we also have a uh, mocktails. Uh, these are the non, uh, non-alcoholic drinks. So these are for the elders, non-drinkers, uh, and for the kids. So they would all they would be able also to enjoy yung bar. So we can incorporate the bar uh, that in the bar list. We can have the cocktail as well as the mocktails uh, in one bar list. So everybody can enjoy uh, the night, regardless if it's alcoholic or non-alcoholic. All right, thank you, Sir Boogie. All right, so now the mandatory is once again in terms of safety because this is what everybody's or, or most everyone is conscious about. Uh, of course, uh, nagtitimpla yung mga mixologists ng mga drinks. Uh, how can you ensure the safety and the cleanliness of uh, your drinks and the services as well to the couple? Yeah, be- before uh, we we make sure that uh, all our items, supplies, and equipments are sterilized before, during, and after the event. We also have implemented uh, some uh, safety protocols like the bar shield. Uh, it's like a face shield, but it's 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 on the bar, so that this prevents uh, direct uh, uh, face-to-face interaction with any guest. Ah, para uh, harang the parang acrylic na. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's that's it. Uh, we also uh, now we we all we now serve uh, orders uh, directly to the table of the guests, so they so guests won't have to. Stay, wait, and uh, crowd crowd the area. So that's that we are uh, actually avoiding. So we serve directly uh, to their table. All right. Thank you, Sir Boogie. Now, if you wouldn't mind me moving on to this, uh, I, I suppose, very important part of this segment of ours. A while ago, I told you guys to keep in mind kung ano yung pinaka best-selling drink or cocktail, I should say, na ino offer ng GQ Mobile Bar. So for you to be able to win a special prize from Sir Boogie and GQ Mobile Bar, in fact, what you're going to be able to win is one bottle of Claymore Scotch Whiskey. Is that correct, Sir Boogie? Yeah, that's right. So to one lucky winner watching us this afternoon, you're going to be able to bring home one bottle of Claymore Scotch Whiskey. All you need to do is comment what the best-selling cocktail of GQ Mobile Bar is along with the hashtags GM Bridal Fair Online, GM Bridal Fair Live Show, and hashtag Hilton Manila. So before we let you go, sir, any fi- final words? Uh, final words, I think... Uh 2020 has been a challenge for us, but uh, 2021 would definitely be better. And I think this is the right year uh, to get wed to get wed because uh, it's more focused, uh, more cheaper, and you'll get a lot of at- attention from the suppliers. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Boogie Hieronimo, for your time. Thank you very much, everybody. Please avail of GQ thank you as well. Mobile Bar. I'll see you soon. Happy New Year, sir. All right, so more stuff in store for this program. In the meantime, we're going to take a short break, so please watch this.
book an appointment with us now and experience the Surita of life. to grace us with another very special live
And a round of applause, please, for Bernie Pasamba and the Music Masters. And uh, we're, here, we're joined here right now by the master himself, uh, Bernie Pasamba. Boss Bernie, how are you? Happy New Year. Let's talk from under, yeah, the, to talk with the new normal, you talk with it under, near the, underneath the face shield para you can bosses your po. So over, there's somewhere over there. Yeah. Somewhere over there. Yeah. Um, the audio is not coming out just yet, but again, thank you so much for joining us, Boss Bernie. And since this is our last interview for today, it will be a trio. Myself, ZB, uh, and of course, uh, over here, we have Mr. Kevin uh, La Peña joining us over here. And uh, before everything else, so Boss the, Bernie... The, 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 this is three against one, huh? Yeah, <laughs> three against one. So please introduce the lovely, lovely members of the Music Masters over uh, yeah, here. Yeah, this is uh, Doty, our flutist, uh, Mitch. Uh, the violinist, and of course, Peter, our pianist and arranger, and we have Mick, uh, the ch our cellist. Wow. Mm. Um, you know, we've worked together for many, many years, Boss Bernie. We've had many weddings together. But there's always this, this signature classiness and timelessness when you play uh, in, your, in your weddings, or not only just weddings, in special celebrations. What can they expect every time from a Bernie Pasamba performance what is it what makes it different from the other performers out there uh, we see to it that as, as we perform we, we always do it a hundred percent we entertain uh, actually a level up na nga kami. more on more on the concert type oh. it's not the usual it's not the usual listening ambience music if we 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 if the client will ask us to perform like a concert, we can do it. I think you're with you, the flutist, even the violinist, while you're having to level up. It's not like that. It's not like that. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible in the new normal. With that, Z, you have a question for Boss Bernie. How are you, Z? Hi, Boss Bernie. Actually, we've seen each other also for so many times. And I love that the familiar faces that I get to see in the many events, I get to see the same, even if it's mask. And usually, I want to know also maybe some of our guests who want to get you have family and friends who sing pwede ba silang sumabay sa Bernie Pasamba group uh, yeah we normally do that but uh, better if they coordinate with us beforehand, beforehand no mm. so we we'll, we we'll, we'll know what songs are they going to perform especially if the singer we have to get the pitch so mm. definitely para on the day itself parang Nagrehearse, yeah, de ba? Parang nagrehearse then. Pero I I have to talk to the singer also. Kung is she doing the original one or ba kailangan yung magtranspose yung mga ganon. Para and better beforehand before the start of the reception. Parang pasada lang. Merong isang pasada. O isang pasada lang. Para at least yung feel lang. Yeah. We 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 doing the right tempo. And that's very important because the singer, if it's it's not the correct tempo, it's going to be very uneasy for the singer. I can relate. Si Kevin po gusto ng maging bagong karier niya, yung daadit palio sa package po niya, kakanta narin siya. So inisip niya mamie konte kasama siya sa Bernie Pasamba. Well, well, that that can be arranged. That can be arranged. Pala Kevin, you have a question. RJ na na two four two kana this afternoon. All right, yeah. Sir Bernie, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you. The last time. Oh, tayong dalawa yung magkatandem the last time. That was two months. 
to let us know. To yeah, let's know. looking great, looking great, Sir yeah, Bernie. Yeah, yeah. So, so now for the benefit of those that haven't been, uh, siguro hindi sila nakapagpanood nung last time. Mm. I have a question for you, sir. Is this something that you are still offering to all to all would be uh, couples or uh, soon to be uh, yung mga clients po natin? Do you still offer this, this very special service where uh, magkocompose po kayo ng special song kung gusto nila man na may theme song sila? Yeah, of course. That can be arranged also. We have we have uh, in the team also is also a composer, uh, songwriter, and also an arranger. We we can do that also. No problem. Oh, we can do a theme song for the couple if they prefer. Yeah. Ay nag-isip na po si Kevin pati si Z ng kanilang team song. Hindi sa not Para only sa first married, dance. Para sa may first dance na you, sila even, po. Even though you're married, we can, oh, pwede, we can pwede, do pwede something po, for you. Ayan, pwede ayan, pa. Po. Lucky 13th pa naman ako this year oh, yeah. with, my, with my, me and my beautiful wife, Vanessa. Oh. Well, I'm not sure is watching us right now. But uh, Boss Bernie, one last question for you. I know this is the new normal. Yeah. And that you also have special packages that you are offering Within this, in this new normal time, what are these new packages that you have for these intimate wedding celebrations? Yeah, intimate wedding, uh, we're giving 10% for on-site booking up to, of course, uh, the bridal fairs up to February 28th. So if they can book us on or before the February 28th, we'll give them 10% discount. Yeah, marami mm. salamat, uh, Sir mm. Bernie. And again, mm. thank you so much to the lovely team. Okay, level up na next time. Level up Masayaw na. na. Oh, yeah. na kumakanta pa. Ano Rocky Oki also. Rocky Oki also as well. <laughs> yeah. Galing ah. Akala ko yung bababa mula sa chandelier pa yan. Yung mga yan, yung mga singers mo. Yung mga dancers mo. Wala na po. Wala na po yan. We need an engineer <laughs> for that. <laughs> And again, thank you so much, Mr. Bernie Pasamba and the Music Masters. And right after this one, we will announce the winners of all our raffle prizes. So please stay around. Okay. Please invite everyone to turn your attention to our screen. My name is RJ Ladesma, and right before we begin, tapat may alam kayo tungkol sa love story nila. Look at the smiles on their faces. Please take a good look at the person beside you. I want you to give a pickup line that doesn't make you sound like a DOM. You are all very good looking. Don't be stressed just because hundreds of people are watching you. Okay lang yan. And I must say, I'm sure tonight many of you plan to take photos of the wedding reception program. Please upload all your photos on Instagram. How come I haven't heard any clinking of glasses for the newlywed? Indulge us in a very Instagrammable piece. I will ask a series of questions. Her lovely, smoky eyes. So twinkling eyes, twinkling eyes. Ayan. Around the world, around the world, thank you so much. It doesn't matter if you are a young one or a young one. So as long as you've got... And with that, ladies and gentlemen... Again, my name is Arjun Ades. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang bagong kasal. Okay, so my name is Kevin, and I'm going to be your host for this evening. So uh, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody to give special thanks to people who made their way or to, literally took the extra mile to join us here this evening because from what I've been told, we have friends who came here all the way from Bicol. Who's from Bicol over here? Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. And also from India and Brunei, where the international contingents over here. 
Well, thank you very much for joining us this evening. So, without further ado, everybody, please give a warm welcome to our entourage, starting with the Bride Tribe. Oh, come on, everybody, make some noise. So, from the Bride Tribe, one, two, three, strike pose. Yeah. Now that we've gone to see the lovely bridesmaids and the maids of honor, please give it up for the groom's tribe. So, major na beatin tayo sa mga sayaw ninyo, but you have a chance to make up for it because I'm gonna have to ask you to do the same thing that the women did earlier. So, okay, on three, gentlemen. One, two. Three, blue steel. Yeah. There you have it. Now we've reached probably the most important part of the evening because obviously we can't begin the program without the bride and the groom, correct? Okay, now may I please request that everybody kindly stand up. Yeah, this is pretty important. This is going to be a big deal. Moment. Like so everybody... Please give your warmest of welcomes as we now bring in the newly wedded bride and groom. Everybody, please welcome Luis and Ansel Felicado. Feels like I'm standing in a timeless dream. But it follows, I mean, it's always nice to hear pieces of advice from people that you could look up to. For example, your, your principal sponsors who could teach you a thing or two. But there's a different kind of lesson and it's a different kind of feeling we can get when we hear words of wisdom or when we hear sincere words from people who we consider as our friends and our peers. So this time, may I please open the floor now to share another sentimental message to the couple one half of Ansel's Maids of Honor right now. Please, everybody, welcome Miss Raquel Tani Yap. Okay, now that we've heard from these lovely women, pretty emotional, I understand. Now we have to hear from... here at the Getting Married Bridal Fair. Wonderful to watch all the promotional. I love to see you guys at work. ZB, I can hire you not only as my beauty queen, I can also hire you as my newscaster. Yes. Uh, ano pong pwede? Anong pwede ba para sa'yo? Dancer pa? Singer pa? <laughs> Sulit na surot yung wedding package mo niyan. Kahit ano. Ibang klase. Yeah. You know, it really is pretty awkward even if we were hosting here together, panuurin yung mga, uh, mga past work natin, di ba? 
But it's a, it's a interesting. I, I think everybody enjoyed watching all of our clips. I mean, I really enjoyed the both of you because for you, like, I've heard your name for such a long time, but I could, I've could i never had the opportunity to really, really work with you. So I'm grateful that I did. At least you never said that you never you heard of my name since you were a little child. That would make it a bit more... Uh, that would be a bit more challenging for both of us if you said that one. But that's no, fine. Thank you so much. Miss World, because you hosted also, like, uh, one of the events of Miss World that you were a part of a charity event. That's right. That's and right. I saw you there, but I said, mm, one day I oh, should you were, you were Oh, you were one of the candidates and I was hosting that I one. was the reigning. Oh, you were the reigning at that time? I was the time. reigning that okay, time. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, that time. Pala sa mga past. <laughs> so at least, at least you got a glimpse already. Were you hosting already at that time? Yes, I was. Ah. So that's why I was thinking like hopefully since I saw you on stage, I was like... RJ Ledesma wow. should be one on my list. It's out. And then, of course, see Kevin. I got to hear his name a few years Whatever. back. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we always had a chance to host together. But it was never... Hindi siya taloy. Alam mo yung tipong... It's almost quite there, but it doesn't mm, push through. Exactly. Yeah. But, but because of this, I got to do lucky, both. Uh, with, with Kuchi uh, bringing us here, uh, we're, I'm very glad to host with these three, uh, with these two lovely people over here. And I think uh, as we start to close, down, close, this, close off this program, it's also very important for us to share, I mean, for us at least, why we think that you should get a host for the program. I mean, it's a bit of self-promotion for us here right now, but then... Uh, allow us to just, you know, maybe uh, carefully uh, elucidate a bit more, or clarify why we think it's important to have a host. Now, uh, amongst the three of us over here, we've had a chance to host, particularly during this new normal. Now, what we've noticed is that some people are saying, maybe it's not a right time to get a host during uh, this period uh, because maybe we're saving up, there has to be less people. But I think that's actually an argument for you to get a host for your wedding because, number one, if you have to have a tighter program, you need people like us who are a bit more experienced, who understand how a program runs, the production value of having a good program, making it very succinct but very lively at the same time. So that's important because we're not just hosts who you, who you just say, here's the program. We actually help them develop the program, right? And, and the next thing about it as well, as you can see from this experience, we're doing this live here in, in the ballroom, but we also have people live on Facebook, uh, and also on YouTube, and sometimes some weddings nowadays, it's a, it's a blended wedding where they do a, a reception which is both appearing on Zoom and also appearing also uh, uh, live. So they need somebody, they need hosts who have that ability, who have the ability to communicate both to the guests who are there and also the guests who are online. So for me, those are some of the, just some of the reasons I'm finding out, particularly during this new normal, why a host is very important. How about you, Z? I completely agree. Also, it was it's one of the things that differentiates a sit-down gathering mm -hmm. and a real event, diba? Because you're figuring out, okay, it's an intimate wedding. How am I going to really make it feel like it's a special day? Other than, of course, getting amazing suppliers for catering and for styling. But other than that, you need to have a voice who can kind of make that connection with all of your other guests. And that's what hosts do. And I like what you said. Like, it's not just that we tell them what the program is, we help them develop it. If they have questions that sometimes they're too shy to ask their suppliers, they usually ask the host because they feel like we're the most approachable, which is definitely our personality. You know, we come in as hosts, not as just, oh, we do the program and we're out. No, it's usually we get to know the couple, we get to know the guests, we are there as friends as well. So you don't feel like mo OP tayo, no? Mafi feel more like we're a part of that we're a part of your memorable day. And uh, I think that's really important to remember. That's right. And uh, Kevin. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So now we have the benefit of experience when talking about these things. Because during the last stream, this was just a few months into the lockdown. Tapos kumakapapa tayong lahat as to how, you know, uh, our hosting services would translate into the new normal. But... X number of months, uh, of, of months after that, at least meron na tayong mapapag-gauge what works, what doesn't work, why we feel it's all the more important to have hosts as part of the program. So based on experience, especially since nag catch up na yung hybrid events and live-streamed events, when you get a host to host uh, an event that's, uh, you know, in person, katulad ng ginagawa natin in the old normal, iba yung dynamic niya as opposed to how... Uh, Handling people and handling an audience is in front of the camera. You have to have that certain hook for people to be more interested or to be interest, interested enough to be able to watch you and enjoy the program at that. Which is why even if Zoom lang ang magiging programa ninyo, I'm telling you guys, based on experience, 
all the more you would need someone who's experienced to communicate, to, uh, to connect with the audience, as well as to pull a whole program together. Fantastic. So again, guys, if you want your weddings to become more magical, more memorable, and more fun, uh, we're here right now. Uh, yeah, it's RJ Ladesma, ZB Saldua, Kevin Lapeña, and tomorrow you've also got Darlene Tan Salazar, uh, Eri Neiman, and who's the last? Who's the? Isn't Atom joining us again? I think Atom is uh, on the job tomorrow. Yeah, oh and JC Alelis also. And JC Alelis, yeah. fantastic. Okay. All, all really fantastic hosts who can really do what they can to have a great wedding for you. So again, please, tangkili kita, please support our wedding industry. We promise to give you the most magical day for the most important day in your life. And with that, let's call on the winners of our raffle prizes. Yes, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And by the way, before you call on the last winner, I just want to let you guys know that wala kaming script. This is all just the flow. <laughs> <laughs> so you can know that you're in good hands because we're, we're not reading anything except for the names and uh, the next part of the program. So let's start with the names as you mentioned. Let's start with the first uh, three winners here right now. Uh, going home with a gift certificate uh, for lunch or dinner buffet at Cusina Sea Kitchens. Wow. Congratulations to Vlad's Ponsaran. And for nice print winners, congratulations to Teresa May Rudio and Eunice Lagarta. And finally, uh, going home with a gift certificate from Manila Strings Machine uh, in a video format, play uh, for, a, for a video format worth 12,000 pesos. Congratulations to Elaine Tandug, Jason Balbuena Lynn, Antoinette Lee, Anna Atienza, and Russell Fortunado. Yes, and I uh, just want to let you guys know that we will be sharing all of the names in the comment section and we'll be posting it again on the Getting Married Philip, uh, Bridal Fair on uh, Facebook. That's right. Yes, go Moving ahead, on to the next three winners. All right, so uh, to pick up from where RJ left off, uh, congratulations again for the winners of one gift cert... Sorry, dalawang winners uh, of an LED wall set care of... Uh, See si John Neil, John Neil Mina, Lights and Sounds. Congratulations, Rasel Deliosa de la Puerta, and Jerry Tuliao, who just so happens to be a YouTube viewer. Nice. Yeah, and congratulations. And Kevin, also please uh, read out the gift certificate of ten percent from Manila Strings Machine. I think that one you mentioned earlier, no? But let's say it again just in case they haven't heard their name. Oh, sure. So, ito, uh, 10% off from uh, the services of Manila Strings Machine. Congratulations to our four winners, Reynold Bien Soabas, Mariel Pacheco, Faye Hernandez, and Christine Mangkoy. Yeah, and congratulations to you. Next up, it's a gift certificate from the Spoiled Groom Package for Prenup. Again, this is the Spoiled Groom Package for Prenup. Congratulations to Walter Gonzalbo. And next, we have a gift certificate from the Spoiled Groom Package for Wedding Naman, Sandy Authentico. Wow, Sandy Authentic, Authentico. And lastly, we have the gift certificate for Boudoir Photo Session wow. by Ray Cabrera. Gusto Kevin yan. Gusto ni Kevin yan. Oh. Oh. This is going to Dalin from YouTube. Thank you so much for watching us on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, the next one. Oh, okay, so <laughs> again, <laughs> again. Okay, so congratulations again. Uh, you get to win a 50% uh, discount for local pre wedding uh, shoot directed by King Studio in interview ni RJ Tokanina. Yes. That's right. Karil May Paras, congratulations. Now, moving on to another prize less 10,000 for the grand package. Uh, para ano to? Z, this is for makeup ito. for uh, Mariah, Mariah. 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 Santos. Okay. So this is minus 10,000 pesos. Okay, from the original fee of Mariah. From, yes, any any package. Okay, so yung nanalo po nito ay si Anita Nokum. Congratulations. You're going to get a chance to finally get hashtag Mariah Fine. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> galing. Diba? Diba? Maklase. Okay, next winner, a, a GC for a free second look. Ito ba kay Mariah din ito? Yes, Mariah din. Congra so, dalawang winners yan. Oh, two winners. Congratulations, Mark Edner Pangilinan and Razel Jade Sanor. Grabe Yon. naman yan. Ibig sabihin, tingin lang may bayad na. Pero second look, <laughs> gift certificate na lang. Oh. <laughs> Ibang klase exactly. talaga ito, Mariah, yeah. di ba? Wow. What a service he's giving over here. And now, next one. I got to interview Cupcakes. Ito, nasarapan si Z dito. Hindi na makasalita kanina kasi cupcake ng cupcake ng ube, white chocolate, and of course, the lemon raspberry. They're giving you a gift certificate for Cupcakes. Uh, a three-tier cake perfect for an intimate wedding worth 12,500 pesos. Anita Nokum na naman, Anita Nokum. Ang swerte naman ni Anita Nokum. Talaga nakikinig si Anita eh. 
And we also have over here one BTL Claymore Scotch Whiskey. Interviewed kanina by, uh, by Kevin. Rio Jasmine De La Cruz. Congratulations. And those are all our raffle winners who came on uh, online and commented on the comment box. And right now, it's our final raffle which will be generated here on our Wow, high-tech iPad over here. Yeah, so... Oh, we need to draw the winners already kasi parang nag-notify na na mag-shot off. 10% pala. Ay, 4%. So, ganito yung gawin natin. RJ, okay. mention the prize and then click. Okay, it's... Uh, and then you'll we're gonna be giving away two certifi gift certificates each uh, for dining worth 2,000 pesos in any of the available restaurants in the Marco Polo or Tigas Hotel. Okay. Okay, Kevin, you're going to read Okay, 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 go ahead. Uh, do you, you want to read out the winners, RJ? Oh, uh, do you, we have a winner ready? Of the, oh. uh, no, pag, pag here's the number. Ka. Okay, so we have we, number 25. Kevin. Number 25, congratulations goes to... Panalo din to kanina. I know, this is another one kasi... Ah, bago, isa pa, isa pa. Uh, pa na pindot. Generate. Ah, pindot, pindot, pindot muna. Pindotin muna ito, generate to. <laughs> Technical ah. difficulties. Okay, okay. Kulo RJ naman eh. Technical difficulties, difficulties kasi hindi naintindihan ni Tito ko anong gagawin dyan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Number, number five. five. <laughs> Congratulations goes to Aliza Clarice Plata. Congratulations! Woo! Good job, Clarissa. Thank you for joining. See guys, sepa. Oi, what you learn? What you learn? One, two, three, four. Beat. One, two, three, four. Beat. Deba. Okay, very good. Okay. Oh, uh, one last one winner. One more winner. Generate number fourteen. Lucky fourteen goes to Selena. Egypto or Egypto, congratulations. Walk like an Egyptian because you have won a gift certificate for 2,000 pesos at any available restaurant at Marco Polo Ortigas. And with that, mga kaibigan, that ends the first day of the Getting Married Bridal Fair online here at the Hilton Manila. Please do join us again tomorrow for another great day with many of the top suppliers from all around Metro Manila offering their best rates just for you. Our beloved soon to be wet ako po ulit, si RJ Ledesma. And I'm Zizel Dua reminding you to please visit the website of Getting Married Bridal Fair because all of the all of the pages have been updated. And again, please do continue to support all of our suppliers who are here in the Getting Married Bridal Fair and watch tomorrow. Thank you very much once again, especially to all of the viewers who took their time out of their weekends to watch this very special online show. Uh, once again, thank you very much, our lovely director, Direct Kim Torres from Kim Torres Events. Thanks, Direct. Thank you very much, Miss Kuchi Zaldariaga, of thank course, you, Kuchi. for putting this uh, together. Thank you very much to uh, Miss Winnie of Hilton Hotel thank you, for Ms. housing Winnie. us this afternoon. Once again, I've been your host, Kevin La Peña. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Tomorrow is another day. Thank you very much, Z. Thank, thank you, you very guys. much. Thanks, guys, again. Maraming salamat, guys. Have a good evening. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. God bless. Thank you.
Sing this song. 